it's the dark. <laughs> This point. Sad, but at the same time, you know, it just once again, all the detractors they said this was gonna happen, and they were right. Holy oh, shit, fell. The detractors, they were right. Holy oh, shit, fell. Your detractors, they were right. Holy oh, shit, fell. Do you hear yourself right now? They were right. Like we totally fucked him. No, fuck all that noise. Get you a bottle of gin from Total Wine. Fire up your TV. Drinky, drinky gin. Drinky, drinky gin. Consequences have actions, pimp. Here's what you gotta do. Drinky, drinky gin. Drink a Pepsi later on. Play your fucking WB champions. Consequences have actions, pimp. Holy oh, shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Yep. Holy shit, shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself right now? They were right. Yep. Like, we totally fucked him. Stop being a fucking victim. You fucking bitch. You fucking asshole. Own your shit. Own your shit. Own it. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Bitch. Holy shit, shit Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Bitch. Holy shit, shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself, bitch? They were right. Like we totally fucked him. You're still on mission one. No, I'm not gonna let you lie. I know you're lying. I'm gonna pick on you. I know you're lying. Being dishonest and begging for money. Begging. <laughs> Wanting justice. He is not a real person. He's not genuine. Sweet he is not honest. Has He's a scammer. The game. I just Big see a slides. scammer. They were right. Holy oh, shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Holy oh, shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Holy oh, shit, Phil. I just see a scammer. They were right. Like we totally fucked him. Alright, I'm done. I, I, I'm done. I understand everything now. I know why there's this hate wave on him, and it's been on him for years. It's because of this bullshit. Weirdkid Mom. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another day, another Saturday morning style stream with Atlas and Ink today. Surprise style guest. Well, not really a surprise. He uh, was announced last night. Um, it's time for some Q and A. Oh, no. <laughs> we've been doing this for the past hour. Um, today is the one year anniversary of the side scrollers interview, March sixteenth. So. In uh, honor of that, we're having a side-scrolling viewing style ceremony. So uh, we're going to watch the whole thing. That's the plan. All five hours. There's going to be no pauses and limited rewinds only if necessary. It will be on 1.2 times speed. I don't want to be here all day, but I do want to watch the whole thing. So I hope you guys are ready. We're not playing uh, around. We're going to get right into it. Here we go. We're moving different. We're moving lucratively. <laughs> Which Halo will I be speedrunning? Um, none of them. Side Scrollers yeah, is brought to this you is by... This is a dedicated you. focus like style stream. Show, head over to patreon.com slash side scrollers. It's time for side scrollers on youtube.com. With me, Stunner and Craig. You got a goal? Go get it. Adam Krigler. Hey, buddy. Wow. I want sunshine, I want flowers, and I need it now. And Shout out Switch all of my blab sims. I got Yo, it. robust it with the five you. right off the bat. Big ups, dog. Appreciate it. We're inside trying press videos. Uh, we don't get one today. It's time for the number one gaming and entertainment. Focus style. Planet Earth. It's time for side scrollers. I Four, three, two, one. 
Wesley H. Swatter, Slayer on Reach, uh, SWAT, always SWAT. Welcome on out to Side Scores yeah. on YouTube.com. What's going on, everybody? Hey, I'm Stuttering Craig. Welcome to the number one gaming and entertainment podcast on planet Earth. Side Scrollers. Big show today. Big show today, huh? Hey, everybody. Great to see you. Joining us, as always, not Travis Keys. Travis is going to be manning up on the uh, chat today because we know the chat is going to be super busy. Blabs will also be hailing up on yeah, social media. Thank God media. Travis so wasn't here for Blabs. this. Big ups. That would have been yeah. a shit show. That guy sucks. But joining us, as always, not that Craig uh, doesn't suck, but Mr. Freeze. To be honest, I don't know anything world. about the other it's ones Adam aside Freeze. from Hello, Adam. Craig I'm and Adam. Gonna... I'm never gonna live that Mr. Freeze down, but I, I kind of like it actually. I gotta, I gotta learn all of. I Arnold's like Adam. Really Adam's based puns from from that movie, so I can drop. I'm those. not the biggest yeah, fan of either of them. Episodes. I think that uh, that's okay. That really endear. I thought they did okay during the interview, and that's all that matters. Yeah, sure. I mean, what up, Mr. Gorehow? Freezing. Anyway, we have, we have additional guests too. Looks content. like in your in your lap. Uh, yeah, this is Osiris. He's hanging out. But it's kind of the curse uh, of boosting like, your numbers like, no, with no, DSP no, content. The tractors only show right, up for the DSP going. stuff, and then you're Excellent. back to your well, normal numbers. Yeah, he's hanging. Well, that's why you got to monetize the Before detractors. Before we get to our, our guest yeah. today, uh, I want to let you the guys know. The don't forget. On the yeah. show, I think are, are actually really, really important. And hopefully you guys will uh, not cringe we'll at all. I know we got a lot of folks. No, no. Why would it be cringe? I want to hit the subscribe button and join us. robust and meaningful to me. Friday at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, the whole idea of side scrollers is it's meant to be a breath of fresh air. It's meant to be a place where common sense reigns supreme, uh, something that is very hard to find in the gaming industry. Uh, but we do have some great guests coming up. Obviously, today we have uh, Dark Side Phil, who'll be joining us very, very shortly. Uh, we they also had have James Rolfe on the same day, us. and uh, James really, Rolfe, I don't remember this. We'll be joining us here in the Me next neither. couple of weeks. Oh, this well. is so this is the weekend review, button. Monday Come through Friday. Oh. Sorry, and, uh, I was like, part of our <laughs> I thought they were pretty busy with the guy. <laughs> yeah, that uh, interview so went, you went on for fucking ever. <laughs> over on Spotify or iHeartRadio, make sure you guys hit the five star rating, and of course, give us a uh, nice comment over there. And if you guys are watching, what up, Doctor Karkin? Just starting in on the interview. Um, as always, you can support Waiting the for the guy to show up. I won't be talking as much. Scrollers. We greatly appreciate that. You get access to our post show, which will be happening directly after today's stream. We'll continue uh, doing as Adam and we'll probably bring in Blab and Travis. Stop. And kind of talk Stop. About I haven't done it once. Talk You've done it twice now. But that said, <laughs> I know. Show is you got it stuck in my head. We're going to talk news and we talk about fun it's stuff. like the first today thing I thought of when I woke up. I, I guess some would say the most hated man. Yeah, I woke on up the doing like uh, some really stupid accent. I prefer this instead. Was not meant to happen when initially asked uh, to bring Phil on the show, but uh, it is quickly morphed into that. Um, you know, I, I've talked about how um, I I have this degree in journalism that bring I got 20 years ago, and I haven't used I it. And there's hurry a up, get the guy I on. Didn't go yeah. into the field. It's because it sucks. And uh, yeah, journalism, journalism is, is stupid. Just, just trash uh, bag of an interview. Wow. It's, it's, it's just a this dude must regret a lot of things. But um, okay, okay. It, it has nothing to do with with your abilities as a journalist. Okay. <laughs> well, I, but I would like to point out that I am no I am no journalist. Ah, oh, thank you, no Robert journalist. Williams, for telling me to turn um, uh, turn up the, the speed because I, I thought I did. I have a degree, I but I am not a journalist by any by any uh, way, shape, and form. But with that said, we are going to do our best today. We know there's a lot of questions. Uh, hey man, uh, I got my major. Oh, that's cool. What you do? Journalism. Uh, oh, have I have no son. Assured that there's nothing <laughs> is off the table today, and we're gonna go for as long as we need to go for everyone to uh, feel as good as you can possibly feel, which is next to impossible because we can solve cancer, we can cure cancer today, and find out who shot uh, JFK, and it still won't uh, be good enough for some what? people. You know what? what? I never <laughs> said that. <laughs> I sorry, <clears throat> I'm good. Established, I'm good. established. Good. Um, but with all that said, we're going to go today, and I'm looking forward to uh, diving in deep. And uh, so I guess with all that said, let's get into you this. You keep saying I'm with all of that on, said instead uh, of that being said. Phil. He's not even. I know. Track, he's right? not even shouting out. It's bullshit, dude. Phil, the camera's on now. You guys, what a what a fraud. He's a fraud, uh, not a frog. Did it. I mean, wait. You guys, listen, listen, listen. You guys, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Hello? I'm just joking. I can hear you. Uh, you oh. got, <laughs> okay. got him. You nice. guys have had a good run. You've been going for a month. I've watched every episode. Shout out all my froggers, by the way. You made the big mistake of having me on your show. As of today, March 16th. You I love that his audio is so much quieter than everybody else's. I know. What the hell is this balancing? We care to be canceled, and we don't really care to be canceled. You can't, you know, so. We're sponsored. We're sponsored by the, the people out there, so we're good. So is the guy. I, exactly. <laughs> when you, when you're not worrying about 
what sponsor you're going to freak out today because you accidentally said something in the wrong way. It's a lot of really Hey, cool it's the guy. Look at him. And that's something that I love about what I do on the internet. This was well, before this, toilet man. seat neck um, phones, I guess. I'm excited to have you on. Get I, headphones I think on today. Yeah. Really Wait telling, a minute, was it? Uh, yes, it was. Hour, okay. Two hours, whatever it may be. Three hours. Twelve hours. Six, six days. Unless he just didn't want to be asked about his toilet uh, seat. <laughs> so no, I'm pretty I, sure I this was before. Pretty much after we, after we announced this, uh, that you were coming on the show, I was told that you should not come on. I was told not to interview you. Why do you think that is? Well, I mean, considering the fact that the name of the show is, you know, possibly the, the most hated guy on the internet. Yeah, what was that, uh, Phil? I mean, it's, it's rocket science. You know, people don't like me for various different reasons. And, you know, they, they come at me with so many accusations, so many crazy conspiracy theories. And I'm just a small time what? guy. Why? I'm just Who a small time guy. Who wouldn't like the guy? I don't understand. Um, and every time that I address it, any of the stuff that they say about me, it's it's completely counterproductive. It doesn't help anything. I hope they fix his audio. I hope he gets louder at some point. So why have me on a show? To be honest, I actually don't recall. <clears throat> um, me either. He do, he doesn't sound this quiet in the clips though. Things I've already said. You know, so the guy's gonna be here for a couple days or something. Like you guys are gonna push my plus for two hours or something. I don't think so. Vaporware 336 is well, that could be because they isolated Just his to audio. Just this whole interview, yeah, the guy glazed the heck out of the SS. Family, unfortunate acronym. Before they chose to read super chats. Not a moment. That, but at the same time, uh, the reason that I feel no, thank you, Vaporware 336, for think, becoming a member yo, two months in a row. Yeah, he totally did. On my streams, I try to curtail the nonsense. My viewers are not there to hear me talk about my bankruptcy. Play fast and loose. They're not there to hear talk about. Accusations of spending a hundred thousand dollars on a mobile game or how I groomed someone in the past. This is ridiculous nonsense. They're just there to listen to gameplay. They want to see me play a video game or talk about news or something. And every time it brings up, the, oh God, he's well, they tackled the two big ones. The trolls, why is he doing it? So now this interview will be an opportunity for me to finally open up about all these topics. Nothing is off the table. I've said this to the guys here. Ask me anything. I will address Fine. every single thing anyone wants to ask me. I don't know. Hey, do you still play games? It again, there's some legal things going on and everything, but we'll talk. And uh, what? This what? Will be the first Turn it off. Turn it, it off. Answers to all the drama. Watch side scrollers from March <laughs> okay. 16, 2023. Still addressed it. And if you don't believe you got me them, addicted. that's okay. It's everyone's subjective ability to judge whether or not someone's being truthful or not, right? So you can't make And everybody's like, going to walk away from this interview and say you weren't being truthful. Okay, sounds I good. Answered every question that you threw at me. Like nothing is off the wrong. table, but I won't show you my I'm WWE Champions account. The topics that I know people want answers to, so that way it's all out there. And then we can just move on. I don't want to have this crap on my content anymore. I just want to move on with my community and, and breathe a sigh of relief after today. And I'm hoping that some closure will come out of this. So there. nothing's off nothing's off the t off the table today. We can talk about whatever whatever we want to talk about, um, which is great. Um, I don't. Okay, okay. I I feel I feel good about that, and I think that's one of the things that once again there's going to be things that we're going to talk about that I feel is as long as you're honest and we're, we're going to push you on things, Phil. As long you as that, you're honest, yeah, we're going to push you, and and mm. I think. You know, the one thing I said over and over again is, is I feel that I'm a fair interviewer, a fair interviewer to myself, fair interview to the person I'm interviewing and fair, fair to the audience. And uh, that's one thing to keep in mind as we go along. along Say what you so. want about Greg. That was true in this one I instance, guess, uh, at I least. Very briefly just make one statement. <laughs> this is true. Sure. Again. I want to publicly apologize to you guys, to your other hosts, to the G2s and anyone else who likes Oh, yeah. Content. Victim segment. Two weeks, you guys have seen your content derailed. The G2s. This. I never intended for that. G2s. We're apologizing. I kind of was worried it would happen. Them OG2s, dude. I don't control this black cloud that follows me around the internet as much as I try. I don't but control this black cloud. cloud. It, it's, it's not your fault that because... You decided to have me on your show as a regular. See, this is guy. your guys' you fault, chat. Like two weeks of you did this. And nonsense. I'm hoping this, again, will put some closure to it as well. It's not just about me. It's about you guys also being able to say, okay, we did it. We had the interview. and Can we get back to normality? I love your show. I am a longtime fan of Screw Attack. I used to watch everything you guys were putting out. Screw Attack was, was pretty banger back in the day. Even prominent. I, I watched uh, great show. Never watched it. it. I, I, I'm so upset. 
that this has become about me somehow, and I'm done with it. Like that's why I'm. I, no, I'm, you I'm love that it became about you. Never intended, and I hope that we can. Move you on love attention. Time. You're a whore. So, Phil, you just killed our show by giving us an endorsement. Thanks, man. Appreciate go. that. Got him. Got him. Oh, you're yeah, right. You guys suck. I hate you. Oh, you're gonna ask me terrible questions today. I really hate you guys. All right. Well, well let's let's get into some of Let these. Let me know how the audio sounds. And I think this is this uh, is something that I've heard. Um, the, the questions that I'm gonna ask today, uh, they're they're a good mix of questions that have been on the internet. They've been questions that I want to know. There's questions that uh, some of your biggest detractors have asked me to ask you um so they're, they're, about homeless I think cats that's, that's important i want to get great all sides of this never met um, them. so i i think a, a great a great starting point for here is when you're streaming phil who who is streaming is it phil or dark side phil who well it depends Oof. on Hard okay. question, right off the bat. I don't know who's streaming. Is it me? Is it you? Man, they just smacked him across the face with that one. Came out of left field. <laughs> Sheldrick has joined the game. I have, a segment on I have my yet to see the whole Man interview, and I'm ready for a wild You know, I, I, I really ham it up if it's a edit. dumb topic I'm talking about. And I yeah, old man yells so at screens. It, or if I'm playing a Solid, game thank you for the really two months, brother. I'm dying a lot, yeah, or I'm playing an online fighting game. I'll emphasize the fact the that the interview oh, front to back is wild. You know, I'll always ham it up, but that's kind of my shtick. That's always yeah, he gets exhausted shtick. after running this Actual sentence to together. <laughs> Fucking you know, wiped. The internet wants to pretend like otherwise, as if you have never watched my content over the past 15 years that I've been a content creator on the internet. You would have seen this is kind of the shtick that I do in certain situations, but today. I am so different than how I used to be. You know, when you've made content for 15 years, you go through several different stages and evolutions. And, you know, when I started on YouTube way back Evolution. when, it was Dude, he's evolving. Really, evolving. He really ran him through the whole, I'm not the same guy I was yesterday shtick. Like oh, yeah, the whole he, thing. He, it's he just a free it stream. Today, are you me? I can't <laughs> it is. It is. That. The whole beginning is pretty much just a free stream. What happens is over time, things change, you know, and... There was really uh, and Adam's looking like me during the pre-stream. Just like, what are we talking about here, dude? I don't understand. <laughs> Adam's checked out immediately. He's like, what have I, what have I done? One of the things that rebooted was I went from being thinking back and all the decisions that led him here. You know, videos that you would digest. He's like, what's this trash in his background? Like, who is this guy? <laughs> Why? Wow, you're streaming from a landfill. <laughs> Eight plus years. I've just been talking to a camera and pretending like I'm the only one in the room. I have an audience live watching me. What the hell am I doing? I'm ignoring them. And once I started having an interactive conversation with my audience, it became so much better. This social uh, experience. Yeah, he kind of makes it sound like he was the one that figured that out instead of being bullied uh, by his audience to actually acknowledge their existence. So I realized I don't have he to be that. Anymore. I could just be me. I could just talk with these people and be honest. And, What's and up, Crispy Mantis? Or whatever. And again, yes, every once in a while there's an exaggeration. Absolutely. But that's part of the fun of it all. You know, we're not all just here to be Mr. Serious all day. How boring would that be? But at the same time, yeah, today I would say I'm a lot more laid back of a person and I'm a lot more honest and transparent with my audience with, with the discussions we have. This is Mr. Transparency. Although every once in a while, yes, there's obviously. It, it, Holy shit, how many paragraphs in are we? Character <laughs> joke a little bit. To get a little, and they a little asked one question. He's gone on part. this entire today, rant. Not, what are we? This really is a free stream. Used to be. They might as so well just ask the question so, in so chat. Dark side Phil is <laughs> you guys could have just right tipped him. <laughs> yes and no. Again, I mean, I, it's cool to be. Well, what, what is it? Like, well, you know, like, like what? What, what does it mean? Honest when you one. Say, uh, that I, you know, I'm over the top. Like, what, like, give me an example of, of what that means. What does it mean when you say, "Well, I'm over the top," and and why would you, you know, if there the internet has changed, right? Uh, there was a there was a point. You, you are correct in saying that uh, back in the early 2000s, you know, uh, into the, you know, when, when you kind of rose to prominence, there was, was you, know, you, you took your personality and you, you put it a little, uh, it would exponentially make it a little more, a little more over the top. But the internet has changed to authenticity. People want to get to know, and, and I don't disagree with you there. But when you, when you mix up, and you're, it's almost like you're sending mixed signals to your audience. Greg also gives us a little people, bit of hand graphing, doesn't he? They they he haven't does. watched you. He must be Italian years. too. You know the idea, the idea <laughs> of saying like, "Hey, I I've been uh, I've been on the internet for 15 years. You should know you should know how I act." But the reality is is that most people see you through clips, uh, through Twitter or or YouTube, and they they don't know you. So regardless of how long you've been That's on the internet, you should I mean, be on your best behavior forever. pretty much and, all and of the time. Fast, it's fast, not that fast, complicated. Fast, 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 majority of people watching right now have no idea who I am. So 
uh, you, know, you treat every viewer yeah, like he's putting that journalism viewer. degree to work. So, know, kind of walk me through that because I, I do think that's kind of, you know, like provide me with an example of, of what what DSP is versus Phil. Sure. Uh, right right now I'm playing the game. It's called Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. All right. It's one of these games made by Team Oh Long. Game, but it's very much meant to be like a, a from software style game like Dark Souls or Bloodborne or From Soft style game, reality. you guys. Things are gonna kill you with one to two hits. Style right? indeed. In my opinion, this is my opinion, it's not very good. A lot of people disagree with me. They love this game. Okay. I don't like it. I think that it, it's a cheap knockoff. <laughs> I don't like I feel it. Like it's very wonky, it's not polished. I will say those things in my content. But in the heat of the moment, if I'm running through a stage and I get, oh, instant kill, cheap death, I freak out. Oh, you son of a bitch, this game sucks. So one ass. thing I want to give the side scrollers props ever, for is, is their ability to look that's, like that's the dark actually keep over the top track of the bullshit he's saying and stay on topic. And be like, oh, that sucked that I did. In, in some parts. Sometimes they let him ramble for a little while. Which is, you have to. Because if you if you cut him off and you try and pin him down too early, he's leaving. That's just the way it's, it's a very sensitive game. He'll you know, get DDoSed and just game. vanish, right? He'll be like, ah, <laughs> it's the <laughs> Comcast detractor. You know, you Dude, go got him. Stop every once in a while. Now, just but like it, you but say, is that just something that Phil would do also? Right. Well, uh, well, Phil would do that, but Phil wouldn't be like, like, for example, okay, the game killed me. It's a cheap debt. Do you really think that? Two examples in to this one it's question. It's a game. I, you know, it's a big deal. Oh, everyone <laughs> gets triggered by games. I mean, I get, I get triggered. Exactly. No, I, I that is not, that, that is not real. A lot of people put a filter over what they say and do when they put out their content. Why? Because they're trying to be marketable, right? They're trying to say, I want that sponsor. <laughs> yeah, want he's that got sponsor. cat crush over by the Ethernet cord. <laughs> filtered myself on the internet. That's why a lot of people don't like it. Let's right, not pretend like has... she could be crouched for that long. Yeah, she's definitely she's laying on the she's floor. Laying. <laughs> she's got her, she's got her oh, switch. She's just oh, laying there waiting for I the really command. I don't like because this is unfair. Do you think that game companies are happy Siege about mode. Of course not. You know, but he's feeling defensive. You know, Look at his but, body but, but, language. He's but, but, guarded. Hold on. Like, I mean, he was guarded, guarded before, but <laughs> do you think that those game companies are, are like looking to establish a relationship with like, like they're not. I mean, the, the reality is, is that these companies are looking for streamers who, who stream to 5,000, 10,000 people Correct. as opposed, as oh, opposed yeah. to, you know, this a couple is the hundred. part that's kind and of telling. He thinks like, like gaming industries listen what, to him or whether it's you saying or, 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 or DSP saying it, um, uh, I, I don't I think that if people were watching to see those over the top reactions, I think they were watching for that a decade ago. And I and I really mean that, right? Like I, okay, so look, I had it's Hungi, Craig, right? I and Evil Craig was the was meant to be the essence of of just the internet Evil troll, Craig. right? I did it for ten yeah, episodes. You guys remember Evil remember Craig? Me. And I stopped doing uh, it he, because he I shows realized up during that, this interview. that I was I was um growing an audience of people that were negative and trolls right and it's funny it was funny and it was so still so silly but not funny by by you saying, it it saying like look i'm gonna overreact big i think there's there's two prongs to this question number one if people were really watching to see your over-the-top reactions don't you think they'd be making clips of that instead of instead of other clips that they were making and those would be going viral and number two that you're Demis begging you know, clips you're really not enjoying the game why are you why why play it why play it in the first place? That's a great question. That's something that's oh actually. Oh my God, glass. But, but start, with, start with number one, though. Start with number one. Like, why? If if people are watching him. to see your over the top angry reactions, don't you think they'd be clipping those as opposed to clipping other things? In truth, yes. I don't know what they clip because. To be I fair, so we definitely do now. clip his over the top uh, angry reactions, second like all the oh, time. Yeah. It's just part of what yeah, everybody whatever. clips. Um, well, it's part of the no, stuff I, that's I, I funny. Totally like right now, it boils it's down to the precom piss cast and him getting some tilted. Who are turned off by this playthrough, and they're like, "I don't want to watch." Who's play. smashing? He's gonna get angry, and he's gonna turn into this rage ball that we don't like watching. We like seeing the real Phil. At the same time. There are people who I've told my audience, I don't like this game. I would like to move on. This kind of does meld into the second half of your question as well. I say, I've been very transparent with my honest with my audience about this game. So I don't like it. Transparent again. I, if I'm going to play a FromSoft game, why don't we just do a second run of Elden Ring, a new game plus run? Because that's not interesting. They want to see new no, environments, Bill, stupid. We like seeing you rage. This has been a part of your shtick for 15 years. This is a lot of the reason why we tune in. I'm seeing more attendance on my Wolong streams, and I'm getting more 
Honestly, it is a rage ball. I will long streams because they want to see that rage come out of me as opposed to me playing a bunch of games where I'm what more. What do you like, think it was that drew Kat to DSP's content? Because she was a fan. Was it was it his show up for that and support it? Uh, getting tilted moments. A different group of people that obviously that really, she's infatuated with how good he looked. One of the reasons why I'm still here 15 years later. <laughs> I have different audiences. She was like, oh, God, that oddly shaped head Yo, does it for me. Yo, he was doing the I have different audiences back then? Oh, yeah, he's been doing it, like, for years. But I didn't know he was doing it out loud. exactly what that played Oh, yeah. Right? But then when I play Wolong, now it's time for that old dark side. I have, like, three different audiences, dude. It's funny, because you'll watch one of my streams, you'll say, "Funny." well, Phil gets around 200 to 400 viewers a stream, Okay. But in reality, when and he thinks the overlap is like minuscule analytics. too. Actually, those are like thousands of different people. One she thousands has to... of different people. <laughs> those are five hundred different people because people are coming for different kinds of content. Yeah, and this is his cope for them media, saying he's got a small audience. Reasons. Um, if I were, to but are they be... sticking? Are they for staying sure. though? Because because for... because. You know, if you have 500 people come in and, and they're just kind of coming out, that's that's actually bad Dude, for him the jumping that's in bad. right you there is just like editing his videos. And, and, you have uh, to find that little <laughs> breath. Cut him. <laughs> yeah. They want to see a new game, not necessarily because they want to see you, right? They, they're interested in the game, not necessarily you. If you're playing a game that's that's topical or new or something along those lines. Uh, again, yes and no. I would say back in the day that was the case. Like new releases, I would get ginormous spikes in attendance because I actually used to day have one views, dude. PSP Gaming, which is my He's gaming channel. He's got to get those day one views. Be one of the more prominent gaming channels for Let's Players on YouTube over a decade mm -hmm. ago. I mm -hmm. was in the algorithm. I play a new game, I would see my my attendance double, triple, just because I'm playing a new game. I don't get that anymore. You know, it's been. And there's some of the things we'll probably talk about today. One of the reasons was that that why that happened. Um, trolling activities. You know, nice salute. <laughs> my channel out of the algorithm. So today, it doesn't really matter what I play, honestly. I mean, yes, I'll, I'll play a new game and I'll get So I think that's the first mention of trolling activities. We are 22 really minutes into a five hour interview. And, and who's there for what? <laughs> um, We're already so talking about the trolls. Because 22 I minutes just, is further than I thought he'd make it, though. Oh, he talked talk talk about the trolls out the door. We're the black cloud that he has no control over. I will get an increase. It's been a long time, man. A rage inducing game. It's been a whole 22 minutes. You know, there's going to be an. Oh, I meant since I saw the interview. I don't remember. I don't remember a lot. It's been a whole year, dude. Uh, setting. people like that and that's the variety that i bring in but yeah I, I like i understand what you're saying it would be great if maybe i was just one kind of content but i found in the 15 years playing kind of both sides it gets you different audiences and it's worked for me at least that's what i feel is one of the keys to my longevity is tomorrow if they never made another FromSoft game i'd be okay because i still play everything else i would I'm not okay. be okay with that <laughs> oh, I wouldn't be okay with that either. I love those games too. As much as I rage Adam, at them, Adam and I'll be angry in the gave moment. It to him. I absolutely appreciate and love them for what they are. Well, clearly, Dude, but like every other FromSoft content exactly. creator would be fine player. too. They just go do something well, let's, else let's if they wanted to. So, they have the gumption so for you it. You early on had this perception of and Soulsborne you know, is a genre that you, now. That you like, marketed, you it's not just FromSoft. Whatever, right? Yeah, they could just go do other Soulsborne style, the King of Hate dot com, and all that stuff. They could play that trash fire, the Japanese. But do you feel that? Um, do you feel that that still follows you around? This idea of of built around, like, look. James Rolfe, Angry Video Game Nerd. He's clearly a character. People know that there's the Angry Video Game Nerd and then there's the character. But your perception is that there's this there's this hate around you, this negativity around you, right? Do you think that that has followed you to the point to where, um, you know, regardless of if they're coming to watch you, Phil, or DSP, that um, that, that has a, been a negative detractor for you, the whole hate moniker? Absolutely. Um, yeah, and look at those course, arms, bro. I guess this would be a good time to talk he about does have noodle <laughs> arms. <laughs> it's just atrophied the fuck, bro. Person towards games and game. Nobody can care two gallons of milk. On his stream and just hate everyone, and that's never what it was. Anyone who does five seconds of research to the what does the king? Yo, pick up Sarcastus for the so five. Times in the fifteen years I've been a content creator. Fine, she was probably the only the clean answer, shirt. I used to be a competitive Street Fighter player back in the two thousands. Okay. And this was also the pre-dress shirt era. Because Street Fighter wasn't big like it is today. Street Fighter oh, yeah, we didn't change our wardrobe yet. LTG didn't yell at us. So the way to yeah, get it LTG didn't tell us to work uh, on our sex. Working on sexy, yeah. 
That's right. I would go online and I would be the biggest internet troll to everyone in the Street Fighter community. I would make fun of them. I would just destroy them online. And everyone okay, so bro, so fa let's, fa let's fast forward. You right, threaten you, someone's you, life on a radio a call. Ago. Let's talk about today, though. Like, do you feel okay. that? Do you feel that? I don't this, really this know if I qualify that. Do you, do, you th do you think that the King of Hate moniker is still relevant? Today it is not. It was because when I started, my whole my, the meaning behind it is, when people hate on you, you don't use that to become a victim. You don't use that. Yes, to you do. Fall into a ball and hide in a corner. And, oh, I'm defeated. People don't like me anymore, so I quit. Instead, you use that as a way to motivate. Yourself. I use it to fuel me. For example, when people say you're never going to beat this game because it's so tough. Ah, hate lives, you say dude. I can't do it. You're hating on me. Say I'm a bad gamer. I'm going to beat that game just because you said I couldn't. Right? You say I'm, I'm a bad content creator. I'm this. I'm going to fail. I'm going to. No, I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to use that hate around me. He's doing the Italian thing pretty hard right now. Yeah, he's getting into he it. He's feeling person. himself. I, this is a and all he's doing is explaining how he's just, just hard-headed and obstinate and anytime anyone tells him to do anything. And, and that's why his content actually sucks. Because every time someone tells him to do something, he has to do the opposite. God, I wish I... I need to go grab that clip where he says that out loud, too. say... The King I would, I would never be able to find it again. Pig Pig Go hates me. They say, yeah, Pig Pig Go, I don't know how to Take use it. Look at that thing he said 10, 15 years ago. Maddie's a menace on there, though. He, <laughs> he, oh, yeah. he, he knows how to break Pig Pig Go in all the right ways. That's what the King of Hate oh, is. That reminds me. I'll just get Maddie to grab it for me. And then they'll reference that stuff and say that I'm a bigot or I'm a What's up, Snood? Or I'm a sexist. You know, they say it to this day. Snood and Piaz. Okay, our boys. Well, then let's... Let's. I wasn't uh, planning on talking this till later. Over. Yeah, well, go, go you, ahead, Adam. When you climb to the top of of like the hate mountain and claim to be the king of hate, don't don't you think it? It's <laughs> I want to ascend hate mountain. Inviting people to try to take you down. <laughs> you know, you you said that you made that. He's still on level one Street of hate world. mountain. And then as time went on in the YouTube realm, that's what. I'm gonna you start were, calling cat guess, hate, hate your, mountain. Your, <laughs> your your position on the internet known. You're the king of hate. So, like, you can almost expect people to hate. come back I'm at you and hate. try to use that same kind of vibe. And, you know, I, I've seen plenty of clips of, of random shit throughout the, the past couple of weeks because I didn't I didn't know who you were. Right. So I, I'm I'm still kind of new to this YouTube realm. And, uh, you know, I, I've seen I've seen the way sometimes that you I, and of course, this is what people share. Right. So what I've seen is you kind of letting it get the best of you in some <laughs> cases where you're letting that the almost king of eight and skin, the queen of eight. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> one, one on the Internet, you kind of have to be able to take it as well. Based. Uh, sorry, based. I, I just I just wanted to point that out. You know, it's almost like you kind of asked for it by being the king of hate and making that. I didn't hear thing. the thing go off. Kind of but, was like, uh, all right, well, I, I if I'm going to do it, I six, to six, six. I the two. I'm listening to a loser's mentality right now. Absolutely. DSP's I've never had a different one. Really. When I started on YouTube, there were no successful Let's Players making a full living doing it. No successful that. Let's Players before I DSP, was, dude. He's the originator. The He's the best. originator. Look at he, what um... he's done. <laughs> and don't do it. Right? Look at all the mistakes. Yeah, literally. The last 15 years. And if you want to be a, uh, someone who makes gameplay content on YouTube, don't do what that guy did. Because he screwed up. You know, when I started 15 years ago, I, I, I was like, I'm just going to roll with what I do in Street Fighter. It works this, there. This shit pisses me off. I, I hate when he says this, though, hobby. because you don't need a blueprint to not act like an asshole online. You don't need people to tell you not to do something in order to just be a better person. It's not it's not rocket science, dude. Just don't be a piece of shit. Fast forward two and a half years after I started on YouTube, I lose my job. Oh, crap. What am I going to do? Can I monetize my YouTube presence? I guess I can. But now I'm the king of hate. Everyone knows me as the king of hate for two and a half years. This is my shtick. This is my moniker. What do I do? You know, I, how do you how do you erase it's him just coping and trying to make it sound like he's useful because he's a he's an well, example of what not to be like way to go. I'll, I'll this, two years I ago, guess you and every and dictator ago. in history. Had, is that what I, you want to be with, house. brother? Is that why you wear the hat? That I can't. I have to try to get rid of this moniker. This is something that people were actively using to weaponize against me. They were going to businesses that I was associated with and telling them, you have a bigot on your website. Do you know that? Look at all these things that he did. And they would link to things, little one-off jokes from 15 years ago. Right. As if it's something I did today. 
Whoa. And they would say, he's okay. the king of hate. So I said, I have to stop this. I have to get rid of the website, rebrand myself. And now that's why I, I, I'm, I do not live by that mantra anymore. I don't even mention it. You know, so but what have you done? What have you done, Phil, to, to change the perception of that? What have you, have you changed the look of your streams? Have you changed your production value? Did you take a break? Did you say, look, I'm, I'm leaving and I'm going to come back, but, but I, I need time to kind of rethink this uh, like big up you, Wesley H because you're still going for under the, the three the months same, still brother. the same channel still DSP oh, still yeah, dark side Phil I, like um, all right he will never improve what if, what, are, what he's always going to be the guy to change the perception of that I mean it, it's been a consistent line the entire time of right. of Phil 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 so what have you done to change that because it, it sounds like you're saying well you know woe is me but ultimately it comes down to your actions yeah and if if you were to watch my content you know five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, hell, two years ago, and you were to watch my content today, you would see a difference. Like, for example, look how everything looks behind me right now, right? Up until just, you know, six months ago, <laughs> I still look like shit. I'll admit that, you know? I, but, you know, it's what I don't have- What the hell does he now. mean I, by I, that? I'm very much crowdfunded. Look at everything behind me. Look at this trash. I've changed, guys. To everything. Look at and the landfill the I'm in. Half, been kind of Doesn't it look robust? Can't you tell I'm better? I'm doing. Let me listen to feedback. Just in the last year- I have improved. I, I have the glowing ghost the guy. Biggest critic of React content. I crapped on it constantly saying it was terrible content. It's you still do. You just say yours is uh, different because you goat laugh at it. But, but so yo, that it. would have been the meta stream yeah, to do. Just watch the whole interview and just goat laugh every every that. like thirty <laughs> seconds or so. You gotta listen. We'll take I turns. I started doing different kinds of content. I changed my setup. My goat laugh will get tired, dude. The perception around me, but the problem is, with the two. That is his base camp, dude. Renamed it or whatever. There is such an overwhelming stigma. Still has a long way. Ha. Um. Um, that it wouldn't work. That's his These base camp. Eight, eight mountain no is his go, base camp. No matter how much I change, <laughs> the queen of weight, or, or they pretend like the change hasn't happened. <laughs> <laughs> rolling on with their their hate trains, and you know, it, it sucks. I would love to do a full reboot and rename DSP Gaming. It wouldn't matter within within a day. That's DSP Gaming. Don't be fooled. It's the same guy. You know, so. Well, yeah, I've to, thought about him just things completely rebranding and trying to do content. something else. Like, like that's today. not DSP gaming, kind of but like a different gaming more channel. More and then I was like, yeah, instantly it would it would be the like, same. But you should just do a VTuber well, and call himself Lightside Phil like, and be as nice as humanly possible. And and I think this is like this is important. You said the light bulb went off, you know, about a year ago. You got to change. You change your background and stuff. Yes, DS politics but, make but, it happen. But I want to bring up like there's still jokes that are made that um, say, Dave, there we go. that don't necessarily like they don't fit today. And I want to I want to play one for you really sure. quick and just kind of get your reaction to this. Okay, so this is oh, this is go. yeah. So you know you know where this is going. I know I want to watch oh, this yeah. so so we all understand what's going on here. Classic clip. ESP makes racist joke. They should have played the whole compilation. <laughs> All right, boys, prepare the slave trade. We're selling a ride off for profit. Choose nails vigorously. He just looks at it just like, ah. You'd think he's, oh, he just wants to say, you'd think he's frozen the way he's not moving. <laughs> he leans into it. He's like, why can't I ban this dude? <laughs> right, she's too valuable to escape. <laughs> She's too money. valuable. That's okay. Up. Yeah. So, so Adam's so response. What's going on there, my response. Like, let's let's talk about that. Yeah, like, he uses that, his uh, Colonel Sanders that, Southern when, style when you see voice that, How for does that. that make you feel? What are you thinking? Do you regret that? And that's why I can't that? believe like, that, that it wasn't humor? a it wasn't a race well, thing because all, he uses I the Southern voice for it. Well, in this excuse that he uses, the basically I don't see color, dude. That excuse is some shit you hear from a middle schooler or like a freshman who made an abhorrent joke in front of some people who weren't into it. Okay. Now, from what reference are you? Are you think? Um, how can I say this? Okay, I'll 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 approach it from the detractor. Perspective, the detractor's perspective. Okay? From the detractor perspective. Now, the I want to hear. I want to hear your perspective of what you yeah. meant. Right. Yeah. You, Adam. Get him, well, get him Adam. See, Don't let him wiggle. What the detractors mean. He's, he'd be wobbling right like, now. Like, for me, that would have put me on the detractor side because it sounds like you were making a joke about selling that little girl to the slave trade. How is it not that? Like, what did you mean? Oh, no, that's, it, that's it... absolutely 
you that's guys know how we feel about wobblers around these parts. Between saying that's oh. okay and it's funny, or the ridiculous. Adam just said, if that's the joke that puts me on the detractor side, and DSP goes, yeah, that's the joke. All right, so Adam's off the DSP boat on the detractor boat. Detractor confirmed. It happened real quick, <laughs> real time. People inside a building to protect his secrets. Honestly, that's the best thing about this whole interview. You get to see two totally normal dudes become detractors in real time. So you, this is being revealed throughout the plot. Yes, Robert Williams. Wobblers on site for sure. Mods, you know what to do. Bag. He's he's saying to the dad, "I'm going to." <laughs> Yo, every time he sees starts to lie, and I'm just gonna refer to it. Oh, it's, he's wobbling. He's wobbling. He's wobbling. <laughs> you probably, you know, traffic people. He's, he's wobbling, wobbling different. Is it a joke? That's acceptable by I'm wobbling. I'm wobbling. By wobbler. Never mind. Joke's over. Not. Van world. I agree with you. Do you think that's a joke? Like, do you think that's a joke acceptable by any standards? Like, 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 I, I don't, I don't. Even, even a decade ago. Two decades right. ago, three decades like, ago, and, I and think, uh, it's it's I'm, uh, like I just apparently these guys don't hear know your that thoughts on that because I, I think there's the edgy content and there's inappropriate content, and we we've, we've, look we've all been we've all been guilty of edgy content before, you know. So I think it's it's dark humor. It's definitely <laughs> it's definitely starting. dark humor. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Ack, ack, ack. Ack, 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 ack. <laughs> Obviously from other people, but that doesn't make it okay for me to do it. I know that. <laughs> the wobbler and the gobbler. <laughs> you know, Shut up. Especially but especially with, with, with what's following you around. This this mm. the, you know, you be wobbling, she be right? goblin. You if you truly if the light truly went off in your head to say like I gotta change, don't you think it would be like, well maybe maybe I should bite my tongue on this one. I may be thinking it. But but how about I bite my tongue on this? Yes, I one hundred percent. Yes, and it's it's a working process. It's something that has to happen naturally over time. It's not something that can be a switch that's flipped because, you know, again, I was someone who's done this for fifteen years back in the day. This is him confirming that he still thinks these lie. things. He just that's doesn't say them out loud, and that's why he bites that's his nails. Popular on YouTube. Him and Cat just say racist that's things that's together behind closed doors. Over the top, dark. Yo, I wonder if they're okay. if they're saying the gamer word. Today, it's not acceptable. Oh, probably. I know that. And heinous, the thing is, those heinous behavior behind head, the, behind <laughs> the snort <laughs> fort doors. I will tell you that right now, one million percent. You know, but. It's a working process. God, Ted, I don't want to go to the supermarket. There's so many of those stationary. Kind of <laughs> you have to see the big picture. All right. I've been doing this for 15 years. I've been doing it full time for a job since 2011. God, his 15 year legacy is like his fucking hype, hype beast build up thing. You know what I mean? I think this is the third time he's mentioned 15 okay. years already. People will yeah. always find something that, that that moment of weakness, that stupid thing that I said, I know, ah. Oh, Stupid Phil, why the hell did I make that joke? But once it's out there, it's out there. And all you can do... <laughs> Nothing I can do, dude. I just said it. <laughs> ...and move on. Now, there's a reason... Yeah, and he acts like there's today. nothing he can do about it, but he started doing that shit when he could have edited it out. You had to show a clip. He still, yo, he leaves the shit in now for DSP reacts. He still has the opportunity to edit the shit out. He just blasts it on the internet. Whenever I do something Dude, stupid, use on your the unpaid internet, servants to edit that shit for you. You know, looked in with with a microscope and bohem. blown away. This is what Dark Side Phil is. Have you watched the last five years of content I've put out? There's probably okay. Yes, I'm a human. My I biggest care. fan, KK Carrick. He, he loves it. Stuff when I get over emotional. <laughs> this is not the norm on my streams. People see that clip uh, out of context. Like this guys, is not the norm. You had you guys you had to go back four or six joke. months ago to find that clip. You'd be like, what a, what a scumbag. He made a Such joke a long time. Trafficking. I know. Kind of a horrible person thinks child trafficking is funny. When you watch it in context, it's yeah. not as bad, but it's still bad. Oh, it's... But... When it's, pretty, the same. It's, it's pretty gross, to be honest, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure which character you're even... You can definitely so make a slave trade or, or a human sure. trafficking that's, that's style that's joke if you're funny. The problem is DSP's not funny, so it just comes I, I off know, as horribly I, I, I offensive. Yeah. In a situation like that... It's like, all about the delivery. Society, His delivery is now where, awful. Like, look, I, under, I understand that going into this interview that literally every second... That's also of like one of those... Where, like, and Adam understands that, you understand that, right? Not like... Like in front yeah, of a bunch of strangers. You say, there's a camera on you at all times, especially when you're a live streamer, you know. And I, I mean, for somebody who who does this for a living, I just I just feel like you you have to be able to bite your tongue at, at sometimes, and you need to know better. You, I mean, you said to yourself that the switch was was flipped, and uh, I understand that. I totally understand. I am very forgiving of mistakes, right? But when there's a pattern of these things. 
uh, that go back over the course of, of, of time. Like it's, it's no do. longer a mistake. It's <laughs> it's a, it's morning, a continuation. So I, I don't know. I, I think look, if you're saying that that the con I, I'm I'm also a big believer Lord in taking Kane people at the with work, another two. Right? Fifteen years uh, his only accomplishment. Omega different. loser. Um, for facts. That is actually so you're facts. You're saying that over the over the course <laughs> of the last since that joke, you've been pretty squeaky clean and you and you haven't made inappropriate jokes like that that are nah, that he's just been edgy, begging, I dude. I, I I don't here's the thing. I don't want to say that because I'm here six days a week full time. You know, that's a lot of my life. And I guarantee you if I say right now, if I say Man, and he yeah, gets so gin addled after every stream. He can't remember what he said. Right now, they'll find it. Right? I understand. And that's the problem. Is it's our fault, dude? It's our fault. He said racist times, shit. With the amount of content I put out on the internet, they will always find it. But if you're a different person, it I'm doesn't. You should be able to say yes within say this span this. of time. I've been you trying to be better, and I've been good. I've been better. But he can't do that because he's not even goddamn trying. A running pattern of me doing really bad jokes like that. Okay, maybe you'll find a few. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a flawed individual, but you're not gonna find it as like, like you definitely wouldn't say, flawed. oh, here's 47 times within a year that Phil did it that. It is what they wanted, for seven. His time, audience was right? begging for the racist one content. Time here, one time here, one time here, and then they oh, blow Phil, it up on the internet. You just, you just gave so many different people <laughs> a, a reason to do exactly oh, yeah. that. Oh, they will. Oh, I know, no. but they will do it anyway. It doesn't matter what I say or do. Yeah. This is well, what they do. Someone in chat. Now, you, you said that, that the switch in your brain, you know, was was off so that you, you made that joke. Like, do you, do you have it in, in, in there that it's like thinking like when you said that, you're like, maybe that was too much or you were just free flowing. And that's just kind of you. Like six million. That's um, an interesting number. Let me put it this way. If I'm streaming and a joke pops into my head and and i feel oh man that's probably too much today i usually will not say it usually it'll be it'll usually be, i won't say it sometimes i will just but sometimes uh, when me and cat are out having our day half was a moment <laughs> just happens. what in the goddamn I weird observation nothing i could do humor in my head Yo, Wesley H. Know, with the five miles a minute. Is this the, here's a joke. Here's a joke. Here's a joke. Here's a, a few joke, days right? before but this interview, Phil made a joke about an Asian though? character like that's, being jailbait. He pumps out <laughs> like so much garbage content like, and think people like, care. Th there are people who make yes, like there yes, are comedians who make jokes and they're edgy and such like that. I guess do you fancy yourself as a comedian? Like because you're telling you're telling you're telling us that people come to your streams to watch you, you know, uh, rage react to streams and and you know uh, things like that. I don't necessarily, and I don't know. I'm, I'm asking, mm -hmm. and I think this is a better, probably a better question for your fans. Are they, are they coming to watch for, for those edgy jokes, or are they coming to watch you rage? Because I don't know, man. It, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. You know, that, no, that's I really that we're his I, audience. I the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah. Today, you're 100 percent correct. 15 years ago, even 10 years ago. It was a different climate on YouTube, and people were looking for that. That's who I was, and now I'm. years ago, last year you said that was yeah. probably summer of last year. Yeah. So, because it, it it just feels mm. like a, a big leap from going from a sheriff who is like trying to kill people to seeing a little black girl and thinking a slave trade. You oh I mean? no! Now you said it. Now you, <laughs> now said, you said it. See <laughs> what black, you said black. Girl. I love this. It fucking was part. on, on That's screen. That's correct. That's correct. And herein lies the problem. What? I didn't. Think I didn't that. think that. I don't Shut see color, up. Drew. But, <laughs> but in my mind, I didn't even see. I don't that. see I color, that. Doob. Okay. You know, literally you know, every every child's joke. first excuse for saying something horrible. Profit. I wouldn't be shocked. It wasn't. She's a black girl going. And you could see Craig bewildered over there. Why He's like, "What are we doing?" <laughs> he leaned back. It was like the fuck. Well, I missed the <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. Yeah, he threw the Uno reverse <laughs> card out. Oh, you're, you're the racist, stupid. I, I can't make you believe me. I didn't think of it at, at one moment. It was you. You. <laughs> Absolutely not. It was about the mental gymnastics DSP is capable of is always <laughs> astounding. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like we can go on for. You can't even you know, fathom uh, what the fuck hour, just happened. Clip, but, <laughs> you know, let's move on. twelve-hour yeah, show on. coming up, folks. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> let, kind let's, of. Let's talk about this. Um, 
um, Petchy so with the like five. Your biggest he's addressing some plausible deniability uh, some with of your earliest that fans. usually because they, he's they worried that they have more examples. Thanks to zero prep came why, from him during this all. Uh, yes. <sighs> Um, he doesn't know what he said so yesterday. He can't be bothered to look up answer. anything. My fans will know it. God no damn, research. Adam, you yeah, actual I racist. Years. The first five years that I did it, all right, I had absolutely no effort to make it professional at all. I was being a no jackass. No effort to make it camera. professional. What in the goddamn? I didn't even have direct capture. For five years, I was having a camera pointed at my TV. Everything looked like junk, okay? But it was a joke. He laughs like, and scoffs at not having direct capture now, but he's he tried desperately to convince everybody that that was the way to go. Direct capture. Oh, yeah. Direct they capture loved, sucked, they and they love being happened. in the room. Sitting next to him. Yeah. yeah. Someone made a video. You guys get to LARP the like you're here with me, Drew. play Metal Gear Solid 2. And this was a playthrough I had done on Metal Gear Solid 2. An absolute banger of a video, by the way. Big ups, Evil AJ. My usual stick is... Oh, I Shout out this game. how you don't play. Is it my fault that I suck at the game? Of course not. It's the game's fault. It's Hideo Kojima's fault. So I blame him. I insult him massively during the playthrough. I'm just raging at this game constantly. My viewership loved it. But someone made a parody video essentially taking out the moments of me doing that. Taking out all gameplay moments that would have been considered good or fun or entertaining and only focusing on basically the cringeworthy moments. They I made wish this they had more clips like that to this. It blew up with popularity on the internet. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, free stream featuring the side scrollers every 20 minutes. Absolutely, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Someone called it a co op pre stream oh, earlier, and that's Phil pretty apt, I think. He's not like his yeah. contemporaries. He's not about as accurate as you're going to get. He's just a jackass. Look at him. He's he a, did he's inspire a PewDiePie. So now, let's make fun of him. And what ended up happening was people would take every playthrough. Jamie, both a PewDiePie clip. And make a this is how you don't play video about it. And my, uh, my fan base turned on me. Admittedly, if you would like, I'm not going to go into a giant explanation. So, so been... your your fan base turned on you because of what a video that somebody else did highlighting. Uh, yeah, like, it's evil AJ's fault. That doesn't make sense, Phil. It, like, it you, doesn't make any get, sense. Did you get bitter when that happened? Because when oh, I yes. hear, oh my god, yes. So do you think that do you think that bitterness changed the way that you were a content creator? Did you did you like add that into your your shtick, as you say? Yes, nude. His fans turning on him so. is is not because of the video. Was, it's because he has fans at the time who and are dissatisfied with his content and an have completely have switched teams. Had nothing to do with the video. They were looking for a reason to hate on him instead, because they don't like him anymore. Again, he sucks. It was just brought to their attention tenfold. All these methods of making a living, correct? We have Patreon. We have. He's the one running a successful YouTube channel. I was someone who had a full time job, and the job was putting videos on the internet wow. with monetization on them that was my so only this was stream. this was after 2011 when you lost your job oh correct yes i lost my job in late 20 oh, i'm sure all his real fans are on a ban list now for sure i don't play movement started picking up um, i love that adam is trying to nail down the, the timeline it, about when he was let go from the helicopter stupid. company I thought people were stealing my <laughs> this was after so you lost your job right 2011 <laughs> only shows the so dsp tell us about the helicopter company highlight myself and my business in a very negative light <laughs> That's going to make me look like crap. And instead of people laughing with me, now they're going to laugh at me. And therefore, that's theft. I outright said this in my videos. You stole my content without my permission. They're going to laugh at me. You? This is bad. This, you know. Oh, Dark Today, Mage. Uh, Chris the Narc was responsible for getting Keemstar on? Big ups, dude. Let's be honest. The bubble was going to burst. Chris is a cool Africa. guy. I've only had a couple interactions anyway, with him. I but I like him. going to last forever. But, but I was an idiot. I thought I actually went 1 million percent bitter against it. And when that happened, people saw that change it. in attitude of me. Wow, Phil used to totally just not care about anything. Now all of a sudden he's always bitter Dude, about Dude, you were always thin skinned. You can see that in your friendship more more. ridicule well, uh, videos. That's what you just said you right could there. see that on so the SRK forums before a YouTube video was ever posted by the guy. Dude, but he's always had thin skin. Mm -hmm. He's like always been ago, a whiny bitch. That's when they he, turned he on bitch made through and through. Admitting that you actually were getting bitter. Nothing but bitch in his blood like that kind of <laughs> correlates like maybe it was that moment when you didn't own up to the fact that people were making fun of you being this king of hate guy now going to king they're stealing my guy. shit i'm fucking pissed about it question mark uh, what the fuck and now everyone's like well, who the fuck is this guy you gotta own it if you don't own it then like why sh you know then you then you're just a joke yo adam's italian so too it felt like you just kind of like let that run your ship that you were you were sailing everyone's italian correct i have i have nothing i could say to counter that in any defensive manner that is it's a mistake i made Listen, I that's zero a italian bitch in my made blood. voice yeah, dude don't play directly fueled the fire for more people to keep doing it and to escalate further because it started as just a movement of 
Phil's a bad gamer. He doesn't deserve the success he has on YouTube because he has no production quality. He just, he's a rager, you know. There's no, you're not going to watch a Dark Side Phil playthrough and get any kind of knowledge of really how to play a game at a good level because he's well, not agent game. i'm glad That's you're here true. instead of uh slipping and sliding but I, it became instead yeah of agent 47 thanks for stopping by brother with ad revenue, hopefully uh you, you have fun videos, not being at work anymore for it and just make fun <laughs> of him instead and my reactions one million percent fueled that i will admit that now over the years it got worse and worse and that's I'm sure we're going to get because into because you how, got worse and worse. About, you got scummier game, and scummier. Everything else under the sun, and we can talk about how that evolved over time. And but he makes it sound like this is how you don't play has got worse and worse. We're like this is how you don't play. It's just they like exist the now. It's just a genre of content. Okay, got out so the outsider. You feel obviously, that your reaction to the this is how you don't play is what really parlayed your fans into becoming detractors. Yes, and it's not all of them, but. Absolutely. Back then, I saw people who had been longtime supporters and fans disappear, only to years later crawl back and you know, as as someone who was crapping on me. I'm like, whoa, what happened? I didn't. That's true, the Wesley. They did not bring up the vestry, but I don't know what more story. there could be say I about it. Today. He got wailed you know, out for an extended period of time. How you change as a person and how you can see from a different perspective. My and they knew about the bank leaks, so they knew where the money went. I'm the popular YouTuber. I'm the guy putting out all these I'm videos. I'm the one. Everyone's watching. I'm making money. He, he, he inspired the. Uh, uh, I'm doing something. This is bad. how you don't play I'm genre. The successful business, not you. So who are you to throw criticism at me? That was my attitude. What a dumb attitude to have. What a, an idiotic attitude. Everyone and it's insane that, that he had that attitude, though. Oh, I I run the successful YouTube channel, so I know everything. Like, what kind of asshole do you have to be to think that you know everything simply because you're doing okay right now? That's not a businessman, dude. That's a clown. People watch it, and you know, had past tense. Twenty twelve, twenty thirteen. Well, he made money. I guess if that's the meter stick we're using, we're using the measure success. I mean, the attitude. People are saying, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bullshit. That's just them trying to ride my coattails. Right. But in reality, they were all correct. They were 100 percent correct. My my shtick was tired. It was oh, old. he admitted we were right with a camera pointed at their TV. The raging ahead. They right. Oh, Mitchell Bay made it. I was wondering where he was. We started at nine. He said he was setting an alarm. YouTube with better Interactive streams. I let all you sleeping that in, dude. Behind. I was an innovator. I could have went for another hour myself. And I was not a lie. dinosaur five years in. And that's totally my fault. And I woke up late. What would you, you know, what would you say you you innovated at the beginning? At the beginning, everything. Uh, I'm the best. The yeah, he inspired uh, review and bra. He I was just gonna say, if you say PewDiePie, PewDiePie one more time, God <laughs> damn it, God damn it. I was it. the first person who did it. There's other people. Everyone will, will argue. There's actually argument between. He inspired the side scroller. <laughs> first let's player, but I was the person who started doing it rather than back then when I started on YouTube 2008 is the year where I really started doing active playthroughs the people who were doing gameplay on YouTube were mostly known for being like a guru in one genre this is the a guru a guru a guru like I oh oh I could play any game do commentary over it that was kind <laughs> I could play any game at a professional <laughs> level because my, my, my mannerisms I my jokes I feel like I could pick then, up a controller kind of and play any um, game at a professional and, level and I'm one of the best gamers kind of in stuff. the country what, what do you mean <laughs> well, we just talked I think about I'm one of the best game overall game gamers in the country. Then, my commentary was like 90% sexualized content. It was making fun of every woman. Made oh, yeah, and you, know, you could see that in uh, the Heavy crazy. Rain playthrough. That that's stupid. That's dumb. That's lowbrow comedy. But back then, that was a big part of my content. I watch now. I, I, I couldn't even stomach watching stuff that I did 2008 to like 2011. I, 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 I couldn't I stomach it as he made an entire what, what, channel what, what, dedicated what, what, to post, like, going reposting it and watching it, it back. I understand yeah. that, that people yeah. change over time. Totally understand. He does cringe guess, at it, but it's even is, cringier the way he cringes at it than it is so you've had these like light bulb moments, in the content. Right? You said you had one last year. You had one, you know, 2012, 2013, where you realize that you're getting left behind from a technological standpoint, and you're doing gameplays that are... Uh, you know, you're, the big difference for Phil was Phil could hand, could play all games, not just fighting games or Call of Duty or whatever. What has changed? What are you doing differently now in 2023 that that you were doing that that you weren't doing in 2013 when you had this realization? Because mm. it's it sounds and when 
It sounds I agree, like you know, he's pretending thing, to cringe like during the, I'm, the throwback I'm the guy who stuff, plays too. Different I don't games, think that he genuinely and occasionally cares. Kind of my, my channel to get oh, my some God, and the way of, uh, he acts at some of his joke, right? older jokes what is just differentiates you now? He has, has no itself. acting chops. It's insane that he even bothers okay, to pretend uh, because he's so well, bad at it. Uh, full-time streamer yeah. wasn't back then. I was just a YouTuber. Now I'm full-time Six days a week, full-time. You know, mostly gameplay. Back then, full-time content. Six weeks, full-time. Those 15 jokes, years, really legacy, um, helicopter company, Street <laughs> yeah. Fighter, professional, fourth at Evo, successful YouTube channel, inspired PewDiePie. The list goes on. Man. <laughs> I didn't know my viewers back then. I didn't have any personal relationships with any of them. Now it's like a friendly community. It's a totally oh yeah, friendly oh, community yeah, in DSP's yeah, chat I'm, with Canadian Kirk I'm being a blatant really racist. Um, I really hate how he backtracks this. He has several that, clips of him deriding his media, fans for being like, I feel like you're my friend. He's like, I'm not your friend. I don't even mm. like you. Give me money. Like, yep. get the fuck out of here, dude. Is a relaxing chill session. He's told people to go get help if he thinks that if they think that they're friends. Yeah, wasn't what I was. I was a yeah, for rich, real. You know, risque com commentary kind of guy. Today, that's Dude's a hater. <laughs> there are moments of rage. I'm playing. But not Whoa. the fun kind of hater like us. Moments of rage that come back. But for the most part, you know, watch a stream today versus all the things that people say that I am, and you'd be like. I don't get it. I get this all the time. Someone will come by a stream of mine, and at the end of the stream, they'll say, Phil, just so you know, this is the first stream of yours I ever watched. I've heard all these things about you, and I don't get it. I just watch a three-hour Oh, yeah, all those stream. LARPers in chat None who come by and, and tell them that he's super cool and robust. In fact, it was very relaxing. Hey, Phil, been watching you from 1892. I really liked your robust content when you dropped out of the womb. Keep it up. That's the content I put out today. It's not. It's just definitely not, you know. I have a whole new channel where I now I'm doing React style content. Which React again, style. I used to be Big like ups. Idiot. This is React I, style. I, I hate React content. We're reacting react. right now. Minimum and we'll be reacting <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> for the react. <laughs> act, act, act. I just want to hear your reaction. Yeah, you go to. Uh, uh, it was shortly after, after this. I think he fence sat you know incest what? on the React channel. I started doing React content. People love it. So that's on Incest me. is not cool because you've known, you've known your sister for it, your whole life. Therefore, it's not meaningful. Yeah, that's the difference. You should want to experience loving somebody else other than your sister. I, I guess. I want to put out me. <laughs> it's the difference between I did one rage inducing thing. Everyone laughed at it and talked about it versus, wow, I just put out a four hour stream and people told uh, me that they were able to separate from well, their daily lives and relax with me and have a good time. That's yeah, dude, they didn't think about their bills the entire stream. They thought about your bills for the entire stream. Totally what, what separate. A, um, dude, we got to save the house. What's a day like look for you? Uh, like what, when you wake up, what is it? What is your average day like? Walk me through a day of Phil. Mm. Okay. Like when you from from the time you wake up to the hey, time you go to Kevin, sleep. Always appreciate having uh, you. Here. Usually I don't wake up. Usually my cat wakes me up. <laughs> and fucking uh, Jasper. You know, get out of bed. And pissing and blood again. You know, just like a normal person. Taking a shit on the paper plates on the counter. Average morning. <laughs> Average morning. You know, the I had my so bagel like, there, Jasper. Not, Come in. Uh, you know, jump into the office here. So I, I just you know, running under the sink, I guess. Uh, Strider, I thought this was before the toilet seat arc. Um, I get into the office usually between sure 10, 10, 30 a.m. But my time uh, like setting up. Yo, what up, Jaha? I'm, I'm reading Long time no see, buddy. To try to have news stories I agree, Jaha. Podcast, it's it's crazy day. that it's been a full oh, year I already because I feel like I just watched it the time. other day. Uh, I didn't know. <laughs> a little bit of pre-stream, you know, get some people on the stream for about 15, 20 minutes, play some music or whatever. And then I do what I call the level one podcast. This is about an hour to an hour and a half long show where it's just discussion. And it could I would be a detractor too if I was Jasper. Gaming schedule. I'm dying and my uh, owner's week, like, get fucked Jasper, that's Hogan, Hogan money. Feedback from my viewers on how do you like the, the things I'm currently doing, news stories, all kinds of stuff. This is something I just started he's about really, a year and a half He's hyping up the, the level one pre-stream right now. It's meaningful that I should be doing God, he loves it. He loves that pre-stream. That's why it's almost longer than the gameplay now. One day that's going to be the only content. Then we start with gameplay. And then the detractors are going to be eating better than ever oh yeah the more he has to talk the more content isn't that the sad thing like there used to be stuff you could get out of his gameplay to like clip together but when i'm doing my videos now it's just the pre-stream i feel like i'm just taking the same stuff everybody else does these days from work i'll spend 
But the pre stream is the only content dinner. that's worth this shit. There's a reason nobody watches the gameplay. It's because it sucks. He doesn't say anything. Oh, it's so just, rare that there's something worth the shit in there. He just mumbles at himself, leans in, and uh, I fucks the TV, I guess. And waits to be handheld. That's it. The late night streams are more chill streams. What I say is the daytime streams are more. Yeah, the late night streams are more chill streams. I can't wait for more like a guy tonight with ALT. It's going to be super meaningful. <laughs> That's what everyone wants it's to meaningful see. to me free time zone or time frame so i play that on the first stream my late night streams are chill do you just want to relax with me it's you chill dude rage. chill chill as fuck i want to relax with phil come to my late night stream that's like 6 45 p.m every day and like a guy is just like me fur 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 it's not about the gameplay it's about i like that he starts his late night stream at 6 45 his it's time more just relaxing <laughs> and then when that's done, you know, that stream probably runs till around. And then 9, he's 9, always 9, up till one or two gin tweeting course, right after. Down for the day, setting up streams for the next. I'm probably out of my. Yo, Karaz made it. Big ups. He is. He is shilling himself oh, right oh. now. <clears throat> you know, we were talking work day. Oh my God, you're right. This is just an advertisement for his streams. I didn't even pick up on that. I'm so used to him like self-filating, like on stream. <laughs> I've become numb. You know, watch watch a movie, watch a TV show, or whatever. And, uh, you know, and then chores around the house. It's time for bed. It's his day off. The next day. And that's six days a week. That's and we watch Duke. TV. We do chores around the house. Duke, I don't know if you can find the meme, but there is a meme of DSP as a ghoul in Fallout when he's saying, um, what, never seen a school before smooth skin? Running errands. Everything you think. one of my favorites. Oh, by the way, that's the one day I have off to spend some time with my wife, other than an hour here and an hour there. So if we're going to do something, we try to cram it oh, in welcome to like working a real job so, so let me ask you this don't get to hang out with your wife all day long that's not how this you, shit works what you're saying right now that that doesn't yeah, you get to hang out with your miserable like ass co-workers style it doesn't seem and like they the most suck most of the time <laughs> most of the time yeah <laughs> perspective or a content perspective yes you're producing a lot of content but it doesn't seem like a very healthy lifestyle do you feel do you feel that you're you feel robust community and the people who donate to your streams are enabling that lifestyle do you feel that they are encouraging you to live that lifestyle that may not be the healthiest lifestyle? i love this he doesn't even know how to approach so this question people showing yeah, hang up on. supporting my streams they're making me work more is that the question <laughs> maybe well, maybe you maybe you have a um a pressure that you're putting on yourself to do that because this is your only job and then you're therefore working as much as you are because you are you know working for the support that you have so mm -hmm. it, it, it's like cyclical like they they come and then you're like i need to be there and then like now you need to be uh, there when my audience comes Derek's they're doing not it all there the time. for you then it's kind of like act, this act, mental act. um addiction almost i mean i've been right. doing youtube for about three years and uh I, yeah, this I goes way over thing. his head he he doesn't yeah. comprehend this question to no he, he can't even fathom numbers, what they're trying analytics. to get at here like the way that you, you can just imagine the the symbol monkey in his brain ago, clapping the symbols you know, together you know, earlier in the stream you know the you know, hamster in the very much is, like watching break. it and, and he's in bobblehead you know, mode but to, really he's in monkey so symbol mode on your mind he's wobbling he's wobbling he's wobbling watch out you know we talk about mental health right mental health physical health and how they're how they're so tied together and the one thing I didn't hear during there is what are is you the gonna do to, when Snortomania you know, comes out, out running, have time wobbling, wobbling on you? you know, everything we're <laughs> go. doing right now seems to be for from a streaming you know, perspective, from a content perspective, right? Oh, and, hanging out with his wife, you know, right? My but, wife. But, but, but an hour at the end of that's the day, chill. right? Yeah, and, and that's that's awesome. I'm gonna I, swatch. I'm just swatch. thinking once again, like switch seats real quick. It seems like you're in this this never ends, never ending. I don't know, for back of, lack of a better metaphor, like a uh, hamster yeah, get, wheel where you, so you get up and harder. you start running and then you finish up at the end of the day and you, you finish up running and then you get off, you go to sleep and you wake up and, and you do that six days a week. And I understand we all have our, you know, we all have our hamster wheels and our, and our, and our, uh, Yo, what? And our schedules and the way we do things, but <laughs> you know, we all have uh, hamster wheels. Just, What's up? Just, I was just talking about the hamster the outside wheel. Looking in that, um, if you weren't making the money that you were making, you probably wouldn't live that lifestyle. Okay, fair enough. Um, right. I've talked about this many times. Sounds good. Several years ago. I don't know. He, clear, he clearly has no idea what they were getting at. <laughs> no. He looks so confused. Somehow, Grug not understand magic words. 
We've been married since 2019. We never went on a honeymoon. We haven't been on. Whose fault is that? We got Literally your fault, dude. You, you stole money, or you took money your from your mom to pay taxes instead of going on a honeymoon. Because of really bad choices in my past and a combination of online trolling. You're the one who opened 13 credit cards and overmaxed them. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they were over the maximum limit. I have not been able to fully recover because of it's always something else. I'll never tired. financially really recover am. from I'm Street really Fighter really tournaments. So <laughs> what a clown! Week, which I think I I'm sorry if I keep bumping my desk. I Every just moved my chair. And again, I, I, you're wobbling I against your desk, man. Here. I am. I had to bring I'm over the lazy boy. We're getting comfy. I'm settling in. in. All right. The reason that a lot of the things have happened to me over the years is because of me. The long interview. I'm a flawed human. I'm <laughs> sorry for some of the horrible things I've said and done over the years. I've I, I publicly apologized. I'm That's sorry. Why people hate me. But every time that it looks he like... At least two getting, BMWs and he fucking seized one of their engines. ...do something horrible to me or my family that ruins financially things for me. This has happened several times over the last few years. There was two years ago, all right? There was a I will never let that this story go. This wasn't when I was full-time YouTube streamer. I was a Twitch streamer. The BMWs? Yeah. Well, no. How he seized the engine on one of them because they didn't oh, call him to tell him to change the oil. Yeah. yeah. They didn't tell him, dude. How is he supposed to know he had to do that? And he blamed them for him being regarded. <laughs> That's not great. But that took a lot of financial burden off of me. If BMWs are like AMDs. The engines are meant to seize. I see a light. I'll be able to help. I'll be able to my business. I'll be able to maybe take time off. Spend time with my wife, reduce the amount I stream. This would be outstanding. Dude, once I file for what bankruptcy, happened? I'll have to work less, obviously. Sure. The king of hate you know, that's what he kept saying. Like, once the bankruptcy's got, done, I won't have to department. beg anymore. And then he immediately now, went, went back to begging. I wonder, what does that say? I don't know. No issue with me. Twitch Nothing you could do, dude. who I was in my past, the kind of content that I put out and everything, willingly took me under their partner program they signed me up for promotional opportunities they'd be promoting certain uh, different things on their streams and stuff and then they actually campaigned to get me kicked off of twitch and they did so i'm not kicked off of twitch but i can't make money on twitch anymore you just said you what, got kicked what, what not enough do, cooling gel yeah i feel that that they did to you uh to get you removed off twitch specifically <clears throat> well they took the words that i said and sent them to twitch <laughs> i couldn't they fucking sent them believe clips from my streams <laughs> they can get a laugh out of it or at least get credit for it so there was an organized movement against me where what they were going to do was oh, yeah. say that 2011 excuse me 2021 new battery. That's happened, is the same as 2009 2010 phil they took out of context clips they took those bad jokes from back then which i've already publicly apologized for and i don't do that kind of stuff regularly anymore okay not regularly not regularly still uh, do it, but sometimes a year ago, so you know once in a while when i'm feeling again, extra again, nail bitey I'm, I'm, <laughs> make mistakes from time I'm human. Time. If anybody has to but, explain away their behavior the by saying I'm human, I, I know, they're but, a piece but, of but shit, dude. Said, it really it is that simple. Either that and what I think is that his same case. Kind of joke. He's a lizard. I, I'm not in human trying skin. to like make it a big deal. Oh, but he's trying I'm to cover up the fact that, that he's an actual alien. What style. they were saying is 2021 Phil is the same as before. When you're you just told me in 2022 you made a joke. So this was after they'd said this. <laughs> and it was you're making the same kind of like Phil, have you ever wondered about the number six million that you were back then <laughs> so it's kind of so they're right are they no, right or are they wrong i mean they're, they're, right. they're right in saying that i still make they were right and i'm a flawed human they're wrong in saying this is who phil is all the time this is his content because that's what got this this happening and by the way it wasn't just the twitch partner program they they basically did this exact same thing to all these different business relationships that i had they said He's the king of hate. He has a website. No, I'm not a lizard. Duh. There's a bunch of bigoted, <laughs> racist, sexist, you know, horrible jokes he's made over the years. And they compiled this into like a montage. And they basically had. You're allowed to do that. About anybody's content. To the point where they said, listen, it's not that, you know, we had Phil on our site for so long. We knew this was him, but we can't have people constantly harassing us for this. So we have harassing. To that way, the, 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 you know, it'll stop. They won't still did, keep did Twitch it up. tell you that? Did they say that to you? Twitch told me all. Here's what I where they told me. <laughs> we launched an investigation into your history, and we found that over the years you have used, um, what was the word? It wasn't just because I words. killed T doesn't make me a murderer. <laughs> Harmful slurs, 
harmful slurs, as if basically I I'm, never I'm said harmful slurs. Really nasty racial or things. Oh, I by the way, hello, say, Jew. I do not say those things. You, you'd have to go back so far. So I want to get this, like, that, like put this on the record. He just said that they, uh, he talked about the dossier of hate and how they got him kicked off of Twitch and Twitch basically told him all this. And then when asked, so they said that, he goes, well, they said they looked into my history and found out I was a piece of shit. What? I was under such- Those aren't the same thing. Making money. You know, you never had an issue with it. Now you find something from the past and that's not acceptable and all of a sudden what changed overnight and the funny part was it happened to me it happened to another streamer called wings of redemption and others all at once almost as if twitch was having a culture shift where Weird, they like they you and lolcows have something in common ac ac that, you know. that is true i mean there that that happened to plenty of people right. I, I know so, people who got booted off of twitch because they're christian and they're proud of what? it it's, it's all, right. all right what all right adam <laughs> So here I am. Right. I've never received any uh, warning. receipts, never please. Community strike. Everything I'm doing according to Twitch terms of service is fine. I'm not banned from Twitch. I could stream there right now. But according to their partnership criteria, all my past actions are unforgivable. And therefore, you can't make money on our site anymore. Did so you go to them and, and bring them, you know, did you explain to them this, like, this comment was made? Did, have you had any sort of discourse with, with Twitch to kind of explain these things? Because if you're saying Dude, I can't that wait till we go these, back these comments were made some point, that arc is ago, be amazing. five years ago, seven oh, years yeah. ago, whatever. And, he, did, you know, he never got his public apology. Or whatever, or whatever it is you want to say, have you had that opportunity to speak with Twitch about these things? And if you did, do you feel, well, no, we'll, st we'll start there. Okay. Uh, it's, and by the way, it's not just Twitch. This happened. Dude, to Zippy, I seen that on uh, the GTG streams the other day. That was kind of wild. That Woody but stuff. Basically, these businesses, uh, the way that they approach it now is, well, we have terms of service. If you break them, too bad. We have absolutely no legal obligation to tell you what you did wrong. Yeah, they don't. They have a pri they they're a private company, bro. Bro, you didn't sign a, an agreement saying they owe you shit. Exactly specifically What's going on joey b what you did and how to remedy it yeah dsp put all of his eggs in the twitch break, basket and then was pissed off when Obviously they fix did everything in their power that they're allowed they to do care. to just I remove him sorry bud that's the way the, way the world goes sometimes you should be a little more business savvy and not put all your eggs in one basket it's pretty simple literally when people tell him to diversify like you know how other streamers and shit do where they diversify their income in the different fields uh he was like well i diversified my uh the nope. content dude i was out of, completely out of the partner i make all of these uh different so shows on the why, same why on the same site the affiliate i have like five different audiences uh, and i diversify and i mean it it's been how many years now i mean and it's and if you go the affiliate so if you go the affiliate thing. route i mean uh being a partner on, on twitch in, let's, let's be real. <laughs> being a partner on twitch in allows you no nothing you know there's nothing there's no benefit of being a partner on twitch at all outside of them it's wanting actually work because you right. have to you can't share your content in multiple places you have to mm -hmm. be exclusive on twitch right so it, it would seem like the best route would be yeah but dsp would never multi-stream so that doesn't even matter twitch. that way you can stream to youtube and cast your net as That's wide a lot as of work, you possibly dude. can and and uh grow your audience like, as you much imagine as having to deal with can. two separate know, chats like, god why why not do that well, and the thing is, in I TOS, if I remember correctly, uh, feigning distress is a bannable offense for a creator, and he has never been hit with that. Times. So he's been protected from a lot of shit already. Like, they had to get pushed to a point where they literally couldn't tolerate him anymore. And my stream just goes offline right in the middle. And, and YouTube's got to be in that same boat because he's always doing something, and you know they're hearing about it. Yeah, no, he always gets reported. Shit, man, you check the the DSP subreddit. There's people posting up their their reports like uh, they're cool or something. And. I'm like, wow, like, I hope it goes away. Eventually, like the Save the House streams should have got his ass banned. To really fix this issue besides going to their support and saying, you know, what are you doing? Do you actually have confirmation this is real or not? Um, then at the same time, okay, that I got kicked out of the Twitch partner program, I decided I'm going to just what you just said, Craig. I didn't just one minute, man. I'm glad you retired and are more successful than DSP. Said, you know what? That being You're said, being more successful than DSP right just means that you wake up anyway. and aren't a complete piece happens. of shit. Can I make a living? So, <laughs> I had a Patreon. We're not exactly setting the bar very high, but always be better than DSP. Maybe I could Big still ups. make a living doing that. I was going to say, he sounds more successful than me, so. Big ups. I'm not in the partner program. What are they going to get me kicked out of, right? Here I am living in my hole. I get shut down again what oh you you said 
a racist term. He did. No, I yeah, did. Stationaries. It was the stationary segment. What did they say you said? What did they say that you said? I believe it was the N-word, but he, I don't know. He mush mouth stationaries. That they submit. They yeah. just said, oh, you were caught. You shouldn't get on the stream toasted if you N-word. can't speak oh, correctly. No, I was playing a Returnal. Yeah, this was, was the stationary. It, I was in the middle of saying something, and then like an enemy attacked me, and it was like a jumble of words that just happened to maybe sound like like that. If you were not listening in context, you might say, oh my God, I heard it out of context. Bro, there was no context. You just <laughs> yeah. mush-mouthed out the N-word. Like, it was too... And then they too... <laughs> mass submit trolls, mass submit that to Twitch. Oh, oh that shit was too funny when it happened. So now I get kicked off of Twitch temporarily. My whole stream gets shut down. It took about a day. Like, I, not I gonna lie, like, like that, that, that can happen. That could happen to anybody. Point, it is kind yeah. of a, a, a bad yeah. spot this to be in. Is. And I don't think he should have been removed for that, but he did say it. Like, there's no way around. There's no no pussyfoot now. He said it. Yeah. You don't have to do that legally. It may have been mush mouth. It may have been gin induced, but it came out the way it came out. Shut down my stream at any time for something I didn't even. His words dropped, dude. Nothing he could do. It's goddamn rollback netcode in real life. About four percent of his words get mush mouthed and dropped. So. So many people. Dude, it was Cannon Brothers' fault again. And a lot of income moving from Twitch and coming over, becoming a full time streamer on YouTube. YouTube is not as profitable to stream, man. There's no real uh, discoverability over here. It's very hard to get noticed on YouTube. I lost mm. a ton. But why no discoverability why on Twitch either? Yeah, why, I, 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 why do you want to even be a streamer anymore? Like, what what is your <laughs> yeah, madam? Tell him what's I, up. I like streaming. I understand. I I love being on stage. I'm a musician as well. There's something about having an audience that I really love and I, I love having an audience so the reason yeah, honestly that, there's a lot you know, of shit I'm to love about this like if you're struggling if you're streaming super fun this, like wouldn't it be better and that's why people should and like your like the idea your of it has changed as it got more successful stop doing like, this for a little while money came into it because it used to be for just, fun people you know, who enjoyed doing it and now you get people that are just like oh man I hear streamers make a ton of money and they get to play games all day I want to do that you know Look how things are going. But there's a lot more yeah, to it. That's it. That's there to enjoy. Yeah, you got to be good at a Halo speedrun in order to do it. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> on easy mode, of course. Hey, 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 hey. I, I should have played on even normal. The... I know. Nah, dude. I like I told you last night. I thought that was smart. It's like people don't care. He's in siege mode again. Oh, defensive yeah, style. Defensive style. He's got those noodle arms cocked and ready to go. But yourself and God. Uh, he entered like siege mode, so now I am too. I'm more peeing as the guy. God. And my mom's religious. I'm not. <laughs> but when she said that to me, it, it, oh, are, are we are peeing as the guy? You know, I'm gonna play a mobile game. To an angry <laughs> Let me download WWE today. Champions real quick. Let me just <laughs> put all my plan, put, right? put my entire bank account um, in this. But man, course, dude, we could play GTA play. and do a guy role play because he lives in the lobby. I love what I do. At one point, I'll, I will openly say this, I hated what I did for a living. Around 2016, uh, a lot of things were going really bad for me. Uh, YouTube, yeah, 2016 really to 2018 were like, if you ask me um, some peak DSP thinking, years. You know, all kinds of horrible things were happening to me behind the scenes. My my personal life. Honestly, when I first well, jumped into DSP, it was still getting low tip streams on the daily. And the and begging I was, was gonna, amazing. I, I felt like I was trapped. I was like, I have so much debt in my name. I, there's no way if I quit YouTube, if I'm going to make, you know, if I'm going to get a nine to five job somewhere, I'm going to lose everything. I'm going to lose my house. I'm going to lose everything. But you don't have to live in a gated community if you I don't job, I never make as like much streaming money. move. Yeah. YouTube or Twitch or whatever. That's um, the thing is he insists on yeah, living in this gated really community. He could just is, move somewhere else, get a nine to five and not and be on the internet anymore. And he, it That's doesn't matter if he's in a gated community. He could just be normal. Other half. Well, and he also insists on living on the West Coast, and I, having been a former West Coast style, that shit is expensive. Untenably expensive. The DSP needs to, like, work at your local Walmart in Idaho, and there's... Or Iowa. Yeah. And, and and nobody would ever be the wiser. No, like, your your cost of living would be down. Because I met my wife. That we maybe have to tighten his belt a little bit. Little time as I get to spend with you'd be fine. It's the best experience I've ever had in my life. The likelihood that you're running into a detractor at your local Walmart in Iowa, I gotta imagine, is pretty slim. I don't know. Maybe there are a lot of Iowans that hate him. <laughs> Shout out all my Iowan followers. Don't know if you exist, but big ups. He could move to Gary, Indiana. <laughs> Stream from there. Yo, Michael Jackson's from there. My audience today. <laughs> Is not the same audience. Is it really? Years ago. Yeah. Now, if you look at my that's whack. As, as That's really all I know about Gary. If you look at my my analytics, you'll notice 
I get almost no teen viewers. Almost like less. I think is is it Freddie Gibbs from there too? He's a rapper. He's a rapist. And it's chill, fun. You know, every once in a while the rage comes out. Everyone laughs at it, but it's more meaningful stuff. I love that connection I have with my fans. I, I really you know, feel there's like a lot of Floridian detractors, funny ways, enough. Not that I'm going to that level of personal connection, but they're kind of like my, my friends. They're really good acquaintances who I know and we can chat they're my and friends stick around every stream and have meaningful you know, talk. I learn stuff. Meaningful. What is yeah, it sounds like he's getting right like emotional. <laughs> Dude. Amazing experience I could have been having for years and years. And instead, I sat there making dumb jokes instead of actually making meaningful content. So I well, love what my is job now. What does meaningful mean? What does that like? Walk me through. What does that mean? Do you feel <laughs> Thank like you've God. been asking that same this, question. <laughs> Someone had to your ask. Audience is your friends, right? You feel like you have a, a now. I've seen clips of you say that that you know your audience is not your friends, right? So like, is it, it are they your friends or are they not your friends? Are they because you're kind of speaking of on you know mm -hmm. just based off clips? No, I've wait, seen. why are we derailing? Sure. Um, Get back to meaningful. Kind of speaking of both both sides of your mouth here. My, Both my sides your mouth. Close personal friends. I'm not going to come on stream and tell you about super important behind the scenes stuff in my life. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, I'm here six days a week. This is my this is my social interaction outside of my he's wife. He's wobbling, dude. And the one day a week that yeah, I yeah, he's definitely to, wobbling. To do stuff Mods when I'm not streaming. You're on the lookout for all this wobblers. Stranger, this laptop, this chat is my social interaction with the world. So and that's incredibly that is, sad, dude. That is really people, sad, dude. That's, you know, as if you were, you know, you go to your place. Like, I don't, I don't go all, out all that much either, just because I'm super in, frugal. But, like, I at least go to work, right? Body. I interact with all of the people at we, work, right. and I have a good and time. There's people coming in. Yeah, I get to deal with my coworkers. I go out with my girlfriend. I, I really feel like Sometimes on the weekend, I'll go hang out with friends. These are just none of that. Actually sitting here on chat every day or on stream. Watching your rage. Today, it's like, I'm your friend, Seven. So well, that's because I live in a hole. And I came by your stream. And I'm here all the time. And I hung out with you for two hours today. You were playing Oblivion. We talked. I helped you with the game. We had fun conversation about something going on on the internet. At the end of that stream, I felt so much better. You know, oh I, my God. I felt better, you guys. I played Oblivion. You handheld me and gave me money. I, yo, if that was my day, though, I'd probably feel better, too. If people played Oblivion for me, let me shoot my shit and gave me money. Yeah, I guess that's a successful day. And the content, I how could you be how could you be upset I feel like now this is the best time of my life because i'm helping people because i'm helping I'm people god i hate it whenever he I says that them. shit it and actually pisses me off back and forth who are you helping by being your toxic ass self okay let's um i i think that every every streamer has a relationship with their audience that's unique right um as somebody who's doing it nice I, point, that Adam. I like it in my video with with your with your audience um is that you adam was that you toasting okay okay just make well, sure. you're, you're talking about a relationship with the the audience you know and right just, just giving them right. a chef, giving them a toasty okay just just making sure so um oh my god but it seems like who is it going to be though if it wasn't Adam? It was DSP. Yo, DSP needs a soundboard. To, Loki, that might actually um, do something for him. You know, you're very open. Well, that you are he had the uh, sound box. Audience, yeah, that sounded right? like and shit and, and was kind of regarded that, uh, though. You know, and then the Dutch Bros sponsors, sent him a new sound box, and I guess that one broke. About how no sponsors will touch you, right? Because because of uh, his wife won't uh, even for, touch him, dude. For a number of different reasons, for your reputation. She would, but their their guns get in the way. What what is it? Which one MC2, is it? MC2, you're right. Jay sponsors? does put on his diaper and goes to the casino every once in a while. DSP can't even be bothered. Uh, like if, if he gambles from his couch on sweaty men. To talk about, you know, uh, whatever their product With is. No hope of a payout. Uh, wouldn't that be better than than having to rely on crowdfunding or your audience on a day to day basis? Oh, <sighs> you know, it's a double edged sword. It really is because I could say right now, if I had a bunch of sponsors on my stream. Absolutely, would things financially be better with that? With yeah, this bitch still rocking Windows 8. <laughs> to earn. Uh, 8.1, come on. Absolutely. Be honest. Um, but at the same time... Oh, yeah, you're right. And again, this is something that people will bring up that feels stubborn. You know, yes. I agree. Oh, okay. Um, I, I don't use the word always, stubborn. I use the word obtuse. 15 years that I made Regarded. Content. Regarded. Always been critical. Yeah, he bought a whole Steam Deck and used it like twice, didn't he? Did he? There is. I know that. You know, you Pretty can watch sure. people out there who they put out a 30-minute video and yeah, a guy with long hair. Long. Come on, you got it. Don't, don't wobble now. Right? It's 8.1. Who like they try every opportunity to monetize. Windows 8 is uh, a, 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 a wobbler-style meme. I've seen 
In my React content last year, I watched someone who apparently is supposed to be doing a heartfelt... He doesn't have a stream deck. Uh, Inks is lying on stream. Way to go. Wobble. He doesn't? Wobble. I was reading it in chat. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. Um, for me... Oh, well, well, but, but hold on. Hold on. Oh, that's because, right. That was the mini PP thing. There are times where you say, look, hey, I really need... I, you know, I'm in a really tough spot now. I got this coming up. And on this, on oh, the it same was a stream, stream deck, a, a stream track. deck, not a Steam deck. You know, it's it's the same same type of thing. Yeah, like he's had that shit for a you while. Are, you're you're tracking your revenue on, on the stream, and I, I I don't have any problem with that. That's done by millions of streamers, but but it's the idea of saying like, hey, I'm in a really tough spot right now. Uh, I really need you guys to help help me out. And in your words, you know, I I'm going to be eating you know in your words, uh, uh, lunch meat sandwiches, right? Like. I, Shout out the lunch meat sandwiches. What's wrong with lunch meat sandwiches sometimes? Hey, this is ALT's question. There's nothing wrong with lunch meat sandwiches. <laughs> Big up to all my lunch meat sandwich enjoyers. Um, no, I see what you're ALT saying. ALT specifically tracker, told him about the lunch really meat the sandwich thing. For oh, the, yeah? <laughs> he did, yeah. That sounds weird. I, I would prefer not to track tips. But, of course, DSP tips, dodged it. No, there's nothing wrong with lunch meat sandwiches. <laughs> And then we wanted to move back into talking audio. about uh, um, why he has yeah, but, his leaderboard you know, on screen at all times. There's rewards that they like. They like <laughs> silly things I do on stream. They've they've come up with ideas, not me. They come up with the idea that if I raise a certain amount on a stream, I put on he a needs stream. needs to add tick bars to the, like, a like a bar to wear on a stream. A to look like an idiot. And like $50 is uh, you know? lunch meat sandwich free. I am self-deprecating. Who gives a crap? You know, they're, they're supporting me. No, if I used a Way webcam, I'd have a, a, no, I'd have a sandwich the redeemed. Is, I'll eat a sandwich. Right. A <laughs> but that would require me to prove that I'm eating a sandwich, and, and I can't, I can't do that. I put out. Yes, there's a, a there's an animation we need to get you. Some more support on the stream or whatever today. Sandwich redeeming right? animation. And I'll hit it up upon it a few times during the stream. Some people say I hit upon it way too much, and I understand that. Everyone has different perspective on that. I it's like ham, turkey, um, roast beef. Um, but there's a difference between that and you could tell that a stream is being done because Meatballs. someone is enjoying themselves and having a passion. I really or like a spicy a chicken. Money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, there's people out there that I feel Man, like... Subway sounds pretty reason. bomb. Yeah, I might have to check the Subway app there's after no the passion. stream. That's what's up, Tubes. You know, Not a sponsor. They don't love what they're doing. <laughs> it's because they saw dollar signs. And they but still, I, I always get like me a meatball. Right now. Yeah, but Phil, 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 Again, Phil Italian. You, you just said... some extra fixings. You just said a few minutes ago... And I mean this with all sincerity, Gotta man. Get it spicy. You, you, you said yeah. just a few minutes ago, the reason why you still do this is because you you can make more money than a nine to five job, right? And mm -hmm. and half it's of it. right, mm -hmm. right. So like that, that's oh, a I love pretty how big half. Adam you know? calls him out here. Uh, I, I don't know, man. It just it doesn't seem. It, it seems like when when you're asking your audience for money consistently, look, Adam and I have both worked with people. Who, who like the worst thing you can do is 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 value is look at your audience as a dollar as a dollar right and yeah, yeah the and dollar sub is, is fucking that, bomb that i don't have a whole lot of you know i've left companies over this right um and this is something that i i don't i don't agree with but i would say that when money comes in and you reach a goal let's say you reach a goal and you put on your vest or whatever how are you taking that money and are you when uh you put on you your reinvesting it into your whatever. content are you reinvesting it into cameras are you uh doing special streams outside of um outside of uh just your day-to-day -day gameplay stuff what are, what what value are you adding by people I, I mean i get you have to pay bills i get it right what value are you adding to your to your audience's experience to further that meaningful relationship that you're that you're offering he's meaningful. not he never described meaningful he didn't. He asked the question. Craig asked the question, and he never answered what meaningful means. Doing our normal routine gameplay. He has no idea what the definition of meaningful is. What do you guys want to see? Do you want to see a big react event? Do you want to see a special party atmosphere? We just did one. Uh, you guys want to see a party so, atmosphere where is, I just drink on event? stream? What, is, what does that mean? Is it just you watching stuff? Or? <laughs> it, well, there's no music. There's yeah, no special lights. There's. It's just me drinking on stream. Uh, no, you have to pay him to drink. I mean, yeah, yeah, that too, that too. Four hours. Well, that's gonna take a major chunk out of my. I missed the pizza party. Uh, Mari culture. I never saw it. 
Like, oh god, it was hilarious. Do special things, you know, this big react event. It's separate. It had one of the event, grossest uh, special things around it. DSP tries its ever. Yeah, some of that money gets reinvested. Uh, I have a series. I know this sounds stupid, but my fans just making the most disgusting pig slop noises while shoveling pizza into his mouth. It's funny. They think it's funny to see me eat. I look stupid. They say, Oh, yeah, you remember the meaningful DSP summer party? Other than the name, me neither. I remember sitting at a subway when it started. And no, uh, watching the Tevin it stream, matter. and then I, I the forgot everything and, afterwards. You know, that, that's what it was, so people are going to make like that. I got home and ate my sub, and, and, and then the I forgot is, everything. I do need to try to fully phase if it out. you want to do two shots, tip me two separate $100 tips. In them that I probably should try to phase out or should rename, but when you have a This is actually a double shot glass, so I'm only going to fill it halfway up. <laughs> Man, when I saw him take that first shot of tequila and he was completely unfazed. How? Well, like I just said, do it, doing John something- Bono, I don't go to- I go to somewhere like once a month. You know, doing another stream, reacting. That's just correct. making more money. But correct, but then, you know, the, the ordering of a giant meal that normally I wouldn't order, you know, I'm talking- Ordering two entrees and stuff getting door dashed. You're talking 50, 60 bucks in my pocket that I normally 50, 60 bucks for door dash. Hell yeah, dude. It's and, uh, sounding well, like code. What, what you're saying is, yeah. you have these goals every day. Where's the money going? Would you really like to know? Do you really? You know, I actually not, thought not, Quiznos honestly, was better than Subway, but I'm not about to go out of my way to get it. I feel it. like the people out there that have been supporting you that now have turned against you because they feel you lied to them or. Uh, you saw the dollar Storm. signs, and that's all you that they were to you. Yeah, it's like, I feel like they want to know most. Well, let, let, then let's talk about that. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that for a minute, right? Set it up. There was a, um, you know, you went through bankruptcy, right? Hey, and Jewel, that's I pretty public. You went through bankruptcy, and there was You're this. Doing well uh, today. The the five thousand uh, dollar, you know, business expense thing has been talked about by mm -hmm. your detractors quite a bit. They say, mm -hmm. what could you possibly be spending five thousand dollars on? Look, Great a month, question. you are a streamer who streams. You know, by your own schedule, you're 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 active. There's no way hours a day he's possibly this, spending and, five thousand uh, dollars legitimately on his business. Like, you didn't fix the set at all. It's been just a shoddy set for most of your de over a decade of of doing this. Mm -hmm. Right. So there's there's this whole like what what do your business expenses look like? I mean, I've done this for a long time. The business expenses are your initial cost of setting up your camera, your mm -hmm. lights, and and that's about it. And then after that, it's your 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 cost Internet is bill. your time. Yeah, it's, it's five thousand a month. So walk yeah. me through uh, the internet bill, like? the electricity it? bill, specifically, you know, the Hogan bill, five thousand dollar business expense right. every month. The DoorDash so what, bill. What, what is this? Okay, so first of all, back taxes. We're talking about things that came out publicly during a bankruptcy uh, proceeding. Yeah, right? his yeah, not so his five thousand dollar a month number yeah his not his bank leaks yet somehow made him shut down all of his accounts and have to pay thousands of dollars to fix things you guys things? probably know more than me because you've probably been inundated with this for like what i don't far removed from this. i want to hear it from you I, th I think again i'm just speculating yeah adam knows nothing about dsp except for what he's telling him pretty much and he still so, walks away like yeah that guy sucks filing. I guess there's certain information that's made public. I don't think it's all your tax returns. I think it's like one. It just goes to show you that you don't um, need detractor style influence to just know DSP is a shit lord. Five thousand dollars a month on business expenses. Now five hours with this guy turned them into avid DSP detractors. To do, I pay him to do it. Okay. Well, here's what I can tell you. All right. When I, I can tell you right now because I'm working on it right now for this year. Oh yo yo. What are considered? Is this about where he grabs the paper? That a tax attorney wants to know. Coming up, yeah. Yes. Um, your mortgage, because if you work from home, I guess that's part of it. I don't know. Again, I'm not a tax guy, but you, you cost your mortgage. Um, all of your utility bills that apply to you operating well, the business. Well, hold, hold on, Phil. Phil, you've been doing this for 17 years and you don't know what your business expenses are. You don't know what you get tax write-offs on and stuff. I mean, like... Uh, uh, no, so Craig. Can, no, I got I, a tax guy. I, I give it all... I pay him a lot of money. To the tax second guy. tax guy. I mean, because he originally went with the guy in Connecticut to do his taxes in Washington, which I that should have been a lawsuit because he's not wouldn't be licensed to practice in Washington. This whole thing is insane. DSP didn't care enough to even look into what his tax guy was like. They need all that information. Sorry, I gotta get them to, and then they do it. So what his tax guy was actually like doing the you know deductibles on or whatever. We're really right. gonna get to the meat of it. Is mm -hmm. this? It's write off. So he he doesn't bother or he doesn't care enough we'll, to even look we'll, into we'll, it we'll, to we'll, ask we'll the guy some questions. He's just like, like here's the information, go crazy. Like, once again, and walks walk away. Walk through this because, like, I'm just I'm, I'm trying to put myself in your shoes and I'm trying to trying to think Craig, through. While, while you're while you're uh, 
piecing it together, you know, building that up. I just want to remind you, uh, Phil, like mm -hmm. you, you said at the beginning of this stream, you want this to be where people can go to finally like, oh, you just go watch that video, right? Yes. I, don't, I don't have to say it anymore. So Correct. like this, you, you said like, what do we want to know? This isn't for us. This is for the people out there that are like, what about the five thousand dollars a month? Tell him, Adam. What, so, the God you know, what about WWE? Did you see that head wobble, Adam what gave about him? These things. No, so it's it's sassy as fuck. <laughs> this is your chance to now say, all right, it was the freaking business expenses. Of oh, I whatever. see Kenneth I mean, Douglas with the five. Mm -hmm. If that's actually considered a tax write-off, I, I don't, I don't want you to get in trouble. But I'll read know. the message when he goes to grab see, the paper. That's the thing. Uh, again, when I went to that bankruptcy, oh my God, out the bankruptcy. That was the craziest rigmarole because my tax attorney, excuse me, not my tax attorney, I misspoke. My bankruptcy attorney had no idea what they were getting into with me being a public persona. And there were things you can do, I guess, to protect from online harassment, which they did. I tried to explain. They didn't really understand who I was or whatever. And so when all that went public, that was the, the most drama filled bankruptcy hearing ever. The judge. All right, I'll read the message now. I'll always love uh, what is anyway, WWE Network panic he had during the bankruptcy call. <laughs> What is WWE Network? Can you repeat that, please? He says panicking. Okay, that's can you repeat that, please? And that could include he thought he got fucking kid. found out, dude. God, that shit would have... Imagine if he had, though. That shit would have been fucking classic. Or medical costs. Um... Legal We'd be. Li I want to live in that yeah, universe where he gets totally outed for champions live on the bankruptcy call. Maybe we will get into that today or maybe we won't. He's like, why is the pignosis not working? <laughs> How long is the rest of the stream? Uh, we're one and a half hours into five. All the normal things in a month. You know, like I said, utilities and all that. It adds it up. We're getting there. That was a lie or something. All right, here's what I can say. Don't worry, the good the good parts are coming up. Here's what my accountant said. Yeah, I think it gets better the later on it goes. Yeah, because they they become bigger and bigger detractors as it goes on. That's the thing to keep an eye on. Their their continual downfall into detractorism. Okay. Um, here's what I know. Because of the amount of trolling that happened to me, this judge that was involved in the bankruptcy hearing was attacked online with so much shit. They slowly boiled a frag. What is that supposed to mean, dude? My bankruptcy attorney and this judge. Hours of work. We uh, yes, who were? Uh, we are watching the whole item. thing. All That's the plan. Expenses. Unless something catastrophic happens. No idea what live streaming like is. Like, I get... The entire concept of being a live streamer and showing... Uh, I mean, uh, God smiting me. And, ...and rationalizing what it was to my business. This is this. This is this, right? This is you this. Know, and it, it took so much work. At the end of the day, after all that extra work and time and money that had to be put into my bankruptcy... It went through. The judge understood. I showed them everything. If anything, if anyone you didn't show them everything, you goddamn know, liar. Expenses are it should probably be the judge who's going to make a ruling on if I should be granted. No, here. the but only was, reason his bankruptcy went through is because it was goddamn right? COVID and nobody wanted to do their stupid the jobs. The That's said, the yeah. only reason that shit went through. True. They just didn't give so, a shit so, anymore. It, but in the vast majority, and of also time, winners, I've talked to quite a few people. Experience um, like most of the time, they they don't right? over scrutinize unless it's like millions of dollars, like a couple hundred thousand dollars. They don't give two fucks about. Why do you have to? Because they make too much money. Back to your audience. Um, and and ask your audience to to crowdfund your your content mm -hmm. uh, when you claim and and you you know you still say that nothing has really changed financially for you. Great question. Thank you for Great asking it because this is one of the ones I get hit with every day. Um, we just talked about 2021 and what happened. Nah, Drew, you didn't miss the bubbles. Okay, so the oh, halfway shit. there. We did. We hit it, dude. No, no, no. It's oh. a two. It's a it's a uh, it's a 100. We did it. Bubbles. <laughs> Make sure you move your equipment. I'm not going to be held responsible or liable for any ruined equipment from the bubbles. You know, you know the deal. You signed the contract. And I'm not going to rewind the stream. You, 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 you couldn't pay them, or you didn't prepare to pay them properly. There's a difference. Because oh, uh, uh, wait, as an, as an, I thought you hold on. I thought you said that you paid a guy to do your taxes. I do, correct, to file the taxes. Because because well, I think the one thing that people need to understand is that you are acting as an independent contractor with YouTube and Twitch and whoever. Right. So when you are paid, when when somebody gives you a dollar super chat, YouTube takes 30 percent of that. Right. And that, so you get 70 percent. That 70 percent then needs to be taxed by by uh, Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam comes in and they take however much of that. So, so you, you know, by the end of it, you could be getting anywhere between. 50 cents of that or or 35 cents yeah, that, depending on what your revenue is for the year you know and, and you're the tax brackets here it sounds like bill 
that that you didn't necessarily plan accordingly for that and you didn't save your money to ultimately pay and if you if you have a tax person to do this a cpa which is for any online creator that's like the number one expense is is having a cpa to do your taxes that's the number one thing because oh, yeah. going through and you know that's that's extremely important but your tax like has your tax person ever ever came to you and said in and hey, you should probably prepay your taxes you should be paying quarterly instead of having one big lump sum at the end of the year because it, do pay seems, it seems really irresponsible for somebody Wait, who who uh, has, I thought he, I thought has done so for 17 years to have a tax person because i was discussing the, had you part of my video with someone else that yesterday that or okay. a few days ago and they were telling me that he does yearly but i was like no there's no way not even quarterly monthly he pays monthly can i make this monthly payment and some months I can easily make it no problem, and other months I can't. I have to pay less, depending but, on the income that I made that month. But well, Lord Kane uh, came in with a five, month rent, utility bills, salaries and wages, off the that office supplies that and equipment, so if you make depreciation on month, business assets, then, then insurance gonna, premiums, you know, etc. These are expenses. Taxes, three, whatever, however much it is, right? Uh, so the money is you already in your account. So why why would you have trouble and spending, Netflix have and, trouble Hulu and Hulu and <laughs> and WWE <laughs> Network? It's either being spent before it's time to pay taxes, or or I don't know. I, I yeah, don't motherfucker, know I don't watch WWE. So I have two but revenue he revenue still streams. pays for WWE Network up till the bankruptcy. Daily income yeah. I get from my viewers. Sounds good to me. Like tips, let's say. Okay, that's pretty much tips on a stream. The other revenue stream is the other income that I get from YouTube. That's ad revenue, super chats memberships and all of that okay daily i get tips and that is and those help right now those are the liquidity of my business you see because i get those right now it allows me to buy games and um stuff for the stream groceries on my day off all that kind of stuff you see all this stuff i pulled out of the landfill behind me tax right off car uh you know health insurance payment or whatever what's here's what's happened okay the bankruptcy happens Great. End of 2020, things are looking up. I'm actually getting more popular on Twitch. I'm starting to make good money. I announced to my audience in early 2021, hey guys, guess what? There's a light oh, at yeah. the end of the tunnel. And then we screwed him over because uh, he's through. not on Twitch anymore. It's looking like if you keep this going this year. So now he's back to begging, year many years even though he was begging right after. Now I can pay all my taxes properly for the first time in a long time. Because, you know, my problem is we have that much debt and everything. You can't, you know, I, I couldn't do it. It was my fault. I was in financial ruin. He right. has been flip-flopping on his financial situation a lot recently. So if you call him poor, he's like, I'm not poor. I do very well. But if you say that he's doing well, he'll tell you, uh, I'm actually really struggling with the memberships from Argentina. I'm destitute, dude. They stole my money. It cost me we'll so that. much money to fix that. I've seen someone say that his jammies so now, were a tax write off because he wears them on stream. You think he's wearing the, the Zelda <laughs> jammies right now in this interview? Way less money on YouTube now. Uh, it would match the color of his shirt. Everything even. But it would, dude. It'd be kind of be a fit. I'm way reduced income again. So you're right. The, That's a good point. I don't know. Now, what, nothing else adjusted. My mortgage still exists. My car still exists. All we would have to watch this stream after and wait till he gets up. So it, it, here, this is a running pattern, and I hate this shit. Every time in life, I feel like I'm getting ahead. He's wearing jeans. Something oh, you think this is a uh, jean style? Uh, I, would, I would believe it. it then, then why not he remove put all jeans that on to do an interview? Do something. <laughs> he pulls, he not, pulls out the jeans you, like, once in a blue if, moon. If, there's, if you keep running in, if, if you keep running into a wall, eventually you need to take a, sec, a different direction, right? And and like I I love that you. I would have I would have cried right laughed if, if you still uh, struggling with this so immensely. That, that, that would have actually have been a good like bit. Self reflect and say like, Pull the review, bro. Wall, fucking five times. It's I, I should probably. You ever see that interview this with uh, Doctor Phil, with the guy dressed up just like Doctor Phil? I hear yeah, the guy from head, like, Fights. Yeah, yeah. Um, about changing it and you know not be beholden to people, do something different with my life. Um, I mean, yeah. Let's be honest. A major, a major factor is money. Have to be honest here, right? That's what this is about. I'm going to be transparent. Major um, factor. I mean, it sounds like it is the factor. I mean, it sounds, it sounds like you're just spending the money as it coming in instead of saving and preparing for the next month where it might not mm -hmm. be as profitable so that you could be like, I already, I, I'm saving. Maybe I'm not going to buy that new game. Maybe I, even though it's probably a write-off because you're doing it for a business, it doesn't matter. Right. Uh, you know, it seems like you just got to start saving money. Maybe be a little smarter for the future. I mean, I'm not trying to like lecture you. No, on you're money. right. Get mad. You're it seems, right. Like you, it seems like you need it. So yeah, I need uh what I need, and I've, I've said get this them, Adam. Yeah. Sure, Phil. I need like. Oh, that was the troll's here's fault. Here's what I mean by that. 
I need one year. I need a year. I just need some time, guys. A little bit more time. Just, uh, uh, just a little bit of time. I need your money, yeah, I, Arthur. I, I, We're I going need a to year Tahiti. Of harvesting dent money without the detractors messing with me. That screws my income again. Well, wait. Oh, here we go. I worked my ass off. I changed who I am. I'm a different kind of content creator. You're not contributing to the cause, to me, right? guys. We don't like We're trying to go to Tahiti. Nope. Still do it anyway. Ruin his income. So why change? Why change? What's the point? It's not doing anything. Get him. Why, why wouldn't you just stay the person that you were and that you you, or you are or whatever instead of like trying to like adhere to people on the internet? Because the people on the internet are gonna hate. The haters are gonna hate. Like who fucking mm -hmm. cares? So what's what's the point? You're doing well, it for nothing. I agree. I I understand what you're saying. At the same time, I feel like that a lot of the changes have been very productive. I I like like this I said, is true, Crimson. Now, if he stops spending on Hogan because he spends more money on Hogan's than he does on his mortgage. Every day. With my audience it's fun I yeah i seen the someone i think it was one minute man earlier in chat said that he's up he's up like eleven thousand dollars so far this year on uh i treated it like any other job because now i love it for the last four or five yeah. years but, that's insane um, that's insane money i hear you um but yeah if i were to that would YouTube, that would pay off the rest of my loan on my car i can't find a job out there that's gonna pay what i'm doing now you know in, in addition to that there's always the fact that i've been out of the job market for a decade who's gonna hire a 40 year old guy that hasn't done anything besides you know, operate an online streaming business. Nobody with that nobody, attitude. Nobody with that attitude, though. You know, got him. Got him. It's, it's, nice, it's, nice. You're, you're already defeated. Not even worth worth trying. So, so you're putting yourself in this hamster wheel that Craig was mentioning earlier. It's just like I, there's no option. This is it. So I have to grind. I have Zion to do agent, eleven k like, is less than I paid for my car. You say you're having fun. It seems I like bought my car for seven k in 2019. Exactly. Still going, it might but. Be true. It might be true. We're ripping and dipping. Th these two things could be true. Also, I had a truck yeah, I picked up for five hundred, and then and I, I just it died. Like to, Yo, I, I had a truck for five hundred right? at one point. Like, so I wish I still had it. Do you? Do you Me have? Too. It had business. holes rusted all the way through have, it, so it was cold during the winters. Like in, <laughs> business looks like in a month from now. Do you have a business plan for a year from now? Um, you have a tax guy who runs your numbers, but. Are you are you saving money? Because it, it doesn't sound like you are. Because how could he save money? He's got Hogan's to pull. It, it very much sounds like you're going to be doing this when you're 60, right? And he hopes so. You know, and if you want to be doing it when you're 60, he does that's hope fine. so. But this doesn't seem very forward thinking. You know, when you seem like you're you're living day to day as opposed to mm -hmm. thinking about long term. Um, and you know, dude, you're 40 years old and. At a certain point, you got to look at things and say, like, well, do I want to be doing that? Like, will I ever have enough money to retire? Will I ever have enough money to to not do this? No. You know, so, so walk me through and that. That's guys. crazy. Everybody from DSP's dream, era, I mean, all of okay those YouTubers are retiring. Okay. They're done it's with like, YouTube. They're done making the content. And DSP fine, still uh, going. Just kind of walk me through yeah. it now. And he has uh, to. He doesn't have a choice. Currently, do I have a and they got to retire young, bro. They get to live their lives. Every single one of them. Yeah, Q they're still in like their thirties, and DSP and is going on forty-two, plan, still, plan, still no begging plan, every day. PewDiePie started a bit sucks, after like, Phil, and he's retired, YouTube. living in some foreign country with his hot ass wife, and DSP is still here. And his brand new baby with enough money to do anything he wants. What yeah. a baller. In which case, then I guess I am bone. And I got to go out there and get a, a, an offline job, right? That is the biggest thing. This dude has squandered so many opportunities. Just every single one. He has the bag in his hand, and he just looks at it and throws it away. It's not even like he drops it. It's not a fumble. He tosses that shit aside. Here's what I want to do. Let's do this for a certain amount of years. Let's expand. Let's improve the setup. Let's try new things. Let's do this. And then if it keeps going, you get to the next stage of the business plan, right? And what happens? I lose my partnership, identity theft. Income's destroyed. Now what do I do? Business plan's gone. So how can I set a plan when these people won't allow me to even have any level of stability in my life for even a few months? You know what you do? Stuff that they're doing. You make another business plan. Motherfucker with a business degree That's doesn't invest. Do. Like any, any, I mean, I don't. What choice yeah. do you have? Right. The, the only choice is to make a new one and continue moving forward. I like, agree. Like. I will, I will not. Yeah, he has the 10 year plan. You know, it's not, and it's what you well, just said sounded like you, you were. Oh like, no! You, you have been over not. and over again. One of the I'm, major I'm letting things... you know. I'm letting yeah, you know. Yeah, native mom, but like, he's he's on bobblehead mode with. this entire interview. Anytime they talk, up business. and down, up like, and down, up and down. They kept shitting all over. I agree. I'm a cuck. I agree. I suck. This is my business. Right? You don't have a future vision. That's. I think that's what we're doing. No. I do have a future vision. The problem is, if I fully explain it, they're gonna try to ruin it. You understand? That's a good answer. That's a good answer. I should have said that. I'm sorry about that. Like, do I have an idea of what I'd like to do? Yes. 
I uh, exactly, no. Actually, I have steps in place to know exactly what I can do to try to fix my situation. I don't want to listen. Good. I don't want to be here on stream every day saying to people, toss me a Yo, crybaby oh voice God, is back. So here we go. Every time I effing do it. I don't want to say, hey, hit me, do this, do that. That's obnoxious. I just want to play Bro, games. Bro, it's habitual audience. at this point. This it's part, part of your... <laughs> it's just Before part of you, part of your control, being. I kept getting screwed over all these different times by them and by my choices. It's not just them. It's also my bad choices that did this. I never had any kind of crowdfunding. It was always just Phil's making a living on YouTube via ad revenue. Notice how every no time they got him in a pinch, he immediately money, goes to the uh, the like, troll defense. We're the skirt he hides for. behind I was if Ket isn't until available. Until I was going to say until it's Ket later. I decided to yeah. do crowdfunding because everyone told me to do it, right? Now... They told I you to do crowdfunding just like they told you to do ads, I'm guessing. You beg too much. I wouldn't beg if you didn't keep messing with my income. That's, I, the only reason I have that's, that's not true. My, my and you were begging income. before he that. Dude, he was raking in cash sorry, and sorry, still begging. begging. Begging for money is not uh, a Click the ad, please. Anyone. Completely anyone. agree. Completely click agree. Click the ad. Click the ad. Click the ad. Click the ad. Okay, then, then look. Yo, we, shout we, out. We all click the ads. The idea of like YouTube. going on stream and saying, <laughs> I, I really need help with these taxes. I really need help for whatever. I got a big thing coming up. Um, He's trust just amazed his big nose isn't working. The biggest thing, and people ask, is this live? Yes, this is live, right? Of course, it's live. The, 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 you had an opportunity with, with Keemstar and Drama Alert to go on, yes, on 50k $50,000 was being offered to you to, to go on this podcast. Easy right? money. 50K. Why not do that? Like, that's, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a giant amount of money. And yes, there's taxes attached to that. It's, after it's all said and done, it's probably 30K, right? But why not just say, okay, I'll take your money and I'll Yo, spend a couple hours live on your is podcast. kind of a shit show all the time, uh, though. And it, that would clear up like so that. much of your financial burden. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keemstar story. Here we go. For 50K, uh, though, I think DSP should have taken like, it, listen, even though it is a shit show. Like, like, what else does he really have going on? Because that's not what happened. Every, you, every you time they ask a question, he's like, here, I'm going to give you, Please, so like, an hour-long rundown. You know, over the years. You're right. Yeah. But here's why you're wrong for an hour. Hell yeah. Everyone knows it. I'm not going to crap on the guy here. let me regale you with the pygnetized tale things he said and did to people and things over the internet um Let's i've had a little bit. bit of history with him a little bit but not a lot uh, you know um and basically yeah exactly been, felipe been baxter filibuster exactly like just, what it is people will ask me something on a stream what do you think of keemstar and i'll be like you know it's not just keemstar it's a lot of guys i don't like these drama youtubers i call them misery brokers okay mm -hmm. misery do is, if you have the misery day, merchant they're having a good oh day, yeah dude pumping out bangers to, my, to me, a misery like merchant a underrated uh, parody song style. You yeah. ask me. Definitely one of those people. The buildup is always That's worth the payoff in his songs. Of the guy, okay, so I, I said this one day casually. Defective genetics is one of my favorite DSP so we parodies. Bit of bad blood there, okay, I'm definitely in also, with uh, earlier, Origami year, Killer. Okay, unbeknownst to me, people start telling me, "Phil, yeah, we're gonna see the writing on the on this paper in a minute." At some yes. point, <laughs> Craig, emailed, Craig emailed me. I have a public email. I love using that me. bit in my videos. Let's talk. Let's figure out. Yeah, you know, it's a business relationship. I've got the paper. No email. Nothing. Okay. He is. He's sitting on his Twitter and he's making public tweets. Someone tell Darkside Phil I want to talk to him right now. Contact him. Tell him I need to talk to him. There's fifty thousand dollars on the table and he needs to contact me right now. Yes, yeah, Snood's uh, Derek Slam poetry. Absolutely. As you scream on your Twitter to have someone come talk to you. Twitter. If he has something to offer me, should he not contact me? So I only well, know about this because people come to my stream to tell me about it. Okay. So, so to answer your question, I think that in, in a traditional environment, no, that's not how you start a start a relationship. Uh, when you deal in the space that Keemstar does and kind of the drama, like look at me space, um, yes, that is how you would start it because it, you throw out fifty thousand dollars on Twitter, people go, whoa, you know, yeah, I, you know, I want to want to get get this attached. So, Dude, um, you is traditionally it's social no, media. But we're not dealing with Coca Cola. We're dealing with Keemstar, right? Yeah, and that, that's what he does like, for a living. We, so. He wants to put eyes on his he's product stuck in interest. this boomer so, style mindset. I would say, yeah, he did do it the right I way. I think he, in, in I think world, that he thinks interest. it legitimises his streams as a business, but that's just not the case. It's it's just game. him being so bad shit, at business. Your, yeah, and he has his Twitter. Is, use your wow. Twitter.
to yeah when your business is being online you need to know how to so be online and you know like i don't use my twitter but I, this also isn't my goddamn job you respectfully she you fucking know, he, if he bitched and moaned about that goddamn and check and mark whatnot, for years and he doesn't you, use it for nothing you know he's he's basically using you it's like the right Correct. thing would be is to use him back right instead of being all upset Right, hey, Lord Kane, with the, the table, two, whoever way? let him pass There's business no school was dead. I of an agree. With you, like, why? Why not? You, why not just take They're, it, cast uh, the check, and then level. you're golden? Okay. Or, okay. Even, even, even if it's ten grand, even if it's five grand, even if it's a thousand dollars, like, mm -hmm. why not just be like, yeah, I'll take it, sure. Okay, let's continue because that's this isn't what happened actually. There's, Please, it wasn't it wasn't an interview. I'll, so I, explain that part because I, you know, there's I, I just want to know about that that like you said that that's not what happened. So what did happen? Correct. So eventually, I had to DM him on Twitter to even get his attention because he wouldn't contact me. You know, I learned it from drama on my stream. Everyone's drawn up drama on my stream. Keen wants to talk to you. So I DM him. Which is a good thing because like, now your audience now. is is interested. You know, they see this in oh, the chat. They're like, whoa, streaming. 50K busy. for the guy that I like. About. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. What's I, going I, on? I'm serious. I had to go back and forth with this guy. It's like when he got offered the PC from Rich. DM. What I'm interested in is I want to do a show with you. I want you to host a show. This was not an interview for two hours. This was some kind of like an a big project he wanted me involved in. I don't know exactly what. Let me explain. So he says, well, yeah, you don't know anything. Yeah, we got to have a phone call. Crimson Akai, okay. this interview That's is five hours right, let's long. Have a phone call. Here's my number. Here's we are uh, about me. two hours in now. Times of the day. OK, I wait. The call never comes. It's been like two days. The call never comes. Maybe he's not serious about it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in this guy's head. All of a sudden, he's busy. Streams, he starts calling me when I'm on streams. I'm like, is I'm he, on I, streams. Know, I don't know what's going on again. So I DM him after the fact. I'm like, hey, you want to? So basically, it's like it's like stupid telephone phone tag. The guy won't even contact me to talk about what he wants to offer me when I'm available, right? So at that point, I'm like, let me figure out what this is. And I talked to my wife about it, and we sat down. This is so like, cringe, like dude. Wants me yeah. I really hate the the GameStar bits in this thing. You know, you know yeah, him. of course I know about it, because it's so understand. obvious DSP yeah, was clearly in the wrong. Like, you know, right it just now, like yeah. in the business yeah. social media Which space, like his behavior is completely is, absurd. You know, I don't give a shit if you like GameStar or not. There's 50k on the table. Someone's offering to do a project with you. They're trying to get in contact with you. They're super busy and far more popular than you. You could just take a five minute phone call on a stream. There's no reason not. Someone who I literally bad. it all boils down to the fact that one you're begging two you're being offered a job a job that pays well but you do have to do something for yeah do the fucking job and then it, it, it just shows how willing he is to just sit on his ass and beg rather than actually do something for money on an interview for fifty thousand dollars that's a lie I, so, I like what, that okay, L sandwich. Then, opportunity then just, knocked and Phil locked the door. It sounds like there's miscommunication. He thought the opportunity looked right. a little uh, dark if, for his life. If his we liking. were to get Keemstar on the show, I bet right Keemstar put the word job in the I, interview I, and I, he was like, eh. this, right? I want to know more about this project. Would you be open to that? Absolutely not. Not after all the stuff that happened after that. Okay, so 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 you you would not be open to talking to him right now. I'm never going to do business with Keemstar. Not after okay. the things I now know about him and the other things that he said and done. Absolutely not. My God. Okay. okay. Then I'll delete my tweet that I was about to send asking Keemstar to come. I don't <laughs> like I, I Keemstar either. either but God damn. Uh, here's dude. the thing. Here's the thing. You could say there, it's a difference between short-term gain and long long view, right? I feel like having any association with that guy in the long term is just going to hurt rather than help. I feel like. It's going to be even more more trolls, more toxicity towards me uh, than I already Toxicity? Had because I that's probably true, though. Getting in bed with guy. Keemstar is it's very toxic. Oh, yeah. No, he was... I don't, I don't, I don't want to worry I, about I will I never worry say people. that... Um, well, I, 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 I want to say he didn't you make the right choice, money. but it, seems like it just shows you know, what you're, you're holding him on, on what that, he's willing to pass up to pay in your own world. I'm, I'm just saying. See, it's I, just I, I'm willing to say I, he I still didn't weird, make the right like choice. In all honesty, you, I'm, I'm just like, I'm I firmly believe the 50k me an to do as cool little it. work as involved with local live is kind of insane. Vicious sometimes because it's 50k signing just seems, and then it's 25 percent of whatever they make to that. So. Right yeah, or, or yeah. of the of the that's, show, this is who I am, and so it's only just, he only has to do it what once a no, week. I take do no that. offense from anything, and I, I appreciate all of the input. I really do. Having conversations like even if that's only, only a couple extra well, thousand so, so dollars a month, right? Like not, yeah. that's not still insane for money, four days worth of work. Taking it from your from your I would cover his Hogan expenses. Maybe they're slinging crack. Maybe your audience, you know, you don't know where that money's coming from, right? 
they may be getting it morally in a in yeah a, one of the know, dents who donated to you a couple morally. years ago um, was an actual how, how convicted pedophile yourself? living yeah. out of a van yeah. maybe maybe that i, I think where did he get that money from if you have a sizable audience online you you deal with people who are favorable people and you also have some unfavorable people in your audience right um and they may get money from other ways so how, how do you square that in in your brain with uh you know keemstar versus unknown money i don't equate the two like keemstar money is i'm taking money for a direct project that apparently is going to be a long-term business relationship with this guy i'm associating myself with a guy who i don't respect don't like the content he puts on the internet don't respect versus people who watch me like who i am like what i stand for want to support that effort to keep it going what do you stand you know, for like actually what do you stand for begging years later i'm a small time uh guy, yeah i mean essentially because he says he stands for content uh not so being monetized yeah he begs but then again he went back on that and started monetizing his audience with ads so he stands for something <clears throat> as the only thing he stands crumb for crumb is to show us his crumb crusted pajama bottoms like that's it and spoons he's a big spoon a stand for you guys too i guess it's interesting <laughs> sure. can, or can you be held accountable for your viewership correct like for example right now the g2s mm -hmm. I, I hope that they're all i don't know what a g2 is right? you always want that but you is don't that what they so. call their members right sure. you don't you do you micromanage your g2s and say well you know there's someone who's nice an enthusiast yeah <laughs> I just found out, I went to their Twitter to find out that they're a horrible person. They say racist things on their Twitter all the time. If someone came to you and said that, would you say, oh, I got to ban them from my community now because they say things on their own personal Twitter? No, it's not. You do that. Yeah, you that's fucking that's do I, that. I don't agree with that either. But I, I do think that it starts and stops with expectations, right? Your expectations and it starts with, with leadership, right? Whether you like it or not, I think that you are the leader of your community. You are the people that everyone looks to and on how somebody should act, how somebody should... Uh, interact with other people in your chat how you, you are the the flag bearer of how uh oh what the Roach, mate, you know like, what you right? got so, me debunked he does stand uh, up to close the window in the themselves. landscapers show and, this is true um, that, be, that being said i do i do i love that his stand-up segments have become more abrupt he just gets up and walks he just gets up anything. no warning yeah. he'll just get he just walks away uh, it's insane different people that are very just random big up and i'm like i'm couldn't be happier not working with them Right. Exactly. I mean, the root right. is exactly real ones. No, you did yeah, unfollow I mean, Derek on Twitter though, so he doesn't so, know what Derek's doing anymore. So well, let's let's kind of okay, let's let's kind of dig into this a little bit, right? So where's the line, right? When you when you have let's just say you have a community member that you know, you know Derek? via their Twitter. Let's just say Derek? they, <laughs> they Derek? obviously allude to Derek right. here. They're selling illegal drugs, whatever. Don't you want to be like, hey man, like I'm not. I'm not into that. Like, there's visual evidence of them doing something bad, or or at least alluding to something negative, something that would be uh, shunned uh, in a normal Maybe like society. Being a pest right? But sex you, you pest? know they're a part of your community. Um, I, you know, and once again, they're coming into their community potentially, uh, you know, potentially bleeding that into the community. Um, I, I don't think you censor them, but maybe have a conversation about I it. I agree, Petchy. Uh, Derek did get um, worse since this time. A hundred percent. A menace. Is it influencing you and your content? The worst thing we ever found about Derek, though, so, was like since his inception, the, the, the pretty topic. little girls no, playlist. Yeah. Referencing Craig. Uh, I, I don't. I'm, I'm not going to reference any specific community members. That's that's not okay. what this, this, this is not about. This is this not, is about, not about, about Derek. You know, specific community but it's members. about Derek. To talk to you. Okay, I, I do. I, do, I, I want to actually address something real quick. Um, oh, so Mr. Derek Adam, <laughs> and, and uh, responded to what you just uh, said. Jewel, I, check I my last video. There's a whole segment about uh, he, it in he there. He said DSP is lying in this live interview. I called Phil at the agreed times, and he ignored my calls and claimed later he was at work. He ignored. If you my don't want to watch the whole hour. It's when I when he uh, starts talking the, about EDP. A uh, low cow podcast to stream to under 200 live viewers, begging for them to pay his rent and his utility bills. Both Wings and Boogie agreed sure, to low, uh, low cow podcast. The only reason it didn't happen was because of DSP. Thoughts? Response? It's a lot blatant lie. He called me when I was on stream. I looked at my phone when I was on stream wondering why I was getting Yo, phone Keemstar's call. wording is After very, fact, very particular. Uh, he said that when he called DSP, he... Uh, it was the agreed upon time, but he responded and saying that he was at work. There's something insane to me about saying I'm at work while you sit there and stream video games. Like I get it, it is his full time job, but like you know, I I just don't agree with calling it work. Right, work to me 
has some you sort of like when I, when, production the connotation to it, you so know, I, where you're actually making something of value. That's all I can say. You're putting in the work. BSP doesn't do any of that. I just to have the conversation. No. As he I just flounders you, all day long and gets paid for it. He turns on OBS. That's about the most difficult part of his work day. Interest to have the conversation, find out what the conversation is about, at least, to find out, you know, but but he wouldn't even have the conversation. So if the conversation doesn't take place, of course I'm not going to say, if, if you can't even have the call, how on earth could you ever enter a business relationship with someone for a big amount of money, for a big commitment of time or whatever it was going to be, you know, it just didn't make any sense to me at all. So that's why it never happened. Okay. And by the way, Boogie, I've talked with Boogie behind the scenes. He really wanted me to be on the show, but I, I told him personally, I can't do it, man. I can't do anything with Keen. I just can't do it. I, a guy, yeah, DSP will take a 20-minute piss break, but can't answer like a five-minute phone phone call from Keem. Start about fifty thousand dollars. Just let that one sink in. I won't shop at Walmart. Well, he's pulling Hogan's, dude. His phone's busy. Well, he's got that ottoman in the hallway now. Uh, he takes a rest stop, you know. <laughs> he gets he gets winded just getting out of the room. For the most part, I can't. I got that's the kind of guy I am. Maybe that's a huge flaw with me, right? But. I'm not going to take money. I would feel like taking a paycheck from Keemstar is kind of like blood money. That's money he made. Oh, yeah, dude. People. Taking uh, money from Keemstar is like uh, doing a hired hit. Didn't you start your career right? on, on, like, drama and hate? <laughs> but not, like, you guys ever murder say, somebody? Yeah. I have. His name was like, T. Carter. It's just you're like that, right? but getting paid. Like, that's Philip Post Bernelio, oh, so the hit man. It's di no different because I've changed now. I will agree. And I, I Eating at the round table like a mobster. <laughs> sorry, you Our sound, boy you sound like, like the abusive ex-boyfriend yeah, trying made, to get man. this girl. I've changed no, now. Don't worry about it. Adam, you're talking about something that happened the first half of the two I know. I, I'm just... I'm just defense in mode. Say, noodle arms in defense. Hearing that, yeah. um, I, that I changed now. That, that line is so... I Agent know, Snorty 7. I like that. Online harassment that happened. Absolutely. I've learned from I like that. that edit. Hold on, let me write that down. I'm stealing your joke. <laughs> uh, you mean you made it up and they stole Yeah, I, I made this joke. You guys uh, you guys ever thought about uh, DSP as uh, Agent Snorty 7? Shit, man, that should be a movie. You're a genius. Thank you, thank you. Taking that money from Keemstar, I feel like I'm taking money from other people who've been hurt in order to benefit. I can't do that. Have you reached out to anybody that you are, that you feel that you wronged did in the Street Fighter community to let them know that you changed and that you're sorry? Well, the people from back then, Uh, no. Why would I apologize? Those have, people can eat shit out of my ass with a spoon. <laughs> Shout out Jaha. Down the rabbit hole video about I'm an alcoholic? It was millions and millions Nothing of I could do, dude. The alcohol forced itself down my throat. It covers all my early years as a YouTuber, okay, okay. also my <laughs> and I admitted publicly how bad I was back then, what an awful person I was, just to get over in the Street Fighter community. You know, there's people back then that... For no you know, reason. talking about blood no money, reason. he no has what had one dent that donated to him, and he was on bankruptcy number well, sir, three. Yeah, because, because I, I would consider so that blood up. money. That is rough. Uh, what's his name? Shady that's some, that's rough to justify. I around anymore in the Street Fighter community. I mean, the early 2000s, I destroyed this guy. Yo, no Shady K? That's that's the guy I, you know, uh, the Taco Chan was with, right? The more I make fun of this guy, the more And for everybody that knows about the Taco Chan lore, big ops. so much But that's the guy. Fought at Evo. It's so stupid. Now I look at him like, boy, I was dumb. What kind of dumb shit was I? I thought I was a pro wrestler. I thought, oh man, I talk shit. We're gonna, you're gonna have big rivalries at, at you know, fighting game championships. It's the dumbest shit, you know? Right. So is that is him? this long, long tram? I, I don't know. You tell me because that's the thing. Like it's, it's, these people are not hard to get a hold of, and his DMs are open. So like, I feel, I feel like that's. <laughs> That's pretty disingenuous to, to say like, well, I, you know, it, it's more like I don't you don't want to put forth the effort in saying that, you know, I, I'm going to say this publicly and it should it should it's a big blanket to cover all the things that I've done wrong. When mm -hmm. if you know that you that you've done things that that oh, I think I'll ever apologize to King B. Cruel. Uh, no, say, like, hey, I I'm sorry. King I mean, Cruel King is King full bitch. tractor now. The so. reality is that on today's Internet, it's not impossible to to find yeah, King B cruel will be one of the easy. rare ones that didn't go crawling back to, like a little bit of effort. And I'm not I'm not saying that you're not, but I I'm gave saying him that maybe there's yesterday. an opportunity to provide a little more effort. You you know what, Craig? I never even thought about it like that. Here here's here's why. Little mini story. When I was in high school, I was Oh bullied. my god, a little mini story. And years later, one of my bullies. I got money on it not being mini. <laughs> probably down time frame when I was in the It's like when he says something's funny and then it's never funny. <laughs> it's never <laughs> funny. You gotta stick together. I'm just kidding. No. No he, no, he basically said, I'm sorry for what I did to you in high school. Like, I think back on it now. 
because I've grown and I've matured and I, I realized. Yeah, Roach Bait. Asshole. And that shit drives me and nuts that, is thought, that he really claims he's a recovered you know, alcoholic when such a thing does not exist. That. I've been to NA. I've so, been to AA. Those people suffer so daily from because from of it. it. It's a fucking from disease. From and this guy is actively this guy insulting those people by being like, oh, I beat alcoholism, dude. It's super easy. Just don't drink. but Don't drink unless someone's paying you to do so. That's how you beat alcoholism. He's definitely probably number one. Cause that was one of the people who, you know, man, for no no reason, it was just every day hammering that guy to the point right. where, at the at the end of Evo, we had a, a grudge match on stage, and then when it ended, I wanted to shake his hand, and he was so upset he refused to shake my hand. Cause I yeah, cause you're a so piece of shit, and nobody liked you. You got like, no respect from the community. I'm not gonna shake your hand. You're a piece of garbage, right? Yeah. Now I look at that and I'm like, I probably would have felt the same, cause I've been through that shit. I'm on the other end of the trolling now, and now I get it, right? But you're right. I you know. Well, I, I think like, makes sense. you know, what, what you're what you're talking about, you're talking about growing, growing as a person. I think those are things that that people you can absolutely learn. Yeah, from. Yeah, you know, Blade just needs to just figure it those out. Are, those are things that are figured out incredibly hey, important well. to do. And to answer your question, hey, does he you want to hear from you? I sales. guarantee he wants to hear from you. He I don't know what know a fire sale is. These people don't. <laughs> uh, but, it's but where you take a shot for five bucks. You take it's not a bad thing. You take a double oh, shot no. for a tenner, a triple for you know fifteen, you and like a quad say, oh, for twenty. You messed up, but I don't know why Man. I messed up. They just they just point their finger. First you know? time I do a stream. Uh, no, you know, I know why I messed up. We're doing fire sales on this right. show. With, with it's been, a, been a, a consistent theme with Adam. He's always pointing his finger. You really messed up. Um, all right. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Um, I'll say this. Don't, don't um, point your finger at me. Uh, I'm not pointing any fingers. No way. I'm straight. All right. Uh, let's continue on. All right. So we've made mistakes. We're gonna attune for them or do our best um let's go into wwe champions sure let's talk about this because this has been a consistent sure. theme uh with with all Toy the voice the trackers. they want to know about your experience with this game um Inc, do you think he goes into siege mode yes or no mm -hmm. uh, do you currently still this play i don't WWE think so wwe champions yes hey. yeah yeah that's right yes, he gets stiff as a board look at him why are you so um he gets wobbly, like his head's wobbly. Why, why are you so uh, his body hesitant is firm. to talk about that or to talk about uh, WWE champions? And we'll start there. Oh, why am I hesitant to talk about WWE champions? Because it doesn't matter, dude. Uh, well, the thing is, I wasn't at first. I did talk about it publicly years ago when the game first came out. Very innocently talked about playing it casually, uh, you know, that I was a fan of wrestling. This you talked about that it game. multiple no, times. He that was like one. He that... talked about Supercard forever, yeah. but he, he did talk about yeah. Champions off you and know, on. It's nothing that but I, I wouldn't yeah. describe uh, playing it casually as spending fifty thousand dollars a year. That that would be like no. something I mentioned on my podcast. You know, <laughs> but that's no, how he casual only spends to me. Like, he's what do you say? He spends under like a hundred or a thousand dollars. Every little thing that I mentioned. Yeah, I want to say he says he spent under a hundred or under a thousand dollars. Somehow gets twisted into something distorted or messed up by my my detractors to make me look bad. And this is a prime example of them, in my opinion, and you can disagree, trying to orchestrate something. Well, just one of the many things, because we can go through a lot of the things they've done to have oh, been- Noodle arms out. But this is one of the things that I never went out of my way to disprove because it's stupid. It's ludicrous. It's-, can, it's... I, can I ask you, Phil, have, have sure. you ever spent money on this game? Of course I have, yes. Have you spent a lot of money on this game? Good question. What does a lot mean? Anything over, over oh my $100 God. is too much on a mobile game. So Probably it, when the game first came out, yes, I spent over $100. On it. That was okay. 2017 when it first came okay, out. Okay, so he's already over 100 now. by his own admission. For reasons. So yes, in the first you, year. Wait, wait, so, you just flex on how I like. I like that he says, uh, no, no, no. I, I like that it says, of course I've spent money on the game. Like everybody spends money on mobile games. Guys, ask me how much money I've spent on mobile games because the answer is actually zero dollars. I've never spent money on a mobile game. Not going to happen. You can't make me. Okay, not over a thousand dollars. No, I, I have a beat. That's not what people think. That's, That's too much. much. Oh, I know. It is. You know how much, much food I could eat for twenty dollars? Oh, I know. I've seen everything. It was one of those I've things where it happened, and then I immediately had that buyer's remorse. I was like, "What the fuck was the point of that?" Thousands, then it was ten thousand, <laughs> then it was twenty, then it was forty. Now it's a hundred, I think. A hundred thousand supposedly I've spent on this game. Well, well we started talking yeah, what about up, it. You know, what Just attack. Yeah, what's up, homie? Like, we don't have to. Like your detractors. Like they, they may deserve it. I don't know, but 
we we can have this conversation without even bringing them up sure right we'll we'll bring them up if they're okay. if they're you, you know you're you're saying you're instantly going to the you spend money on mobile games but your gamer you card is repo spend ack, ack, ack. money on it and Correct. i think what ha what's happening is when you're begging your audience for money and then complaining that you know this king's feast is too expensive for six, a 60 dollar meal and you're you're stressing for someone money. tipped and its head down from the rafters in this is awesome that is Oh yeah, because you you, uh, you guys don't know, but Ink can <laughs> see the side scrollers uh, chat replay. Any, any amount of money. <laughs> you guys can't, but he can. Uh, I, I, yeah, there's a lot of detractors in the chat, uh, uh, off and I, I on. Saw, like a picture of it, and it looked like Candy Crush mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, John Bono was in there. You know, he was in chat earlier. It feels like <laughs> they feel like you're you're just using them to like using your audience, and like I don't want to be used. I, I personally, I don't like feeling used. I've been used by people in the past, and I don't have time for that in my life. So when people are watching someone online and supporting them and then feel used, like when, you know, you, you say you beg too Man, much. Man, Adam's got his number that, with this good, one. Because as I said, it's not a good look. But even talking about, hey, this other game that they believe you're a whale in. Why, why do they think you're a whale? Where, where are they getting this? See, here's the thing. I don't, I don't exactly know. know. Oh, my he God. So he really said it. That. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm just gonna briefly in my head try to go over what I remember. Uh, uh, let me think of a lie real quick. There was an account in the game. That's the name of the account was. And he's they looking up. ESP, he's like he's is, like looking into his Twitter brain account. to that's try right. and find a lie. And so just he's poking the hamster in the corner of his eye. That's, that's why he's always touching the red part of his now, eye. He's like move. <laughs> after that, after I guess at some point it had been asked on a stream or whatever, is this you? And I said no, that's not me in the game. It is not, by the way. That is not my account in the game. Um, what is your account in the game? That I'm not going to say. That's that, 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 gag, that's gag. Because back instant when I defensiveness. Up, I'm not going to say my name. Come on now. Any drama around mobile games or anything like that that I've been involved. Too old, real. Ever asked me the question of what's the name of your with account? the five? Thanks for suffering yeah. for us, guys. Just Basically, kidding. Duh. <laughs> Duh. The interview was not legit. Yeah, what's a WWE? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. Yeah, exactly. Yo, and then Jewel Row with the gifted one. Big up. VLX got it. Impersonate me with Apple. I can't do that. I've already been through that. So, so on the record, you're you're saying that uh, that account they call me DSP is not you. That's correct. Okay. So. It so, well, so okay. what we have here that, is a troll made an account with his handle and uh, spent because apparently that. Uh, that almost Name a lifetime's worth of cash on it yeah from the rafters and and they made right. sure that it almost exactly matched somebody, how much he was making in tips for an extended period of time whale, right that oh and game. and his schedule including his bathroom breaks after Let's say, let's say after this was brought to your attention very it was, it, well the name thought is later orchestrated changed, style right? and they're spending uh, all this money campaign. on this yeah, right? whoever this know troll they, is man he is he is dedicated to his craft why would they change the name if they're just trolling you with it's they call me dsp this this name why would they then change? Now Fred Fox is a broke ass. He couldn't, just a troll couldn't keep up. What's, what's the point? <laughs> I'm trying to wrap my head around this idea here. Sure. Apparently, there's a couple theories. Theory number one is, like you just said, this person was actually a troll who was trying to make me look bad. And that was the theory until the name changed. But I agree with you. That doesn't seem to make Which sense. Which is actually something that Scopely does not allow. He had to go and directly to yes, Scopely and beg them to change his name, and they still found him. Yeah, the the name change is absolutely crazy. Yeah, because it's, so it's telling. actually not allowed. DSP Gaming. This is they call it's Dark Side me. Patrick. And, and the new name is actually yeah, over the yeah. character no, limit. No, you're right. I, I, that's the point. Is it's which it made him easier name. to find. Bill Burnell or whatever. It was an, uh, one name that I use on a Twitter account. So. Maybe this legitimately was someone who was playing the game and over the years was getting like harassed. I don't know. Here's here's what I can tell you. So yeah, he did say he was playing the new Street Fighter mobile game. The, my actual account name. Was yeah, he did uh, admit to that. You guys, they were going to try to like harass me or change, you know, harass my, my Apple account, hack my Apple account, whatever. I well, reached Phil, out. I got I got to say real quick, if, mm -hmm. if that the, whoever they call me DSB, change it to whatever the hell they change it to. Yo, I would love the Vadi Vidya uh, WWE exactly lore. Uh, like, <laughs> prepare to cry for DSP. I'd love that video. I asked him, I said, listen, this Someone is Someone tell Vadi, he's really got to get on it. And they told me they don't do that. I was like, what? Like, yeah, we don't yeah. do that. We don't do name changes. I said, there's evidence that there, that there is. 
they wouldn't do it for me. So wait, so now I, you're I know, you're admitting that there's good, evidence that that person is the same person, but that person isn't maybe you. Maybe did them a solid because they they keep spending. Maybe they did him a solid. I don't know, dude. There's no option in the game. I mean, it's not me. me. He, he bought one of their the house, so I guess. <laughs> okay. Sean Look, McMinn I, with the two. DSP is the biggest coward. Here. Pure there's clown a of a man. And Absolutely, dude. Look, Absolutely. I, I'm of the mindset, if there's one oh, takeaway, it's that. You, money, you can do what you want with the money. Oh, but can you name change in WWC I now? Because I remember when that, is, when that we're, dropped, we're put people all the were saying you and, and, and work through these things. So that's that's what i was always have, told is that you couldn't change your name when you play this game at least not at the time and, and, I, and I was told that by DJ that has when we the LSB exact server. same twitter handle that you have that is pulling this elaborate elaborate troll on you right if they are if that's what it was i don't know right but okay and, and yeah I, look, they I, might have added that feature in later i hate to bring this up I hate to bring this up but but i'm but i'm going to because i feel like it needs to be addressed go for it people have been very aggressive with you to the point to where they have leaked bank statements from you right? yes. and that's obviously not Can't cool at all. that it's, behavior it's but it's ridiculous it really that somebody useful. would go to that length and it's, a, it's now honestly we get the upsetting. talking out both sides but of your mouth there. segment where he's like right. it's not my bank and account but i had to been, do all this stuff because you know, according to these leaks there have been dozens hundreds of transactions mm -hmm. to uh to the apple store uh some many over Hundreds of dollars. You think he's still uh, claiming five thousand a month in business expenses after oh, that yeah. bankruptcy? Transactions. Oh yeah. No. So so those were not tied to you at all. No. Those okay. The bank leaks. Now see now we have to get into the identity theft thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, how was, well, if they weren't your bank leaks, leaks how was it identity theft? Okay. You know I mean like they go hand in hand. Um, those bank. Leaks, explain it then. Yeah. Sure. The bank leaks are not accurate. Those are not. That is not my account. So it's the person who took your identity was spending money on out in the Apple store? No, that's that's not my account at all. Whatever so, that is, is not me. That's fabricated. Or or it's someone else's account. I don't know whose. But that's not my account that was leaked. I've so had a lot of issues that happened. It was the gun show, yeah. The summer, but they use that to run with some kind of this crazy conspiracy thing. Yeah, Razor Sharp, you got a point. How is that identity theft if that's not so your you're account? Saying, just just so exactly. we're on the same page. He, he's you're been that since the inception of this the bank account. leaks he's been talking out both sides that of his mouth yours, about it that had he thousands of because dollars it was thousands of, of yeah right here. of fees to the apple store consistently oh. that are, uh these, these he said it cost him thousands of dollars to, to correct the identity in, theft, the but it wasn't his about, account WB champions um and, the, and it's a game that you also play mm -hmm. just so just so we're all on the same page yeah. you're saying that that is not your account at all and they were unsuccessful in find in hacking your no bank we account. didn't miss the uh paper they flap uh no no nope. the stationary boy. ledger <laughs> if that's what you're referring to he didn't whip out and the right, paper just, yet <laughs> right that's not awfully convenient it's coming up but that, that's the truth it's, you can understand how us looking from the outside in looks at this and and, and raises an eyebrow and doesn't yeah, quite it, buy it, oh, right? it to, to me it, i mean from an outside perspective who doesn't know anything would look like you had to go and file for bankruptcy. You had all these issues and people calling you out for spending way too much money on this game when you should have been saving for taxes. And then it's weird that the tractor you know, must live in the same state like, as him too, because he goes to all the same restaurants. Do something about it. It's like, oh, I was hacked. That, yeah, that so that's the theft. thing that's even more convincing like, about the bank the leaks, if you don't know, happen. is that I'm like, like painting a picture for like these people. Not the only were the bank leaks with the WWE champion the spending and then, like similar like said, to the amount of tips I mean, he was making, but also it. there was it deposits username. or there was there all these charges for that actually restaurants and stores that he goes to in his area about the time he was saying he was going to those areas and doing those things. Like that's his bank account. It doesn't get any more crystal clear than that. That would be the most dedicated troll. It's hard to believe. No, Callie's got a point. It's Ket. She stole his card. She's just going on the town buying booze, Hogan, and dinner for herself. My innocence with what a baller. Cat really finessed him then. Cat <laughs> be fleecing this man. <laughs> you don't, oh, you no. can redact certain things. I do not, do, I don't have a police report. I, oh, geez, how do yeah, I, yeah, the troll go goes to curls and twirls as well, dude. Oh, I went to, I went to, he knows oh, yeah, a good yeah, haircut when he sees one. Didn't, didn't hire uh, the police, though. When no, I didn't go to the police. Why wouldn't she do that? That's a good point. What would they do? What would they do about it? 
invest dude you reported a car uh, a tire theft, theft to the identity. police but not identity identity theft, theft. Amazing. yeah Here, okay i guess what i gotta do is tell you a little bit more about all the crap i've been through uh i have contacted <sighs> the police about the harassment no no listen i have contacted the police about actually has anyone ever pulled up the police uh, report from the tire uh, theft um yes they have it's kind of a whole nothing burger because yeah. there's not really any proof that it was really dsp i believe listen yeah like there's not enough information to confirm we don't do that we don't have an online task force for this stuff because it's an online form that was filled out so anybody could have just put in dsp's information here's the number to the fbi wait a minute so he went to the police and they told him nothing we could do so you did contact them yeah they only care about human trafficking or whatever i'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick don't blow up the stream while i'm gone and you talk to them about so here's what we're gonna do that had happened or could happen and they but why, why would you have talked to them about identity theft years earlier if no, none of that was even happening to you? Well, I don't, I don't know if we specifically... It's not really identity theft identity anyway. Theft. Well, like, like where they got... First of all, I received death threats. They finessed like, the automatic death system death threats, to okay. release okay. base level information. Well, that's a completely different <clears throat> subject. He didn't have yeah, actual access to the that. account. And it's not like he could spend the money or anything. He got a transaction history. They basically said, we don't handle that. We can't. We don't have the capacity. Local PD doesn't care you have to go you know if you want to go to the fbi but they even said here's the number if you ever get into something really bad you're afraid for your life or something you know call us 911 you think that, dsp you know, would iron muffin given the fact that he lives in a gta lobby that's it so i didn't think you know i know i didn't file a police report about the identity theft because i didn't think they could do anything they told me years previous not the police said uh nothing we can do dude uh we are adjourned and kicked him out of the building well so let me let me ask this right you you address the bank leaks on your on a stream? Mm -hmm. Why? If they're not yours, why? <laughs> That's a good call. Why did you why did why did you why did you feel the need to? Why, to why would you do that? Bank leaks if if they weren't yours. Uh, did, well, what do you mean by that? Like, to, are you referencing a specific stream that I did? Or Just in general. I mean, if 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 somebody if somebody hacks an account <clears> and they say this is this is Dark Side Phil's bank of... account, right? Why don't you say, well, it's not mine? What are you even talking about? And like, I, did, I think I that, did. Okay. I'm sure I've said, I, I've never said that that was my account. Yeah, he did then, say that. How come? But why did you address it? And this is, you know, the internet doing what it does. There's been matchmaking based off of your, your, you know, your life, going to restaurants, big events in WWE champions, things like that, that line up perfectly with this bank account. Like, and, and I think I said, it's, me, it's your money. Let me pull you my Jamie thing. I, I don't mm -hmm. care, but, but why are like, it just, if we were in the court of law, and and somebody was to bring all this evidence in front of say like look hey there's a bullet so here. here's the gun that he when, used as his fingerprint victim on to identity this theft, person is dead because this person to the federal the trade the commission like, oh, the FDC. well like there's clear um, like dna you there, there. Like, to the three the major that I'm really credit sure reporting about, agencies it's, it's, and it's, the fraud department at your like, credit card issue you would just say so i guess you won't report it to the bank never mentioned going to the by the way i play wb champions i'm you know I, I have a hard time quitting it. It's it, those games are addictive, uh, and he, he just kind of said, "Yeah." Although I imagine if he went to the police, would they like would have said, like, "Hey, okay. report this and, to the FTC." Cool it. But it just seems, that like seems like you, the kind of thing they would know. Digging and digging and digging, and I, I mean, walk me through this because there's just evidence here. All right, I'm like, back. So I got goldfish. And that's right, a you keep uh, cool it. with someone else. Goldfish does I do a lot of the things on the bank statement actually correlate to things that you actually did and paid for. Right, and the Great only question. evidence that, that, that you're putting out is, well, no, it's not, or that's a lie, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, just walk me through that's this. That's the only evidence I'm, he ever has. I don't like. I'm. Yeah. This is, I mean, it's always circumstantial me, with him. Not to make you look bad at all. But right. I just want to walk through this. In one minute, man, they didn't even call in a swatting. They called in a wellness check. So what? specifically like you said a couple things there he equated it to a swatting the uh the, go the goldfish flavor is a no, flavor blasted in cheddar jack in life well, in life and, in, and in the game apparently you know, there's like special events that happen in the game and it's you know a certain characters released or whatever i, I don't know i don't know enough about okay. the game right i, I didn't oh, do deep man, dive i think the they're the best there are special events that happen hey you know it's like you see this on and the uh, any game, call of duty apex for this time only you can buy this character whatever um that that's that's all i'm just trying to to walk through this man but I see. Here's the thing. I don't. I don't know specifically. A lot of gamer shit. Yeah. <laughs> there's transactions on that account that correlate. That's something that that's been proven that I spent money on. How would that even be proven? Yeah, and this went well, over DSP's I mean, head as well. Maybe you went to a restaurant and 
you said, hey, I'm going to go to dinner tonight. And then there's a transaction, transaction. at a local restaurant yep. for, in a, for an amount that may add up to a couple people. On the day of, you know what I mean? That you yep. said you were going. That, that's all. Like I said, I'm just trying How to. How about that Firestone transaction? Yeah, How about know. that one, that's bud? Said, I mean, first of all, yeah. exactly. From your perspective, if I were sitting where you were right now and hearing this story, you know, I'd be like, a flavored probably goldfish. Probably I, uh, I, I think pizza I should just be defend, pizza. Again, I don't know how to defend myself. Pizza flavored goldfish bang. My family at personal risk. Are they? Are they? Yeah, yeah, they're delicious. It's like uh, pizza flavored Pringles. I wish I knew. I wish I knew. I don't I knew know. I, I don't eat that stuff. I I'm fat yeah, enough because you, eat, you eat boomer style flavors like um, sour summer? cream and onion. Um, no, no, that's snood. Here's here's something very easy, very simple, mm -hmm. very simple. You have my email, and this is this is a small ask. It's also a big ask. You can say what you want. Donut. Will you, Donut. and you can say Donut. no, Donut. and I'm totally fine with this, but just confidentially between us, will you send me a screenshot of your, of your account, of your WB account, and just so I, I, I personally, I will not share, share yeah, your what, name. Yeah, Viga Raid? Right? Viga's Viga. But just yeah. finally done. Man, I have to think about and, that. And vouch for you. I yes, or yeah, and, and I'll, I'll vouch for you either way. <laughs> I think it yeah, goes for so like, long on his streams, man. dude. Yeah, and he was already like five hours into that one. Yeah. Dude never Jesus. sleeps. Exactly what I'm Vega, what? You know. And I, not to say that I think caffeine you must, with it. I must have you moving you different. I think you got to look at what, what's to benefit more than what's to risk. You have no idea the levels of how this is going. I do. Happen. I see it. I'm well aware. I have chat up. I mean, I know. What's up, Heather? People have been tagging me relentlessly since it was announced that you were coming on the show. And I like, again, I didn't know who you were. I had never heard of you before. Before the toxicity, the toxicity aura that follows DSP is kind of wild. And everyone's like, oh, we got to freaking tell Adam. That black cloud he can't control. I see the amount of attention that you get in a negative light, right? So like yeah, I all you have to do is so Google like, DSP I understand space. That you gaming. don't want to be too forthcoming with your uh, any more information that isn't public already because it, as there's a, sh a lot out there. So you know, I've been but, eyeballing but pickle, this alarms this entire yeah, time. The, inter the internet is a fucking pulse, and it's a new brain that humans are still learning how to adapt to. And yeah, right now, you get some sleep, the dude. That has a target on your head, and. Right. You know, you you said it multiple times that you fucked up. You held your hands up. You said I didn't handle this right. I fucked up multiple times. You did this and that. Vanguard so it's like, nice has joined the if you want to remain on the internet, keeper, which you, you seem to enjoy streaming, and, and you liked number. what you're doing now, which is good. I'm glad you like what you're doing. <laughs> but it's like, if Back you want to Vanguard for the three months, uh, yes, direction, that's I did get triggered. These, these haters, I feel crazy. Any, anything might always help. do. Uh, obviously not giving them more ammo which i mean i've i've they were watching the q a um, of course you know don't tell him i said that uh, uh, but you know i I, uh, <laughs> I i think that that would actually do more for you than you think if if craig came out and was like all right guys he he sent me this the, the proof and i can confirm to everyone that his account is not they call me dsp the whale account you know like or or the um, or the other the other name down from the rafters Okay, oh, what, what, what would your money be on if Craig actually got like, the screenshot? This you think point, he would have put like, it on blast? It's suspect that you're not wanting to just um, do whatever you can. After yeah, the way DSP I acted, uh, he, he, had, he would have had to. Position right now. Oh, yeah, after exactly after he, DSP did the, the um shit that I've been through and, and the decompression stream thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I don't think he would. Yeah. But, every, right, but if you didn't do that, say the decompression stream. And just like we were talking about this, I have zero interest in making you look bad. Then probably not. There's a tremendous opportunity yeah, here I for, think the same for thing. you to be humanized to a lot of people who don't see you for as rep. human, you know, and, and to err is to be human, right? That's the old saying, like everybody fucks up and you've owned up to a lot of those things. But there are, there are certain things here, man, that, that I just. Yeah, not a single snort you know, during if, if this they, fucking they interview. Up, and you're saying, you're saying, hey, if I was in your shoes, I'd be saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't. I, it's got to be going through his mind at this point that he's he's realized this is a lost cause. Really like we, we, and, this battle is and, lost. And so I feel I feel like you would think so, but he came out of this being like that went really well. You know because yeah, that's the craziest part to me. Like right now he's he needs to understand. Like he needs to change the subject to to change the optics. Right. Like this is not going to go the way he wants it to. He just needs to move on. Brings it up and there's like let's talk about the content. People are talking about in the chat. I'll you guys want to hear about the level I one piss cast? I looked. I saw some of this <laughs> supposed bank statements that are mine. Mm -hmm. Um, 
there's a couple things there that don't make sense to me. All right. Number one, if this is me, okay, there's a bunch of transactions on there, I guess, from like pet stores, okay? And people are like, well, that's because Phil has a cat. Yeah, but those, those transactions are like big. You're talking like hundreds of dollars a week or something like that. I have yeah, one his cat. pig gnosis now, didn't work at all during the stream. By innocence, but everyone knows I have one cat. He's been on the stream. <laughs> All this Yo, stuff. Aaron Hines, my dude. My basement. I don't even have a basement. So we're, you know, some of the transactions in that that I've seen don't make sense at all for what I... It's funny because you say circumstantially... Okay, so wait, didn't he say he didn't look at him? He doesn't know anything about him. And now he's like, those transactions don't make any sense. Okay, there's a bunch of transactions on yes. there. We're flip-flopping. So he's our specialty. He wobbled in the middle of a stream. Like, is that like not even an hour apart. Shilling to my Inconsistency family. is one thing you can count on with and that money right there. <laughs> You just think he would have caught that lie himself and been like, hold that. If that's the case, I yeah, was that another it. Aaron Hines <laughs> gifted <laughs> member bomb? <laughs> yes, with the 10. Pick up, dude. Appreciate it. Style. Why are there banks? Welcome to the club, my fellow Argentinians. Why would I take money out of a PayPal account that I have that I get my tips from? Transfer it to my bank account where then I take a hit because there's a transfer fee anytime you transfer money from PayPal to a bank account. So I'm taking a, a big financial hit on that money. And he's talking about all the digital ones. He's not even talking about the physical ones that all took place within his area. That doesn't make sense to me. It makes no logical sense. To me, well, there's a lot of things that have made a whole lot of logical sense here, Phil. I mean, let's just be real. <laughs> Got him. Here that doesn't add up right well, isn't, isn't the itunes like where the microtransactions from games get charged so that uh, actually would and he's sitting the rest like oh why would i do that why would i take a big hit on this money because you're a gambling addict dude like it's really that simple because you have a fucking problem but on paypal you can actually use paypal and you could click use balance or use your bank account and it'll just pull the money from your bank account but using paypal as the payment service so that that's that's irrelevant because you can you can just choose where the money's coming from on paypal okay i see what you're saying but my mind i was going off of this is what you're saying because i do it all the time every day i'm begging my audience for money it's it goes to my paypal and then i immediately spend that on wwe champions that's the new yes. I, I didn't i yes. didn't use that narrative but it does seem that okay. you, you do get money and i didn't say that but uh, it does kind of seem that way yeah instead of you know planning for taxes the next month or whatever you know that's um, no, that is absolutely correct. Yes, right. Yo, big up Mayu World Order, order. Things for the sub. I appreciate it. Which with could a mouthful include of gold WWE. Fish. Not saying that it is, but right. it could be. Do you feel that um, you said you still play the game? Do you play any other mobile games? Yes. <laughs> Do you feel yeah. that you're addicted to them at all? No. Yeah. no? That's a good point, Astrodonis. You know, for example. He even said uh, in the past, the he empties out his PayPal right every day to protect from chargebacks because they can't the charge show, back you know, these what's, not if, there, what's not there. He'll go into the negatives and then fight the chargebacks to try and not give the money back. That's his strategy. And actually, uh, Lightside Bill told me back in the day that they charge they charge a fee for every um, withdrawal. So him doing that just eats away at his money. When you actually put any uh, money into it but then when it goes over a hundred dollars you you kind of ele elevate from casual to all right i'm right. i'm a one of the core players this this all started because you guys probably don't know the full history this all started many many years ago before there were yeah, you guys don't know the full history uh let me tell well, you back in 2010 i was WWE let go from helicopter called company. wwe super <laughs> all right this mm -hmm. one i actively spent a lot of money on i will tell you guys this i can't tell you the and then those stupid morans after giving me this very curated a certification fire yes i have i've publicly admitted this that i spent way too much money on that and it was another one it was called dragon ball z Dokkan battle Yep. That one as well. And if you guys haven't seen the mobile game streams that ALT did on WPIG, I highly recommend both the WWE Champions one, uh, or the, the, the Super one with Agent Proper, and then it was the other one with Agent Proper. One's got Meerkat on it, one's got Proper on it. They're both absolutely bang. If you're curious about his mobile game addiction, there are so many more games than I thought. Dude, and it started so early on. I I was surprised. No, it's it's. I thought I knew the lore. I was wrong. Well, I know, but, but I'm being honest. I'm going to be honest. What's up, brother? I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be honest. Those games in the past. And with these detractors, what they do is they find a narrative and they stick with it. If I can dispute it or disprove it, or if it gets some... You haven't, though. Even the debunk stream was a fucking shit show. I haven't. 
Been did ag groom panda uh no and that was that that was it been looking that was the debunk get me on for years and years and works years. for me dude thing what up bradley sub like glad you can make the stream brother the one i can't did find a use way. craig use craig send it yeah send use craig i have a screenshot let's go a way to do this without putting myself a personal risk up to now and so this is why the narrative oh, yeah. now now it could hurt so my family things that have been disproven there's people who make videos about WWE champions that have made entire exposés about me in the past that were completely disproven. They don't oh, care shit, about it. man. I'm doing What's good. I'm glad you're here, Vanguard. About for Phil, so we can have personal gain on the internet. And I'll be on tomorrow, too. You know? Um, yeah, unfortunately. So I mean. back, because back, back. this all started years ago. <laughs> yeah, those guys have put up with me all <laughs> weekend. Like, yeah, I was addicted to them. I spent too much money on them. I'm done with that now. You know? And then I casually... People at one point, like 2017, when this game came out, asked me, are you playing any other mobile games? Yeah, I started playing this one. And every once in a while, I mention it. I think I think the last time that I actively had admitted that I had played it was pretty much stopped, I said that I was on uh, plane. talking about that so to get after the wife, WWE and Champions thing came to and People use that as a, you still play mobile games. You're still spent, you know. So <sighs> let's, okay. So, so Trip, does he chew? Play the game. You say you're not addicted, although you have been no. addicted to no, it was a quite, you don't even. It, yeah, it was a very I'm little just, one that you really couldn't make out. out in front of us. All right. Yeah. So he just let his little jaw do a, do a dribble real quick. That was it. Yes. Okay. You were addicted to, to resist that game. the Fast forward. New game comes out. Right. You play that game. And by the way, you, you, you separated yourself from that game because you knew that you were addicted to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Usually in the case of addiction, just usually there's there's some sort of intervention in life, some sort of intervention that happens, whether it's brought on by friends, family or just personal. You know, uh, you look inside yourself and you realize something needs to change. Right. Right. Do you feel that you're addicted to to these games? I've already asked you this, but I just feel like once again, you have you have you have transactions that line up with major events. I'm getting DM pictures of, of you. Of, of your discord you know your discord handle in the wwe that's not his discord <laughs> stupid i have yeah I just, he's never had a discord he's never so talked to his dance in the super secret make discord make that sense. was leaked by anani like this doesn't make sense make it make sense i i have such a hard time believing that there is a a group of people that are so hell-bent this evil plan to make you look bad that they're willing to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on WWE champions just so they can Why make is he you look constantly bad. looking I, I, to his left? I, I don't The buy corner it. demons looking and, at him. Once again, he sees the guilt here, in his Phil. eyes. I, I'm offering you the yeah, the easy out. All you got to do like, is like, take is a that quick where screenshot. Breaks at right now on the it's PC done. monitor on the other on. side of the, the room. Move on. Uh, goes, okay. It could you know be. What? could be the laptop. You know, it, it, but if and, that's and the case, then he should have. It. It. It's, it's he, very simple, man. He should have just did a setup. want to make this happen. Where he like, could I, look I want, not I want you to be all the way to the left like that. That seems silly. I want the internet to How else is he supposed to be able to be done? Like, it's it's there, man. It's there. Like, let's 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 make this happen. Like. And then we're, we all move on, and we can start talking about other things. Okay, I'll, like I said, I'll think about it. I gotta see how I, if, how I can do it, and uh, you know, again, what liability? I'm not gonna. Oh, I can do it. it. It's called a Very screenshot. Strong, doing it. <laughs> Adam, let's see if we can do it before the screen. Thing. Okay. We have a captive audience here. They want to know, right? Yeah, well, he had I no response. He's just like, all oh, right. Not even doing anything with my <laughs> He's screen. like, I'm not getting it. I'm okay. not doing it today on the stream. Okay. Yeah. It's just, okay. I'm so not going to do it live where it would make the most sense. Where, all, where you know, everybody's here to see it. My wife, you know, everything here. Because if this okay. account gets out, that's a lot of stuff that now can be compromised. Okay. All right. Look, like I said, family, I get it. Right. Totally understand. Okay. I then, agree, Lord Kane, but we all know the you know, DSP is not being truthful. There's, 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 and that's the that's way it always goes with him. You can, you there's can always a way the that he could have done things me, better if things else. were true. Okay? And he just doesn't have the after. evidence to support the and, claims he would have to make because it's a will, lie. It's always you know, a lie. I, I will serve as your confidant in this process. So, all right, well, let's... I, I mean, I don't really like know If he wasn't lying through his goddamn teeth, this would have been a slam I just feel like there's this mountain of stuff here, and it just... Phil, I got a show name that you can do. This is how you don't game. I think you need. To, I think you need to own it, man. I think you need to fucking <laughs> take back what they took from you and just fucking lean into that, dude. He doesn't Fuck edit though, so he can never do it as good as the detractors. Just do what you want to do. Do you, man? But like the best thing to do is be honest and and own up to whatever, right? So if you if you truly you 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 said multiple times you don't know what you could do. 
I think some of the best parts to it. This is how you don't play though. Is the comments? It, like I understand you got to like, the comments are off. It, that's fine. Um, yeah. Again, we didn't even get into the identity theft stuff. It'll never be the same. To me. And that, you know, that's why It'll so never free. be the it, same. It almost ruined me. You know. And that's what I mean. Even just doing. I this do kind of cringe great. whenever they give him this advice. Like, so like, take it, back the meme, right? Like, said, like the charges. He just, waited way too long. It wouldn't be possible at this point. not yours. There's like a whole industry. That is not yours. Being the miserable asshole he is. There's no way he can outdo all in, the creatives out there. Dark Sea like the Flow like, in the chat right now is a perfect example. Again, Phil, help me out, man. Like, yeah, parody songs Dark could never compare. It just so happens to be around where you, you know, live. Like DSP started doing just uh, so happens parody to be songs. And dining where they wouldn't be it funny. Just so happens to have yeah, gold grad. A, a gold grad. Extremely close to yours. Fucking loser. I mean, that's how they access it. Not not. They look like a little shake and bake video. Just on that. That's ridiculous. But it's out there, dude. Mm -hmm. No disrespect in my shake me, and bake videos. Question. I love that shit. This is interesting. Let's say, you know, I, I the screenshot I sent. Crash over it. I don't think Cat was in the hey, room this for this. He doesn't. Context, you know, this is he not, definitely this is was true. already uncomfortable so enough happen? with having these two guys talk to him. Do I don't know how. I, I don't think he wanted Cat in the room. Just like you just mentioned, those Discord. What if she felt the need to correct one of his lies? Who knows? I have no idea. I guess. Well, she I'm can't say anything. Dinosaur, right? What's she like, gonna do? Understand. Sign language? No, She's not smart enough for ASL. I really have no clue. And people say, "Well, how could they have done it?" <laughs> she can't even read chat it's fast I enough. Know. I don't know about Discord. Oh, enough. she'd be I fucking it though. Fake those logs. How do you fake them? Yeah, that's kind of wild. She can't keep up the chat, according to DSP, but she I fucks the shit out of it. I don't know. How could do you think? Do you think that somebody went in and created? And if she can't keep up with his chat, I'm amazed she can read. hours, eighteen hours, however, however long it was. I mean, do you really think that somebody? dislikes you that much that they were they're, they're willing to make a 12 to 18 hour audio recording of every single transaction yeah, if you guys from a bank don't account, know that the that, discord uh, account he had was to tied right to two different live, serial numbers right and he changed one of them but the other one stayed it, 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 the like, same so even when he tried to change like it around like, they way, they could track him like dude do you hear my honest answer so that account yes. Being yes, attached to the Discord okay. that was leaked by Anani Mouse uh, is definitely his. That have happened to me, and I could tell you about them if you want, or we don't have to. It's your call. It's just, it's just way too elaborate, man. It just, I hear it you. Just... I hear you. Cat, I've had people who've catfished me for two years, saying catfished they were someone me. to get into my group. They moderated for me on my chat. For this is about Anani in it. Years saying they were yeah. a person. They had a whole persona of who they were. Every, all my other moderators were friendly with them, and then after two years. They revealed I'm a secret detractor and I was here to try to ruin Dude, Phil. Like, you what? were such a dick to Anani. It was not this? at all surprised that he put the it's bitch true. on you, dude. Documented. I I what about what about Phil? What about that what about that? DSP actually accounts, made fun of the down from the rafters, Anani for being the, uh DSP molested. Account. Why are they tied to your That's owner? the kind of person this dude is. That I don't know, and I don't know what that means. How could I don't know right? nothing about that guy that was before well, when, I existed. When you register an, yeah. an account and you have to you put a phone number attached to it, right? Why Why would that be? No. It, to my knowledge, if you're going to play any mobile game, there, you don't ever enter your phone number into it. It's tied to your. Well, I guess it could be tied to many things. Line? It could be tied to. What's that? Line, the line app? A line. Perhaps. A li, li, that's one of an, the apps, correct? There could mm -hmm, be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no lineup uses on. two factor authentication. I'm trying to think like currently with your okay, phone. I'm trying to put it in perspective of a game that I played today. Like, for example, the Brand Dude has a video on this. If you guys haven't seen it, it's now. good. It's a Facebook account. I hope Brand Dude's video is coming along good. I await the day we get the return of a Brand Dude so video. Account. That, I mean, I never entered my phone number. You know what I mean? Like, it was just the Apple account you log into and you download anything off the Apple Store or whatever. There's no phone number entry there. So I don't know how that would happen or how you would even tie it to a phone number. I have no clue. I've never entered my phone number into any mobile game that I've ever played. <clears throat> if you bring up the line account, that's something else entirely, which we could talk about too, because they've tried to spin that into it too. <laughs> Where's Brand Dude, by the way? Uh, I don't know. Hours. Last time uh, I talked Apple. to Brand Dude was and, on and TBS. It's been a, a great interview. I, I know it's been tough. Um, I, I'm certainly it's tough. Um, it's taking tough. the stance of being very critical. I can't uh, take this shit, shit no more, man. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. <laughs> I think that we should move to super chats because, uh, and I don't, I don't know if we're gonna have the time to read them all because I saw super chats going the entire time. Right. Um, well, there's there's a lot more to get to here, and I, I, I do his phone number and the line out. 
that he they uses. will be read and they will be appreciated. But I feel like there's Yo, more what up, King that we cruel? need to hit on before. Yo, we, we were talking about you earlier. We're contributing. What's up, King? We'll contribute because they want to contribute and they appreciate. Uh, they appreciate that this is happening. And Phil, I want to be clear. Like, dude, I, I told you all along, man, I really appreciate you doing this. For like, anybody so who's wondering how much is left in this interview. Uh, this is not meant to be an interview to start with, but I, I appreciate you coming on and being part of this. Uh, I know that oh, yeah, those we haven't who, got to the team who want to contribute, they will nope. contribute. We're going to start the second team segment. Segment. Super chat. We're going to start dropping out. We're going to start having support. connection issues. Um, but I think that there's more substance here. So, so <laughs> oh, yeah, the detractor at Comcast. Yeah, it's your show. Right. It's our show, buddy. It's our show. Um let's 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 talk about this man um so we'll move on from wwe and we'll we'll talk about something else um you have been you you have been doxxed you have been doxxed and that he doxed is himself for the record right? uh, yeah. uh you know, if you didn't clear, know dsp of, had made business you know, cards the, with the his address his handles and everything like, on it up posted them online people, and would hand them out at tournaments people like you're doxing us well <laughs> like a genius see who i was speaking to that's big brain behavior i, I don't know what you're talking about personal information out it's on the internet for people to find for people to see um and uh that that normally wouldn't be available to people right and you have been doxxed. Your personal information has been put out. Uh, like, why do I know that your personal phone number is tied to oh, this? Oh, he did it at restaurants, right? too. Like, that's you know, hilarious. That's so, fu that's so that's funny. That's so funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you have, I would like two of... McDoubles Not and a number nine. Oh, by the but, way, here's my business um, card. Can I watch my streams? But holding the information <laughs> of that you have over people's heads. And I, I wanted to kind of show you this clip real sure. quick, and then, <clears> then we can talk about this. So uh let's go oh, shout, shout out phil twitter collins on twitter the same exact avatar that he's fucking using for this troll account on my website oh by the way i have your ip i have your name and i have your address so congratulations you fucked up you really did be oh, awesome goodness. one on twitter i have all your fucking hey, it's Yo, awesome one be he's awesome here one. shout out, <laughs> out. He's in the chat right now. Big up. Not a doxing video. I do not condone it. I will never give out someone's personal information or anything like that whatsoever. However, understand something. I got you. How about gotcha. the fact that it's okay. fucking Twitter? <laughs> do you think that's okay? You <laughs> got you, be awesome one. You got like threat, fucked. Right? That's the first time I've sure actually heard clip since I said it. Pretty actually. sure it was a threat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that, that is definitely a threat. That is, I mean, okay. I mean, no. No, it's not. My <laughs> dude, I hate that. Hang on, I all right. I know I said no rewinds, but this this no, shit you said pisses rewinds. me off. You're right. You're right. This shit pisses me off. He goes, sounds like a threat. Yeah. Well, no, it's not. Shut up, bitch. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. Yeah. No, we need to back. give it. We need to give it up for be awesome one on this one. He triggered this guy to no end. <laughs> oh, I turned off my keyboard. I'm stupid. In Okay, no, it's not. No, it's that. My for, again, this is kind of goes back to I was, you know, you tell a dark joke. You yeah, know, it was. One way it came out a different way. What so I, John what, what I with the five? Phil should this play an anti bard in BG three instead of songs. He tells hour long stories that inflict debuffs and sleeping on his whole party. Really bad. Yeah, that's that's about what would happen. <laughs> Actually hurt my business overall financially since then. Okay, I've never. So really it justifies recovered. it. No, it doesn't justify. That's it. what you're. That's why you wouldn't have said it otherwise. That's what you just said. It got me that yeah. Angry. It got me that angry. They had actually hurt me so bad. For no reason. I don't even know who that guy is. All right. And all yeah, this part is the most watched bit of the interview. You can see it on is the little. Really? Uh, yeah, you can <laughs> see the, the little graph there. It's huge. No, it's so Everyone remembers Be Awesome one. What I should have said <laughs> was, you know, this is a situation you hurt me so bad. I don't know who you are. And, you know, I think I'm going to go to the authorities with this. That's what I should have said. I shouldn't have said, oh, I got all your information. And blah, blah, blah. You're right. 100%. You're right. I never, so, I never doxed so that. So it guy. was a threat. So you admit that it was a threat. It was, it was me. Dude, he used to anger. use doxing as a, like, a holdover on people threat. all the time. Anger Thank you. Threatening manner. Yes, but I never did anything. It was a threat. No, it was me venting anger. So a threat. Uh, well, kind of, I guess, yeah. Uh, no. What a clown. <laughs> but you understand, like, that? that's, that's not something that, that you JDX, should... thanks for the update, dog. Keep us Craig, posted. Up, I can't hear you. Craig. Craig, your audio. Yeah, what happened? Uh. Not sure. His mic seemed to have been muted. Oh crap! We're just threatening people um, in here, JDX. Yeah, I mean, it's I, a joke. I I <laughs> have people that support me. I have a few different companies. I have a coffee company, and like I have people's information, and Flex, I would never ever brag. use it Flex. ever. Humble brag. And I would never I have a coffee company. Claim to 
even if someone pissed I me off. I wouldn't consider that a flex up because coffee is just be water gross. It just feels like a weird. Oh, like shut you say, up. You, your anger or whatever, <laughs> and and it just slipped out. It's like, is there things that go on that, like, in your head that might, because because the way it sounds, like it mm. seems like you kind of just fly off the handle sometimes and do do shit and say shit that you're, you know, that gets you in trouble. Like, I, I, I mean, at the, it, it almost yeah. feels like I need to be worried about you, dude. Like, I, I, what, what's going to Everybody needs next? to be worried about DSP. You I, ever you see him change, in his but, Punisher you know, outfit? It, it turns out that uh, racist mm -hmm. video with the little girl was only like show up to school months, tomorrow. a year ago. That's, <laughs> that's pretty recent. Yeah, that's a funny you know, joke. Say, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. The internet and... It's just the vibe it gave off, man. I'm not in charge of what he was given. I'm talking about a killer who's killing people in their basement. And then you're bringing up the slave... You're like sending a little girl off to the slave trade. I, I don't know. It just, it's pretty obvious. All right. Mm -hmm. So I know you claim that it isn't, but it really did sound that way. But that's, that's now whatever. you said it. I don't know, man. It just feels like. Yeah, you no, missed Craig, the slave trade part already. <laughs> yeah, I still can't hear you, Craig. What the heck happened? <sighs> and DSP is so not listening to <laughs> what Adam is saying. No, but He's anyway, more bullshit. invested in, in Craig's so uh, audio issues. You know, 2015. You know, that clip is okay. from 2015. Not to say that that's, that means anything. Yes, I will check, admit check, I check. made. Uh, there, there you go. go. You're back, Craig. All right, got me. Cool. Thanks. So that clip was from 2015. That's again one moment in my 15 year career. That, that was actually good co-hosting by Adam to take over did. like that. To take over while he figured it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we 100 admit that? I didn't even know I had ever done that. I don't remember that. I really don't. I, I watched about about this far. Uh, that I should never in like that. November yeah, or something like that. Maybe it was July. And uh, I, I thought the same thing then. I was like, that's actually big ups. To this day but that's a moot point i should i did the wrong thing oh you you can't fight a wrong with a wrong correct you can't fight fire with fire it just makes things worse and i shouldn't have said that you're right you're right but i feel like that that statement in itself the idea of like you can't fight fire with fire you can't fight um you know like i feel like a lot of this conversation yeah uh, Astrodonis, I, I don't know how true that is i didn't watch the playthrough i'm never going to and gameplay it's, unless it's no, star wars battlefront i don't care uh, that's that didn't i happen. actually heard the same um, thing so i'm inclined to believe that's you haven't the case given a whole, you haven't really given any facts any facts to back this, it up. this wasn't even that long the after the uh, black woman's gonna steal your backpack saying, joke um you know that's saying this is these are the things that phil does these are the mm -hmm. things that that uh, that has happened, um, and and you're just saying, well, no, no, it's not. And oh, I didn't that, say no, it's not. I said, or, or that's not true, or that's not my account. That's not me. That's oh, not okay. my. You know what that I mean? Like, th th that's all I'm saying. Ah, Joey, you know, you battlefronts in Bam World already. Evidence. You can't just say like, well, yeah, no, that's why you did Q no, and A. Q and A. I mean, this stuff doesn't happen overnight. This is 15 years of me all day, every day, putting myself on the internet making mistakes when i started 15 years ago there was no groundwork of seeing oh here's someone who's done it and here's the right things and wrong things to do and i made tons of these mistakes over the years like i was just saying that clips from 2015 when that happened i'm sure everyone called me i said oh yeah oh, mitchell definitely person even if they've hurt you oh you know phil what? don't make racist right, jokes i'm being censored re and then maybe i did it again i don't know I, but you nobody know i can tell jokes anymore i just want to drop n bombs and nobody is letting me or finding it funny <laughs> what i would say <laughs> why is the one laughing at my abhorrent racism if you just watch a stream of mine you know just come by yeah darksty his voice this entire interview is is completely different than his voice every day on stream he's definitely doing a soy voice for this. no look there is something somewhat less grading picking and choosing things that it's more of a fresh nail on a chalkboard rather than a rusty one during whatever there is absolutely a different style only takes different style now it's a wood screw i would say it's a it's a screw instead of a nail this time it's all the same though adam you said something yesterday zero snort so far oh we should have had a snort counter a collection of moments zero no, the whole interview. Saying, I don't want to steal your thunder on that. I, I don't remember what you were. It's got to be one in here. The hidden well, you're, snort. You're saying, that, you're saying that in the event of these these collections that that your detractors put together of you saying these things, there's a lot of them. Like you can go lot. five hours and without sorting. I can't stop sorting for people, streams. The last, you know, most or at least the podcast, general, the audio only style long. podcast. It wouldn't be as long. There, there's honestly there's though, there'd be less fun stuff to clip out of the podcast though. Maybe you have a uh, more watchful eye on you than most people, but but micro snorts. It just seems like there's there's a lot, <laughs> lot there, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's that's probably the biggest thing here. You know, I, uh, think, I think you're right. I think it comes with being one of the most 
prolific content creators of gaming. Prolific. Have, you know, Get yeah. Unfortunately, oh, I believe the word prolific It'll just means granted. quantity. No, so yeah. so he's accurate there. There yeah. we go. It's yeah, that's yeah. not good content. Shit if you want. I don't care. But when I put myself out there that much, there's just that much. But, yo, if Tevin said he went through the whole interview without snorting, I believe I'm a small time guy. And it, Tevin would never lie to people. me, dude. That video about Phil, number one, you're getting the clickbait views. He's so subsonic snorting. He, he's <laughs> snorting at a frequency only dogs can hear. That's the that's the real move. <laughs> Living boy of the internet. People made entire channels that were profitable. It's There's how his wizard lace right? communicates. So when I subsonic snorting, and people realize, well, people have been doing this for years and they get away with it. You know, this started making fun of my gameplay. Then it became make fun of him and his mannerisms. Make fun of uh his family members. Make fun of you know. It's just it kept going big, big, make big. Make fun of his post nasal drip. Toxic as you can. Okay, okay. Um, his his gout. medical condition. He forgot dude. about his gout when yeah. he was playing all gout. All gout. See, it's not even <laughs> funny. Wings of redemption. You got boogie. We're targets because we don't really we make mistakes repeatedly. We all do, and we kind of we, sometimes we make the same mistakes over and over. I feel that other content creators. Yo, are we going to be done here too. before he's on? Maybe not as much as us. Not to the extremes. We got about two get. hours, and but we got about. Are big and they have ginormous audiences that back them and defend them. You know. Yeah, we got about two hours. Yeah, yeah we're going to finish up like right on time. Rifle. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Without, if I right now if I picked up an assault rifle, I'd be off what? the internet. <laughs> that would what? be ended for me. I'm out of here. Right? It doesn't even matter what the context is. If I pick up a weapon, but I think it does. I'll be off the internet. But I don't think that's true. It very much does. Is that why he doesn't show us the home defense hatchet anymore? You know what he was doing was he was. I would love to see DSP holding an AR though, just so we can quit doing the Sam Hyde meme and do the DSP one instead. About you know, he can't keep getting away with it. And the guy who was who was kind of threatening. That'd be a good green screen too. He's like, no, listen, this oh, is not, DSP not holding up an AK magazine, would kind of be hard, though. Explaining these things. <laughs> okay, going on. I, I always need more very, green very screen content. Does, does matter. Yeah, I, I, it, I, it is against Agnes terms of service on YouTube to be live on <laughs> gun. Well, he right. wasn't live. He wasn't live. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't live. It was a video. Yeah, it was a video. The Act 47. Maybe demonetized and such, but well, so let me let me say this, Phil. You look. You have Bill Paulson. You have people who are. Well, that's us. Very the much want to see you fail, or enjoy yeah. seeing you fail, or laugh at being, uh, or laugh seeing you fail. Yeah, that does Robust. not kind of funny. Sound very fun <laughs> to me. Right? It's it meaningful like to me. I would want to be a part of. Have you thought about um, going to therapy or anything along those lines to help you get through this? Because this is obviously not not an easy easy life that you've chosen for yourself. I mean, mm -hmm. that's, there's there's a lot to talk about, and I would imagine that going to talk to somebody therapy is not a bad word it's a it's a very good thing for a lot of people uh to where you can just go unless and it's court ordered obviously and talk about these things have you, have you considered that ever uh at one point i did for sure uh i would say probably yo alive and well a bernelli style shotgun that's pretty good my personal life is <laughs> part um but i didn't i didn't i've never it's a 22 caliber anymore. i'm not anti-therapy <laughs> that's a shotgun like that but no i just never gotten to that point where i've considered doing or seriously pursue. i didn't know they offered I, pig style think, therapy though this out there do you, is it because you think that yeah of course they do it's everyone else no that's the, that's the feeling i get i'm a flawed human man i, I, I know you day. you've admitted your flaws <laughs> from the past like you you say like yes back in 2015 i said that fucked up shit and i i took that you know this is how not to play way wrong and i i admit that now but it's like it's really easy to do that right to mm -hmm. convince someone that you've changed not not saying that that's what you're doing, but it, it could be. All right. So it's like, you know, it feels kind of like you're, you can do no wrong almost, and that's oh, the vibe I'm getting. Whoa. And I could do no, no wrong. That <laughs> no 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 like um not not in your past, but it does feel like you kind of have like what well, I've changed, so people should understand that and like um yeah that's I, exactly I his mentality. It's just a, a vibe that I'm getting that you're because you, every t there's been so many times where we've asked a question and your mm -hmm. response was. Feels like Adam's really trying to be like and that was professional, but he just the, he's having trouble hours, holding it together. Three hours and ten minutes that we've been. It's been it's locked, difficult, so, you, you know, know dealing like dealing watching the guy content. You could try elsewhere. and start being uh, as objective I, I and helpful like, as possible, and then by the end you're like, right? you're a stupid so piece of shit. I hate you. We don't want negative things. I don't want to see your stupid face. Allow you an opportunity. Why are you snorting my ear again, you bitch? And it's like correct. that, oh, dude. dude.
What about this? Well, my detractors. I am not a or uh, who violent who person. Me. But if someone were to snort point, directly in my you know, ear you like have that, taken, you have taken account of man. You must hate these things, streams. Right? For, when people for, type the word snort, I'm doing it to them. I was. Oh no, no! Your snorts are robust. His his are great. Have yet to be. You, know, you have yet to attune for or atone for whatever the word is um, that that are just I just go back to it, man. It just seems like there's just this mountain of evidence. And this we're JDX, talking, thank you for the update. JFK Good luck. Don't get it on your hand. Here. If 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 all this stuff lines up the way it does. And mm -hmm. if you were just to say, like, yeah, I play WB Legends. Yeah, I'm addicted. Yes, I have a problem with spending money on it. Yes, I yes, I um you know, um, I need to need to improve. I think people will be like, yeah, cool. Let us help you instead of stop lying. You know, and that's that's what it feels like right now, man. It just the detract. Look, they were right. Only, you know, the truth in your heart. Right. right. And, and right. the and the well and the evidence attached to it. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, which there is a mountain of. Right. It's. So, Craig, I'm, you I'm, sound like you sound like a detective right now, trying to get a confession. I'm just no, saying. No, no, I, 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 and it's, it's not trying to. I'm not trying to. I'm more trying to sound just, like fucking Doctor Phil. I know, you know? but the, like, if the, there's a fine line between <laughs> the two, and and I, I understand I'll be honest, that. It, it feels like you're trying to get a confession, and I, yeah, I don't, and, you know, I'm not trying to like make it weird and right. And, and I apologize for that. You've already been there a couple times. So I know, like, I know, but I, I'm having, <laughs> I'm just having a really hard time getting through it. I apologize if that's what it sounds like. When they flip the script, good cop, bad cop style. Yeah, I mean, Adam. Really, Adam really I mean, saved Adam, this bit. Why? Why people would be critical? You know, right. I, it just too much lines up. With the situation um, I'm in, it's it's a it's a lose lose. There is no. No, Nugs is here. Big up, Nugs. No in the situation, there just isn't. Well, no so, matter what I do, I'm, I, there's a risk. There's there's a liability. And just like you said, risk, even if liability, I see my family, the uh, they, don't care. they will not well, care. It it Some, honestly oh, well. it, it depends, yeah, it, right? Yeah, I I don't agree with you. I don't agree at all. There, I don't there, either, dude. If he could have proved that WWE like, Champions was that he wasn't his account, like one hundred percent proved it, we would have like that would have never been brought up be again. Because I why do you want to sit there and, you know, and spout I, lies I mean, about the guy when there's so many things many that are true hate you, that no, you could talk about instead? This is why nobody talks right? about the think escort think anymore. It was it was stupid. It was wrong. He was actually being scammed. Act act act. One million percent. That's the explanation. So 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 FaceTime. And that's the thing is like detractors kind of thrive on credit. Ability, he, he so the, that I way, when we call the, the guy out, we're not just be like, being, I, I you know, accused live, of pulling right? shit out of our asses. That's okay, why certain around. detractors aren't well, respected in the circle. So that's you're why not going to decide for wobblers, that. dude. Because if you're yeah. not credible, there's, there, you might as well just quit talking. It's your show, Phil, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Not my Send show. those wobblers to fanboy. Well, listen, we provide you a platform for you to do it, and listen, you have. You have thousands of and people. And I get being acting, wrong you know, when, when given. It you know, happens. Uh, I've done it. It definitely happens. But if you're outright, like, misleading and lying, like, yeah, just just stop, dude. There's so much on DSP to, to, to point at and laugh at and, and, you know, call out his lies on. Like, you don't have to make shit up. It's infinite ammo. But he sounded like it. So. And the well, thing is, he's not—he's not, he's not going to get a confession because I'm telling you, it's true. What I'm telling you is true. I know, but it's—it's it's, yeah. It's, Ivy got no wobbler fan world. <laughs> so, Ivy's my favorite wobbler, though. He's safe. When I, when I was first, oh, you're talking, getting the inked now, umbrella, Ivy. You saved the day. <laughs> I was so scared that people were going to harass her or do things. We didn't live near each other. We had online communication. After talking for several months, we started dating. Okay, she flew out here. On her own dime, by the way. It's another. Oh yeah, here we go. Escort saga. Now that we were Sorry, talking about it. And after a few months, hey, it's like he was listening. Okay, this was Christmas of 2017. I took. It's some like he's predictable as fuck. <laughs> decorating my Christmas tree. <laughs> Bob BV, what's wrong with I Vega? Nothing. We love I Vega. Just giving him shit. And we've been awake Saturday, for the last 40 hours. <laughs> Or excuse me, uh, early 2017. So this was like some. Yeah, I think his only problem is sleep deprivation at this point. <laughs> so all I showed was her back, decorating my Christmas tree. I talked about what we did when she visited. We I was showing off my uh, my su swimsuit model's wife's ass. I'm not making this up. It's documented. Kind of base, not gonna lie. I wonder if you guys have come <laughs> across this. There were people, my haters, made up an entire fabricated story about that was not someone I was dating. That was an escort. That I was paying the money that I was bringing in on streams, I was paying for a European escort and flying this escort across the globe to spend Christmas with me. 
All right. right. No, but he evidence. was telling was people that, that he needed to pay his taxes and that he had a bunch of bills okay. coming up while he was flying her across the country. Evidence. Oh, look at this. There's I a whole social media uh, account yeah, yeah. of the escort. Here's the logs of plane. He tickets. was grifting, for the, the but he just wasn't well hiring Everyone an escort. Said I was guilty. Yeah, he, he I, wasn't grifting the way they thought he was grifting, but still a grift for sure. She continued to visit me and we had a relationship blossom and all of that. Eventually, she moves in with me. Okay. That's where the I don't have money to do it. 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 Clip comes from. They made the whole situation up. Well, now hold on, because because talking about the narrative, the narrative is that your detractors actually cleared you of it, cleared you of that, and said like, no, this doesn't add up, right? But she will never acknowledge this thing adding up, and they're after the fact. And and they're the ones who who apparently put the evidence. Yes, it was a meme. But then there were detractors who said, "No, this don't make no sense." What happened was for three, four months, they're making my life a living hell, just like with this WWE Champions thing. Phil is guilty. Yes, and then they debunked it and moved on. Outright. And then basically, when she moved in with me, well, now what are they going to? Now they have the narrative has to change. Okay, so now they figure. Secret fucked this guy's head up though. He he remembers Secret Limited with a burning hatred. I remember Secret Limited with nothing but love. Oh God! I hope one day Secret Limited comes back. I I I need it. When that was disproved, no. I'm fiending for a Secret Limited style top top ten, top fifteen, whatever he wants to do. Last year was the perfect year for it, man. Corroborating evidence proving that it was real. It was Not real, that I don't appreciate you know, proper, but man, that secret oh, limited, them man. secret limited videos, Jesus, man. They hit man. different, man. They just hit different. You, you probably know him, Craig. Did you watch the secret limited video about the? Yeah, hey, hey, let's go, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Is someone who once a year makes a very negative video. Can I get an F like, in the chat mistakes. to show respect for secret limited boys? Video documenting this, they called it the escort saga. Okay. The thumbnail for the video was was me, my ex, I don't know why she was in it, and the escort's face, supposedly who it was. This gets disproven three, four months later. Did my detractors say, sorry about that, Phil, mea culpa, yo, we made a big mistake, let's forget. No. You want to know yeah, what yes. we did? This is yes, we did. He took the face of the escort and put a horse's head on it, and he said, my wife looks like a horse. You mean he made it more <laughs> accurate? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Come on, but this, man. I mean, they, That's when these funny things as get, hell. Get wrong, oh, move on to the next. It's just the next thing. I will send. I will. So send wait. So what does this have to do with it, though? Because I will. But he just said they moved on to the next thing. The next yeah, they don't bring it up anymore. I mean, the only so person that talks about the escort is you, so because it's the only time a detractor has <laughs> so ever been wrong. Why bother with any of it? And that's the attitude I've taken. Now, Adam, you just <laughs> did laugh. He was this like, they did what? <laughs> this was not supposed to be an interview, right? Adam Googling <laughs> Secret Limited right now. He's like, I got some homework. I gotta, yeah, I got to watch this later. It sounds funny as hell. This be the end be all. You want my actual answers on this stuff? You watch this show, and that's the last thing I'm talking about, right? So... Doppel says ALT will screen. kill you guys. I'm just, I'm uh, why? Them. They won't leave me alone. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to him tonight. To the narrative. See if I he wants me to, wants me dead. It's gonna go on forever. So then why <laughs> he's even? He's calling in the hits right now. Anything? It's on to the next anyway. So once I disprove WWE, no, WWE dude, he's operating a household right now. Risk. Today's okay. his household operation day. And by the way, now something might happen to me because I which includes ordering hits. That's why I don't care about it. On rogue detractors. Content creator, I have become so desensitized to this stuff. I just, it's like, what's the next one? I don't well, care. If you, if you truly don't care, then you, you won't bother sending him a screen cut, screenshot. Because it doesn't matter to you then. It doesn't matter either way. If well, anything, if I, if I, send, if I send Craig the screenshot, it would be out of like respect that he gave me his time today on the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, but that, then that's, that's something that's, to think about. That's a lot of trust too. Because again, I'm not saying Craig would ever do anything dishonest or, or expose me. I'm telling you, there's been times this exact situation has happened, and then something bad has happened to me. Because the I one time, actually, how but long ago? Was I, the I haven't. Saga? I'll tell you this: I haven't done anything to to uh, dissuade your trust or lose Hell your yeah. trust. No. So you know, uh, look. Ultimately, this is your call, but the offer's there, and I know you said you didn't want to do anything, you know, with your phone during this. Respect that. That's fine. But you realize that by by leaving the door open, by even doing this after Shadow Hill, it's okay. You can always watch the vibe or and, and, and you know, it, it goes back to brother. the Pixar different didn't happen. Like if somebody so sees the you, escort the saga right was now, in twenty seventeen. You were to then email it to me right now yeah. on stream. And it was this, this Damn, was he's still beating right that dead now, horse. In real time as people were watching, it's mm -hmm. it's on his bucket list. It's, it's on his bucket done. list. <laughs> but seriously can, it's like number three on yeah because panda lee that, left that, what early right 2017 now, and he was married again, to cat in 2018 so there's really done. only it's one option done. um man bro hops fast on, um 
<sighs> Bro, Phil, hmm? how the fuck did you not know the camera was on? You know what I'm talking well, I, about. I, I, was, I wasn't going to talk about this, but... I, I, mean, we, I, I did. Yeah. What the fuck, man? <laughs> I mean, come Dude, on. Sadly, <laughs> when it happened... I, I tried to, to, to spin fuck? it. I tried to spin it in a very positive light, and I, I re rolled with it. Yeah, very positive light. I was scratching my leg. It never went away, but at least people, you know, it's just something funny now, right? <laughs> Imagine if I had reacted to that the same way I reacted to this is how you don't play. Like, that would have been the end for me. Like, you did, I, though. Say, didn't do it or whatever. I course, say, didn't yeah, he try and get it taken so down? Well, or Machinima? Yeah. He claims Machinima did, Not but... Happy. Okay. Nah, this motherfucker um, was claiming shit. Like, he I, debunked I his whole I have never claimed any video so shit when he showed off his uh, claim history. And yeah. he never even showed the whole thing. I moved out here to Washington. I used to live in Connecticut my whole life. I moved to Washington in 2014 with my then-girlfriend. Our relationship was great. Over the course of two years of systematic harassment on the internet, being swatted. I actually remember seeing that on Drama Alert before I even know, knew who DSP was. Okay. In 2016, I was living with her. And we had two separate lives. It was like two roommates rather than a romantic relationship. It was messed up. Like we were supposed to be together and we're really not. Um, it got to the And whose fault is that, dude? It's like, your friends, responsibility to keep I love in your love no life. Knew, like no one thought everything was fine. We, we pretended we smiled, whatever. No one knew that. Dude, you crashed. disrespected really the shit out of Panda. What the did you expect was going to happen? This room. Putting her fucking mental she never, problems she never, on blast online to a bunch of strangers who already hate you and want to hurt you. Like, well, even before then, like, you saw the way he, like, treated her during those Christmas videos. Just outright yeah. ignoring her and not responding to anything she's saying, cutting her off. It was something awful. Yeah, she was just a prop. He held her up as a prop. Back then, I was... Give her a pill, yeah, we, leave her somewhere. We remember the man zone. You know, my, my yeah, man, she fuck it. That was the nice thing about Panda. She didn't take it laying down. Yeah, so she gave her, she gave him as much shit as she could. Left on from the day before. Back then, yeah, I didn't. Bill Paulson face cam with like the it. one gifted. Today, Big up. This is a common thing to have the face cam on every single stream. Back then, it was a rarity. I only did it for like FromSoft games where I was gonna get really upset. People like to see. I'm ready for my apology now. Yeah, that's a legend. Character. Um, I left it on. And so I come in here and I'm feeling like shit. I feel awful. Like I'm feeling like shit. Awful. You know what I thought? I was like, you know, to make me feel better oh, if I just crank one out. I leave myself before a stream. And then it's all over the internet. And I, oh, we all know it's just because his yeah, only true love was Rambo so and Rambo's the white whale. He's the one that got away. It. it was definitely part of it. Like, obviously, you don't sit down in front of a, you know, a, 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 why would you even do that? I mean, what an idiot to do that in, even in a situation. But it was probably something so horrible. You know, another argument. There's many of those. So you said the, the camera was on um, and then you started the stream and then did that or like you were prepping for a stream? What, you don't beat your meat out of anger? Just... That's like a pastime for me. So basically, <laughs> uh, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. frustrated uh, with my job. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, what was the yeah, boss? I got to go out to my car real stream. quick. Don't ask any questions. <laughs> uh, completion, because that's pretty fucking impressive. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, Not just long. I'll be in my bunk. It was, you know, I would turn on the stream. I call it the pre-stream roll or whatever. So you no, to I don't. Oh, I, I, I really don't care. Oh, no, really? Uh, <laughs> the pre-stream roll. The pre-stream roll. Oh, oh, my team. God. Oh, Lord. All right. So it's a awesome. normal thing. <laughs> no, it's not. I did, obviously, no. It wasn't. You've got a name for it, Phil. you got no, no, a name no. for it. The time that I wrote that, I turned Yeah, on Topico. Oh, I, I oh, remember. Uh, oh, jeez. When okay. she was presenting on vacation and DSP's more concerned talking about <laughs> I mean, it'd be a hell of a uh, like the hotel room, room or whatever. The instead fucking of hotel getting it in. room. I couldn't believe that. That was insane. You could start a wicked OnlyFans, Phil. She had started halfway through the mating ritual with without him oh, I, and, and here's the narrative here's the truth of the matter first of all it took place on youtube not on twitch all right there was maybe <sighs> yeah maybe shattered hail and that's the that, to me that's the grossest part was the, the lack of cleanup right after the, the burst in front of me or whatever. Cameras on <laughs> he just he like didn't okay. move like it went wherever it went <laughs> and he didn't wash his hands no 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 uh, that's, that's a misconception in the original clip he does get up and go to the bathroom after the burst does well, he? CNN rehired yeah. Tubin. Apparently, it's cut in a way where he doesn't meeting. do that. So, right. I mean, mm, things can happen, I've been dog, debunked. You know? Th thankfully, the camera was not panned down. 
That would have been Jeez. very, very bad. Thank God it was, you know, the angle that it was. It would have been funnier if he had. Okay. Oh, okay. so right, it doesn't, right. it doesn't show anything because I, I, I haven't seen it. And oh I don't no, no, see it's it. just, it's actually like from the neck up. Yeah. Oh, in, I don't know my, if there was a load or no load. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm assuming okay. there it's, was, it's just but I, own, I'm. It's just my own hey man, that's it. there's been worse videos lean of, of no prominent no YouTubers with their heels above proof. their heads and. Nah, uh, that dude busted. It's, it's been worse. What I. My oh, wow. theory that's, that's, is that's, is that crazy. he was rubbing beneath his jammies because he released that video one time that I, I guess he was oh, in the send shorts. I've seen yeah, that. Yeah, no. where he slapped Here's what I learned from yeah I'm that's pretty sure he was rubbing no underneath the jeans, just glued into the into his uh, jammies. I, that's you know disgusting. What? Hold on, I'm gonna give you some advice. All right, I want to give you some. <laughs> you, you ever try playing a Dark Souls game while you just soaked in in tomb? And it, it's Me neither, a, uh, but it doesn't sound yeah. pleasant. Here's okay. Here, I, but I, what if it gets I, crusty, I, 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 dude? Love, yeah. Again, you have to understand something. We're, we're joking about it. It's funny to joke about it and own it. But it actually, it's representative of, of a really bad time in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like it's okay. That makes sense. Yeah, sure, it's sure. Depressing thing. My wife doesn't ever want to talk about it. You know, she she knew. Hey, I mean, think about this. She Christ. met me after, and Get she it. still likes me. She married yeah. me after that. So obviously, she's moved past. She well, Cat really isn't the uh, Phil, Phil, the most Phil. embarrassing moment. The so, sharpest you know. horse in the shed. Yeah. Uh, there was something there. <laughs> Damn it! I lost. That would have sounded so bad. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was gonna say beat your demons, <laughs> but <laughs> in this context, it's better than beat your demons though. Yeah, beat your demons is pretty bad. You know, unless we're like, talking about the corner like, demons. I don't want to. I don't want to like go there. But it's like, no, fuck that. Get, right. Like face it and and you know conquer your demons. I got. I, I didn't mean to make that pun. Uh, that was unintentional. But it was so good. Um, but but you know what I'm saying, right? I, I'm trying to like. You, you yes. say you don't want to go there, but like right. conquer you're not the only it, dude. Who own it. Not, you're own it. Not own the that shit. The problem, My wife uh, likes me. <laughs> on a focal point like that and but she's seen him his his oh, his, his jerk off remember. face and he and she was like you know now i know what to expect uh, every day to remember that uh, awesome stream they had or that uh, uh, i don't want them to think about the guy cat was actually like bangable at one point stupid. too it's such a dumb thing that I'm, <laughs> challenge I'm not in that part of my life anymore Can i'm so much Dark happier Souls now one that i don't need to dwell on the past anymore i don't need to think about yeah that. it was stupid and yeah <laughs> thank you pastor <laughs> arthur for re it's like a challenge run dude can you beat dark souls one before the coom dries no no that's terrible a hell of a speed run dude that sounded really funny all right. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. So we know the next stream that, that I'm doing back. the uh, the Coom oh, style oh, Dark Souls like speed <laughs> run. Oh no. <laughs> oh well, if, if he if he if he drops, well, he can come back in. Um, yeah, he does look frozen and such. We're gonna watch watch the saying, Officer Sanders stream, uh, okay. and then he's I, off. I couldn't help the puns. They they broke. <laughs> Yo, themselves. he looks like he's crying in that uh, screen. Phil, Phil, right uh, make sure you pop back in. I'm sure yeah. that he will. Uh, I I doubt that he quit uh, because he would, have, he would have been dropped from the thing. It's definitely I'm sure he's fucking tired. Yeah, so like. You I can't talk think for more than uh, an hour or two anymore. without getting Bill, you just pop exhausted. back in whenever you're uh, whenever you're ready, and uh, and we'll keep going. But there are a few things that I want to I want to circle back on, um, mainly on the uh, on the five k. Okay, looks like no auspicious angel. Uh, uh, he used to do the thumb it, over his chair like, when he had uh, his old setup, and he'd be like, "My bit, wife," and then uh, you know, the idea yeah, of, stuff like that. I don't know, man. Like I said, this, uh, it's, if we if we can have a little one to one here, I feel like there's just so much here that doesn't add up, you know. Rip Man. PSP, dude. Yeah, ban world. I, I, it's just the Comcast I mean, attractor's fault, by the way. He claims that I'm, this was I, him I, and totally not just things, like I a mean, random I, blip I in the internet. Yeah, and then he admitted like a minute later that I was right. And it's just like, man, that your whole credibility was already shaky. And right, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying this now because he's not here. I mean, you guys have been very blunt to <laughs> his face. I'm not going to like. You know, if he he hears me, it's not like I. Uh, I mean, I straight up told him I didn't believe him about that joke that he made, and it's just like. But yeah, Pico, you don't like so, the submissive well, um, bitch in my blood voice. Uh, while we have a second, hopefully Phil's going to rejoin us. Um, I, I do want to thank everybody for your super chats today, and I see a lot of people buying merchandise, and uh, it, it's genuinely greatly appreciated. Um, no, I appreciate everybody uh, that close. allowing we us to have, have this the whole I appreciate Phil allowing us to have this conversation with him. Um, uh, honestly, I I gotta give him props, dude. Yeah, because it's it's not easy to fucking do what he just did. I and I, I wasn't and being easy on him, and yeah. I I wasn't going to because I'm I, I said earlier, you know, I'm an honest asshole, dude. Like if you're if I don't know you and I'm like and honestly, I shit and you, why did you I know, say honestly? After that. Like, I hate when people serious. say that though. Like, no, this is this is the most I'm an honest asshole. I'm 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 right, blunt. I'm straight. I don't forward. have a filter. It, I'll tell you, you like it is. Yeah, that's so cringe. You read his email. I've met a lot of women like that. And like and, to be uh, you want to talk about a red flag, that right there, bud. Yeah, I turn around and walk away. 
through. I do a 360 and walk away. And now we, we've done this this interview today. Well, you walk right into him? I mean, Phil says, it was tough. Right. Well, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, Phil just emailed me and he said, uh, hey, I'm still here. I might be getting DDoS. Not sure. So I, I will say this. Um, uh, look, good luck, one have, minute man. I hope uh, your son uh, so you know, goes to sleep second, peacefully and us. doesn't. I'm actually going to invite you to the chat right now. Um, um, Keemstar is going to join us to give his side of the hey, thing. When, uh, star. when when Phil hops in, uh, star, more like Reem Star. <laughs> ak, ak, ak. I don't want to make this weird for Phil, but but I do think that while we have a second, we'll we'll bring Keemstar in. Uh, mm. Keemstar has the link, and uh, he should be joining us any minute. Um, oh my God, this is getting this is. <laughs> I, what a day. I will say this. I will what say this, guys. I appreciate everybody. Staying, yeah, staying exactly. So I do the Phil crossed arms turn and walk yes, away. Including uh, Marcus Cyborg <laughs> and uh, James Rolfe, anger video gamer. They're coming coming up here in the next next few weeks. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, of course. Uh, and this come was join really us. really unorganized for being something they Friday, planned out like uh, weeks in advance. And uh, we're usually pretty fun. We have, a, we have a great time. And if you guys really like it, you guys can head over to patreon.com slash side scrollers. And uh, support us over. Think this was stayed, unorganized. Yeah. I was going to say, I really didn't mean I think to he stayed just, just because just so like it would have looked laughing, worse if I, he I, left. I, but his self awareness right. isn't all that uh, great, so I don't know. Hello, Keem Star. How are you? Nice to meet you. But he did. Nice to meet you. You guys have absolutely crushed this. I think you've done more than a fair job uh with phil here two big bills i'm glad you like got the reference i'm glad someone appreciated is, that joke I, my uh, old roommate used to say it all the time uh, dollar so now it's, it's forever and part the of the wall called podcast i just really wanted to get on to say my piece because oh yeah okay he's just the, dishonest the he, yes and I, I think you guys experienced this right i got he had it an opportunity it was to clear his name so easily and he just put it off and made excuse, made excuse, made Teamster excuse. Teamster was watching the stream to before any of this. With hookers and some other lies. He was tweeting about it the entire time. Has been yeah, he was probably right? sitting but at that desk. No, he, he wasn't. He wasn't. I'm not going to pretend he was like so that. So quick. He probably had it on his phone. In front of the microphone, on his phone, and, watching it. I told him, it, it's just making you more sus. Uh, like that. Oh, yeah, Keemstar is, is a law cow, in my, in like, my you know, opinion. Oh, 100%. He's a like, different I'm breed of cow, lies. though. Let's prove he it. He is. You know? Because he milks the other cows. He's like the alpha law cow. Phil has rejoined us. Phil said he didn't want to be on the show if you were on it. Um, so I'll tell you, can we invite you back on after after we're done with Phil? Sure. Uh, sure. Absolutely. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay. We're, we're going to bring Phil back on. We don't want to make things weird. So I uh, appreciate you understanding, man. And uh, you have the link. I'll DM you when, when we're ready. Okay, buddy? Sounds good. Thank you, King. Appreciate it, man. All right. Uh, boof. All right. Phil, welcome back, man. Sorry, we had a second. We wanted to, he had reached out and he wanted oh, to share his side of it. So. So I we saw him. We I saw you, him. Yeah, I so, saw him. Um, so let's continue. Everything okay? <laughs> just, I don't know. Yeah, no. Salty bitch. I have no idea what just happened. My whole internet. I just got DDoS. And I don't know if it was my ISP or if I've just been DDoS. I would not put it past them to DDoS me at this point. Um, you know, I'm wondering how never, he didn't change, notice the changes in his. Um, but if it his Wi-Fi again, networks and shit. Wi-Fi network names. I hope that's not like yeah. the names alone, because every time you log, well, you'd have to look at it. But so, yeah, yeah. So, well, because he doesn't leave his house, so like it's always auto connected. He would here, never. Um, and did I miss anything? Things... Yeah. Did I miss well, anything? Yeah. There's there's a few things that I feel like we kind of. Keemstar is shorter than Atlas. Like we that's to, nuts. We, need, we do need to kind of address. Yeah, Keemstar is. Shut up. Shut up. Most people are shorter than me. And, uh, Bastard. But we didn't really get an answer. Yeah, right? Keemstar is very and short. Th this kind of uh, Dola with the five together, Canadian, yeah, not a real currency. Online, uh, where it is, Filbert went on another fourteen hundred dollar WWE Champions bench trying to get Stone Cold card. So big ups, that's I guess. Not necessarily true. The, you, you, mm -hmm. can, you can. God, that'll put You can what twelve hundred bucks? Let me to tell you because from a tax. Or sorry, twelve thousand dollars this year. Take the square footage of your office. Yeah, he's up there. You can. That could be deductible. Right, and you can use that as a business expense. Uh, you can take the no Atlas's do height things, does not but, start with a five. Five, five. It starts with a really six. Not, not something that can be a, a business expense. It's like five twelve. So with, yeah, with I didn't all think that was legal. I don't think that's legal. Right, it's not. It, it, it's not the way it goes. Um, but with all that said, I feel like there's with with all everything lined up. Right. Nugs is xing my height. Like, are you spending Nugs? that money on food? the nice bud? Like, what are you spending that money on? On because you can pay for you know meals out and things like that as, as long as you technically talk about business um you know and do, i've done that hundreds of times where you go out you go out to a meal and you say well we're gonna have a business meeting and it's just you and your wife talking about whatever right um it's you know it's just one of those things but walk me through once again like mm -hmm. what what do what are your month-to-month -month business expenses what are you paying for as a streamer who works 12 hours a day kind of walk me through this 
Uh, well, again, I could tell you what I'm doing now. I mean, we're talking, what people are referencing is something from like 2019, I think, right? Is that a tax return for my bank? Well, uh, uh, but, but I want to know about today. I want to know about today. Like, yeah, what do you spend today? That you have Bring the paper out. Basis. What, what do those look like? Yeah, your, it's time. Expenses? You know what? How about this? I've got the paper. Sure, do your thing. Yeah. There's writing on right, this go, paper. Like, what he's, this, this look at Adam's tried. face. Let's see what happens. I, so. I'm <laughs> yes. I do something that just no one else does. Hey, good morning, And I write on it. To track things. No one okay, else now, does this, right? Now, hold on, Phil. Before I, before you show anything, I want to Oh, I'm not sure. going to show. I'm going to okay. read some things. No, I'm not okay. going to show anything. I'm gonna oh, read my God. Like to do. And that's even it's cringier, because if he just showed the paper, you can see it for yourself, and now you have to believe he's reading it asking, for right? what yeah, it is. You couldn't even, like, put, uh -oh. like, fake exactly words on it and just flash it at the screen. Um, Here we go. I'm going to go through. This, I'm not exactly line for line, this is what I'm paying this month. And this is all, where all my money goes, plus a few other things, okay? And this is literally all of it. Great. Um, <laughs> I have a subscription to Hulu. It's $10 a month. <laughs> and, and he starts with shit that doesn't matter, too. He knew this bit was not going to go. Um, I have my internet. I have two internet lines that I pay for. They're very expensive because they're unlimited internet. It's, you know, it's not. And he still ton of money. pays for um, two internet hourly lines hourly for, for no, no hourly, reason. Oh, I, I thought you said that. Okay, you go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. Playing. I meant to say data rates, not hourly. My Got bad. It. Data rates. You know. I don't know a single uh, other person in the uh, goddamn I, I, world I who do doesn't do own an live, actual like, business that has more uh, than one internet like line. So it's the dues, monthly dues. Fuck, my um, business runs off one. I got, let's see here. I mean, Game Pass. But, but you're, you're reading off personal expenses, and that's no one's business. Right. I'm reading it's, off everything. It, I don't care. Yeah, I'm no, they want to know about $5,000 of business expenses, jackass. Come on. Right no, I, I don't, this I don't is active care. Deception. I like the I don't like, care bit because this? Uh, like, how, how is this the case? I thought he was supposed so to you're, you're be now protecting them his family, Drew. Shit. When you're, you were very, uh, seemingly very nervous about giving anyone any more yeah, information that isn't public. You know what I mean? I, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to, before you continue, it just mm -hmm. seems like this is counterintuitive for what, where you have uh, said your, your stance is. On like revealing public information, so like. Well, I'm not going to tell you any any account name. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I understand. Yeah, you know I get I'm that. Saying? But still, it's still personal stuff that it's like, all right, well. Uh, and completely what, unimportant. That's not what the subject was about. Right. It was about the business expenses. Right. These aren't these aren't business expenses that yeah, you're. Yeah, this is active deception. He's some he's trying to weasel and and worm like, his way out. Like I was just gonna say, Game Pass. That's. But what's the point? Is is kind of where I'm leaning. Like, what is the reason for giving us your personal expenses? Because people want to know where my money goes. Uh, you're asking your, me your business. What? Your the business. We already saw the uh, that's the big leaks, bro. We know. That's what I've seen that on the internet. That's what I've seen that people are upset. There's the the business expenses, the five thousand, and then like I don't know where this like half a million thing. Yeah, exactly. Next, he's trying to pigmentize them, but it's not working. It's very really, clearly not yeah, working. I don't know. I, don't, I, I heard. <laughs> I, I've seen, I love I that Adam stays on topic and doesn't let him weasel. I do, and you know, I couldn't dedicate too much to learning about you, so. Uh, I figured I'd come and just hear. And I, from and you, I love you know, Adam like, telling him, like, I couldn't uh, take the time to learn seen, about you. I'm busy. You're that, a nobody. What kind of baller, you ask me. This is like, no one gives a fuck about you, bro. Transaction I, do. I knew you were coming on the show. I don't care. <laughs> I think it gets close to that. I think it's, I, I don't know how. Ask me if I give a shit. You know, in that report. Bring up the uh, DSP will remember that thing. You know, I'm not a bankruptcy attorney. I'm not my CPA. I know it's done right because I went through it with. I know it's done right, even though I don't know so that, anything about that, it. That, that, mm -hmm. uh, and I owe back taxes, and I number, owe like, how much an exorbitant amount of money. Oh, I, he knows nothing about what he owes in taxes, I mean, I, you, which is insane you know, to me. Right? I mean, if that's what I don't know the total number of. Seems like a pretty big moment in your life that you would you would know. I know I didn't. I never. You know, it's not a milestone. Oh man, I'm so happy. I yeah, big nothing. moments don't have to I'm be good moments, it's a, Phil. It's a good milestone. No, but... it's a horrible milestone. Something I want to move past and forget and get. All right, it sounds good. So past, let's move past. Know, maybe that's what that number is. But again, I don't know. I don't. I can't go line item by line item. I don't know. Uh, it's from years and years ago. And uh oh. Uh oh, guys, you still there? Yeah. Okay, you're, you're froze again. Jeez. You're good. You're good. You're, you're good. You're good. Yeah, okay. Well, they call um, me Mr. Freeze, so. Okay. What? But yeah, the like, fuck? I can't, I, you know, I don't have uh, He that. said that at the beginning, I, I too. I don't know. I'm assuming that that uh, must be some sort of roller style meme I, I'm unaware I of. I don't care. Uh, again, 
Either that's a meme or a nickname he's trying to get to stick. You know, like that kid that walked around in middle school that was like, they call me this okay. and try to get They call me to Jet. Like, no, they don't. Bro. <laughs> no one does that. Call, your name is Anthony. This, but, you know, again, <laughs> I, I get, Phil, Tony, get the fuck out of here. I got shit to do. Let me go put the paper away. I'm going to tell you. Okay, hold on. Yeah, go put that. <laughs> I got writing on this paper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't like, I don't want to talk about shit, but I actually yeah, have to. Oh, so, no, 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 you don't. You, you said, you cry, said like 30 voice. minutes ago, you don't give a shit, and it doesn't make a difference. So, yeah, pick, pick a point, pick, pick a place to stand. Yeah, I know. I don't either, either you don't give a shit, and you're gonna move on and let the haters hate you no matter what because there's nothing to do, or try to appease them. It's not, it, you can't be somewhere in the middle where you're I like, I might appease you. I might Adam, actually do this. I'll think about it. You know what Adam, I'm saying? I'm like, Adam, Adam, Adam one or the other. I can't stop. So you're you were Adam, stop. Don't believe me. <laughs> this is harassment. <laughs> this is harassment, Adam. That's what this is. And I appreciate you guys so much for giving me this time. I really do. I'm sorry I'm getting emotional now. thinking, you know. Oh my but, God. He whipped out the crocodile I'm tears. I forgot you know, about this. I'm going to tell you. A few things that no one knows without specifics, okay? So it doesn't really put anyone under the bus or anything. What the I've fuck? No one cares. Oh, it really went off. Here. I've been involved with medical issues, my own health, and my wife. I forgot so many right? sections of this interview. I, my audience. Me too, I don't dude. want my audience to come to my stream and be like, I want to give you a tip because I found out that you have maybe a medical issue or something going on. That's none of it. No one's business. I don't, I, you know, I've said, yeah, I don't my, want people to tip explain. because my wife my is audience, diabetic, bro, come please. To a DSP gaming or a DSP react stream, please come support me because you like me and my content. Okay. Don't come support me because you want to stick it to the haters. I don't want that pity party. Keep come that, and support you know, me because you don't want to be so handed a spoon. Come and just support me for my content. Yo, I, Cody H. Cody oh, H. Shit. Oh my God, bro. Oh, you did not have to do that. You know, and it's, I mean, again, I'm not going to tell you, you know, I have some medical conditions. Okay. Then, 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 this is your forum. Have like this is your forum, though, right? Guys. If if there's some sort of like medical condition that is that is causing you to live, you know, paycheck to paycheck or or stream to stream, it, you, you pride yourself on transparency. I can't think of anything more transparent than just than just telling your audience you have you know uh, something going on. And like you know what, people are people, and they'll understand that. Like. If, if God willing, I came out and, and, you know, I had cancer or, or something bad happened, I was not that it's definitely not that. Okay. I don't want to make right. anyone think that but, I'm trying to, again, this is not a pity party here. Right. It's not that it's that I have so, a, a few chronic lingering things that come back over the years. And then, you know, yes, there's a medical cost. There's deductible. Of course, you know, you have to pay to a certain amount but in a nutshell. I the fuck involved... is deductible is like 20 grand. Sounds like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. And essentially what's happened over the years is I can't really pay them because of the financial situations that I've been in. Okay. And did you pay any of those? Did you pay any of those things as business expenses? I, I, again, I believe, and I don't know if this is true or not. Isn't it true that certain, like your health insurance premiums and stuff is covered or is, is, is a tax deductible? I don't know. Again, How do you not know, bro? I do. He says, your, warrior, tax, warrior. your tax guy was asking you this. He said, <laughs> I just got an email the other day that said we need your breakdown of what you pay for premiums if you had any medical expenses if you had any of this we need all this to file your taxes properly it doesn't so, sound right dude i don't know it again, doesn't again, no listen please and here's the problem i don't want people going over my tax guy you know what i mean he knows what he's doing he, he, the he, sp really should have stayed away from all this tax <laughs> talk <laughs> like this, this is what? not a good look tax issues are not i have a feeling phil is the tax I guy now <laughs> You might be getting good stories mixed. I used to have an old guy who fucked everything up. This person I have now has fixed everything. Okay. okay. I'm not throwing anyone under the bus. This guy is great. And I want people to understand that. Okay. But basically. This guy's great, dude. Okay, He's made things, me. Oh, have, oh, wait. That was the other tax guy. Okay. But you still owe. Some things can get erased. Some things can't. All right. By a bankruptcy or whatever. And I'm in a situation where I have ongoing costs that I'm on payment. That's why it's going to take four days off a of stream to not, fucking. Oh, or four card. streams off to cut credit file credit taxes. Credit bankruptcy no my I, I have payment plans so for example i incur a legal cost of several thousand dollars okay phil you don't have to pay that today you can pay it slowly over time here's your payment plan <laughs> this, this is the tax guy right? have a gun have to his head, head or something phil, we understand. <laughs> as long as you're in repayment status you're paying no 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 don't pay. cover my tax guy uh i mean uh he's so a really cool guy and i like him uh ongoing things behind the scenes that absolutely 
No one needs to know hey, about Hey, pee wop with the five. That I'm going through and tax stuff. And where does your money Honestly, go? Honestly, the tax <laughs> evasion in itself is like good advertisement for this tax guy. Put his name out and there. Everyone wants to hire him. Blew all your money on mobile games. I, my wife and, my, and me are feeling so What my wife what is downstairs P crying? And, uh, P Wop said, so we're not going to go line item or line by line item while holding the piece of paper of item. I get it. Item. We, we understand. Itemized you know, monthly therapy, cost. I don't know how it's calculated. Right? We, we've talked about all these things. Sorry, I struggled through that. But, you, but yeah, you we literally have, have the piece of paper uh, and then we're like, really I don't know. Directly. Okay. Sound good? On Sounds a month good to me. Month Sounds good to me. How much? And by the way, the IRS agrees. WWE mobile games and or any other mobile games on a month to month basis. Are, are you spending on iTunes or any sort of mobile device? Okay. Just a, just a straight dollar amount. This, and this, whatever this it is, month, it's okay. Okay. Do you want? Okay. This month, I have spent probably ten to fifteen dollars. Hey, That's penitent. Nice to see you. And by the way, it wasn't on WWE Champions. Okay. What was it on? It wasn't was on two... WWE Champions. You no, know, because you know, if I tell you, they're just gonna blow it up. They're gonna. No, okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If, 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 they if, are, dude, they've just they've just <laughs> given up, dude. Yeah. Okay. They're just, <laughs> they're just like what? Yeah, it was the Street Fighter okay. one. Is it good? What, what, yeah, we hit 200 likes. Right. A second <laughs> round of bubbles. Make sure your desk is cleared. I'm not liable. You know the drill. It's like RP tap RPG. Crap. Similar, yes, yes. Okay, and I, I, you I know, have... that was just for experimental purposes. I'm not playing it a lot. I'm playing every once in a while. You know, I spend a few, I'll spend a dollar and get a bunch of stuff. You know, so I spend a couple dollars here or there. And of course, that is not I how mobile games work at all. No, nope. you know, I will. I'm gonna get destroyed for it. Also, so, you have a spending addiction me, when it comes to mobile games. We're really supposed to sit here and, and you again, think that you only spend a couple dollars at a time. I got, I got a few things that I that I want to make sure we hit on before we go, um, before we you know, can move forward. So, um, number one. Um, Keem is here, and Keem has said that he will be respectful, and and uh, he would love to talk. I think this is a tremendous opportunity to bury whatever hatchet or whatever it is you guys have, and and mend defense. I think this is a bury, tremendous bury a hatchet Are you with the that? guy. If you want him on the show, to these guys talk, clearly did no research. <laughs> yeah, you established that. That's fine. That's not yeah. what he's saying. Yeah, I'm not trying to broker a business deal or anything like that. But but if are you open to talking with him now? I'm curious what he even wants to talk about. I'm not being on his stuff. I'm, I refuse. Oh, shit. Well, Keem in the rafters. Okay, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So you're okay with him coming on to talk? As long as he's not going to sit here and insult me or, to, you know, you guys have already asked me. That's the stream I wanted. I wanted Keem to just no, come in and start wailing on the Just Yo, if, so if like, Keem just, case. like, came we're into the, frame the, in DSP's he, he, room he, he, and he started throwing agrees. fake wrestling <laughs> punches. So, we're going to bring him on. And, and like I said, I think this is not a opportunity for friction. There's an opportunity to build a bridge. So let's do because this. Because that's so Welcome stupid. But instead, uh, we get Thank you, started. gentlemen. I appreciate it. And Phil, thank you uh, for letting me on to talk to you directly. Um, I do mean what, I'm, what I said here in the chat, that I will be respectful. Uh, I'm not here to interrogate you. But I, I desperately want to represent my point of view in this situation between me and you. Um, because what I've heard listening to this podcast or this interview or whatever you want to call it is you describing problems that you have in your life um paying bills being harassed by you know your detractors or whatever and i actively went out of my way 13. to solve major problems in your life and me and you are not friends in fact before Yo, I Petchy, if that's true, if that's Keem's account to dunk on DSP, I honestly like that's a that's a ball on your move. podcast. <laughs> like, I don't out of nowhere um, reacting to me retiring when I turned 40. And you said, well, that guy's evil and, you know, all these horrible stuff and blood money, whatever you said about <laughs> me, because you don't you don't like my show drama. And many of your detractors uh, picked up on right away that the reason why you don't like my show and you don't support me is because we covered the the fapping uh, situation in 2016. Oh, that, that's that is completely the untrue. I, oh, oh, dude, you covered it. I think you covered it fairly. And he has many you clips of him really being well, pissed about that until scenes. he tried to sell out the team. Yo, fairly. I don't think you were unfair at all. That's not the case. Thank you, because I don't think I was unfair either. You know, no, not at all. Who told you that? That's bullshit. That's you want. That's the distraction. All the, that's all the clips. I didn't every, all, every, every, every clip. That conclusion. Why you had such a everybody painful, sent me those uh, clips. You know, response to me retiring was because of that. Because no. we have no previous history, Phil. Correct. I, I've 
I've never talked to you. The only interaction you don't have to with DSP. If you just, just make content for your audience, DSP will find a way to hate just, you, you know, because you're successful. Of why I That's to it. Because there's clearly yeah. a, a he's always counting so everyone else's online. bag. Right. You start clearly making so, a dime, you know, he uh, hates your guts because that dime should have been his. This. All right. Yes, so, IV, exactly. We, Stop better, watching Keemstar. So, to move on Stop from Stop, you know, watching uh, Keemstar. And it's on Phil's stream. He's reacting to my retirement and he's saying I'm this horrible, evil person that do do doesn't support me. And I responded, have I been drinking? Is that, is that uh, Kool Aid. I'm sipping that like that that I'm blue sure uh, blue Kool Aid. What he's talking about yet. Okay, continue. I, I don't I don't know exactly what was said. I'm going off of memory, but it was something along those lines. The clip gets sent to me by multiple people. Yeah. Um, so I respond to Phil because the only thing I know about Phil is him being a wall cow, right? Him on stream begging for money to pay rent and stuff <laughs> like that. I'm not a wall cow. I was really expecting <laughs> it. <laughs> pretty clever. Um, in gaming terms, I'm surprised terms, he took that lion down. That, like we are roughly the same age. We've been doing YouTube for like 15 yeah, years. Yeah, see, Keemstar so messed up here. He time. said that he was on level and one. I'm retiring now, and, uh, and I was I don't trying to communicate to in gaming again. terms. So what he I really needed was a sandwich analogy. Of is what he needed. He would have got through that way. You're still on level one. You're still right? you're still at the hot dog stand, DSP. I'm in the five star, like a video game, and you're getting nowhere. You're still at the point where you're bagging people on stream to, to pay your bills like and whatnot. if you and ran a sandwich a shop, response, or if you went right? to a sandwich shop, I right? and you ordered off the menu and you got, and you got the basic meatball Twitter sub you know when there was a plethora was of ingredients that you could have added to your meatball and, sub you and know, you're making no improvements to the food you're just eating the same food over and over again even though there's multiple options for you to improve your sandwich smack right with you know internet twitter battles you know a hundred percent a hundred percent but it's also advice right my point in those Twitter yeah. videos was that Phil needs to do something different. <sighs> you know, imagine you're playing a video game, you're on level one and you try the same technique over and over again. All right. And you're dying and you have to restart the level over like Rare you're never going to be a drop and in that's the chat. The situation Phil has been in. Who? Right. Where? Uh, uh, Phil, what are your he, thoughts? He was on the that? one that you failed like the, uh, the, the that journalist that failed like the cup and tutorial. Oh, you know, way to uh, kind of yeah. make you look a fool. Uh, well, first of all, you know, the best way to give life advice is to, you know, say DSP and Takahashi is why journalist difficulty exists. Correct. You know, right. uh, well, fair point, but slap, slap <laughs> let, him, let him finish game on Twitter. Um, is there some truth to it? Yes. OK, but here's the thing. If you have a criticism of me, then criticize me fairly in a way where, you know, maybe I have a chance to have a conversation. Instead, you just yes, we can have a conversation whenever you want, brother. About me on there, I'm a tiny little guy. Oh, you're always invited on the stream. Who cares? It a couple hundred people. DSP can come on the Atlas stream whenever he wants. Open invitation style. Open invitation. You as long as he's okay with me speed running Halo Reach on normal this time. The stuff that you say and do has repercussions for everyone around you. You you seem to be someone that. You don't, don't you you're not don't you remember he you he hates that when people like, do other things while they're doing an interview i know that's what i'm gonna do it level one Yo, you have to have me on as the co-host do you think i need that i already have enough shit in my life going on so much stuff i don't need mr big time punching down on me which is what you do that's why people don't like you man i didn't like, see you not understand that I, I didn't see it that way i saw a clip of you talking all kinds shit. of shit on me yeah like unprovoked yep. and i just responded talking shit back that's what he do also giving you advice that's the way i saw it, it. dsp's info though to throw place, sly um, punches like tries to throw and these like oh i didn't do that I punch saw and the then play victim the entire yeah, yeah, time yeah. he gets Phil retaliated he's on. gonna sucker punch you and then get on the floor and cry telling you he's an alcoholic and didn't do anything entertainment i really really <laughs> put his put his hands behind his back you have haters you have distractors so do i the only bad part for dsp is his muscles are so atrophied that the sucker punch he's got pillow hands like and buggy combined i have way more haters but i'm still out crystals in his hands have new business opportunities and i'm still making money i was supposed to retire a year ago and i'm still doing new stuff and and being successful in this platform i have because 788 I viewers please business. stop punching very, down on the guy uh no but case, you know they <laughs> are viewers they are your customers the detractors are your customers they were right the haters are they your were right customers. and they're more loyal than the people that give you money that donate on your stream the people yeah, that, that hate you are way that you're more talking loyal. about that's mm -hmm. like you can't pay for that shit I mean, look at how many people are here. 2,500 people are here. 
I, it's just, it, it, it's, you have a legitimate fan base. Those haters, those people that don't like you are your fans. And I want it to I solve would not say fans, but they are your audience but nonetheless. But that is all true. You guys, your lol cows, right? You have more haters than like supporters, right? But he really, doesn't believe all that fans. at all. He's got three they different all, audiences. They're all dude. obsessed with you and watching your content nonstop. The solution really is to get the three of you to do a podcast, all right? Those haters are going Yo, to watch. the black and chat, big ups. Love Shout out, up, these fuck. three guys have come together to make content. Now, between the yeah, three of you, you guys don't have the doubt is my superpower. Like really You're goddamn this right it is. This thing actually Thanks for happen, the two, brother. I do, all right? And you guys don't even understand how valuable, valuable you are as individuals, as entertainers, because you look at the numbers and you're looking at everything and like, oh, well, I've fallen off. And, you know, that's the mindset that you have. Right. But I have a different mindset for each and one of you that you guys are amazing entertainers, but just not in the way that you want to be right. You're lol cows, but there's so much value there by putting the three of you together and you know, each one of you would own 20. Love that Kim just starts podcast, pitching right? the show right, right here. So I, I do want to have it now, even though I know you're not going to be on here. To, yeah, came on here to not talk business with DSP wives up pitching the show and trying to do business. Selling podcasts. Uh, dude, he's prop. Um, he's uh, advertising it for sure. Other companies, multi-million dollar deals. He, right? No, but he's got a point though. Like, like there, I would do the business there's definitely an things. entertainment and value to be capitalized on if DSP were smart, whether or not the local really podcast or was like, oh, the way to do it. This is gonna work still up in the air, guys. right? So I was just going to take right. my own money. And, Regardless, and I mean, it's, DSP it's could be an entertainer. He could focus on being entertaining in a way that he can. I was serious and I believe in this and that's the that's idea. the furthest law cows I've gotten to I being able to Boogie capitalize first, on their I infamy get on the because Boogie, otherwise right? they keep doing the he same thing the over idea. and over he because they don't have the self awareness required to capitalize on that. Down. And now it's time They're to just talk too to self serious. Boogie, the yeah. way I understand it, called like, you, to contact you, and told you uh, what was going on. Rich right? tried to do it, but he just made himself out to be a clown. He's like, he kind of borders and, the and line of being a lol cow in, in right? an entertaining way uh, because yes, their entertainment right. comes from that lack of self awareness. Because we never talked, but he said that there was this idea for a podcast, correct? So you so, didn't know. <laughs> so, so Boogie told you or didn't tell you? Boogie told me that he and, and Wings had spoken to Keen, hey, good morning, Kay. and that Keen wanted to do a podcast with all three of us. No money or anything was discussed. He just say, you know, he, he wants to do a podcast with all three of us. I didn't know that's what Keen was trying to reach out to me. I, I said, maybe that's what it was. I didn't know, because I never spoke with him. Phil, hearing this. You're right, this, gotta and, fuck. And more Minecraft the, uh, will save the business. Later. I don't even know if it's- We gotta later. do more late night chill uh, Minecraft fishing right streams. Now, given what no, no, Papa Vera, no. ALT will go nuts, dude. ALT would be doing a restream every night if we were playing Minecraft fishing. I have I have absolutely no problem doing anything. The divorce line would be real in the in the uh, ALT household. A little bit more later would he be interested in maybe doing a podcast with me or me behind his show or whatever? You know, whatever it may be. These guys, you know, I covered. I did a react about wings. Uh, cry baby year, voice back on deck. Um, you know that me. Oh, I just realized deck, Keem is in siege mode right now. Is not out of the question. <laughs> it's but siege sure up. Keem star on his business principles. Correct. Okay. You know so, they should have they should have cast so even if Keem star as Wolverine. You, to remove yourself from quote unquote level one and and potentially have an opportunity further down the line to potentially sell the podcast to something and, and put 50 grand in your pocket initially. Ever considered a that's, tractor that's a stream Minecraft server? No uh, I have. Oh, I don't know yeah, shit about running a Minecraft a server. You know what I'm saying? It's actually been done before. I was in one way back. I can't remember if it was like Ann Lee that ran it or LSB. I think Ann still has one or had one recently even. There was one that was pretty popular in LSB server for a while. They only stick around for like a year and then they sure. die off. You can say whatever you want about me. Sure. But um, I just want to represent I don't play enough video games. So like, I'm not done. I probably would okay. never be in there. So, Oh, I mean, they never were either. It was just a community making like monuments to DSV. Actually, damn, I'm impressed with what you've done. Damn, I'm impressed. You know I'm let me suck I your dick real quick. I was just about to say, Keemstar, let me let me give you the slop real quick. I hate you. You're a uh, contracted killer, but uh, let me suck your cock. That's crazy. That's so admirable. 
And if anything, one of the things you absolutely need to be praised for is your determination. You were shut down time after time, false copyright strikes, real copyright, real sh takedown requests, all kinds of shit. People wanted you off the net, right? You're still there. You never gave up. Damn, sounds, that's a success story. Bill, it sounds familiar, dude. Yeah. I guess. It's, it, it literally sounds like you. <laughs> I agree, Shybot. Let me shake your hand. We just, like we just heard your story, and you, it, it is. Craig's absolutely right. Okay. Now, at the end of the day. <laughs> okay. Right, well, when you look at this is why it's not. What I have done. I'll probably be forgotten. I'll just be a fart in the wind, right? I got 100,000. God, I hate how he uses fart. that all the time. Yeah, fart I hate the fart in the wind. There's so many other things he could have said instead. Go away eventually, just like everything else. Who cares? But Keem, you know, has a big body of work. He's known. But when you look at wh how Keem. DSP's back start, stopped hurting the second you saw Keem's dick. He was like, let me start <laughs> sucking real quick. I mean, you have to back freshly that. decompressed. Disc <laughs> freshly unherniated. All right, let me suck your dick. Your we moving different. <laughs> we shit, sucking so different. Say, this is fucking rich coming We're you sucking right lucrative. Yeah, you're, get, you're getting your Oh, I love this. From the detractors. I can't wait to Keem suck your has, dick in these ugly ass Rick Owens shoes. When this whole episode, you have been talking about how much shit your detractors have made other people think about you. Like, do you hear get yourself right get now? Get him, Adam. Indeed, I do. That's the nature okay. of the beast. That's how YouTube works, man. That's how all this works, right? Fuck, man. You're right. You're sucking lucrative. So, from what I, <laughs> you know, I, I call them a misery broker. All right, Keem, on a, on a day when you have a good day, it's because someone else is having a bad day. Nah, I call them misery merchants, Someone else bro. has drama going on. Someone else has horrible things happening in their life. It's your good day, man. It's time for you to blow that up. And then you interject like a like a shoe shoe wedge. Get into that life. Get into that drama, right? You got to be a part of it. And now, get oh, them this on is your rich show so that you. you can pull this out to be not just a one-time thing, but now it's going to be pulled on for weeks and weeks. If there's something Phil, do you know the internet profit, at all? Do you know oh, the know. internet at all? Yes, I do. Do, do you see look... who's, who's successful on the internet? I mean, yeah. he even looks tapped yeah, out. He's like, oh, I man, I shouldn't have to be in here. If I talk shit on people, yeah, like, he's... I don't. And you know, like I do what I can because hey, that's just where I, I'm at. You know, so it's like you can't you can't be upset when people use the algorithms for their advantage, which he seems to have figured out. You're right. And at one point I was. At one point I was a really stupid, jealous guy. Man, I feel like I'm putting out content that's not harmful to anyone. I'm just doing gameplay. I'm dicking around on the internet here with my viewers, and this guy gets over and he's doing this drama content. People are saying it's hurtful. It, sh and it, it always shows right. how uh, time, invested into wrestling have, he was when he says things like, this guy got over. And oh, they yeah. buried him. Talking about this on my streams recently. Getting over I is a, a staple right. of the DSPism. Anymore, by the way. So yeah. It's not like an excuse, but I grew up with certain morals, all right, and values. I'm surprised he doesn't call shit talking a shoe, in all honesty. And make, and get, or, or just get over in life is by stepping on other people. I'm not going to step on those people. I would rather be. The I don't guy think that's what I don't think that's what Keem's doing when he's yeah when he's putting butts in seats is you is know, a I, favorite to you. Yeah, yeah, it <laughs> is. Shout out to him. I saw him in chat earlier. You know, and cutting and promos. Like, yep. Yeah. Uh, he he talks shit on anyone. Like he he freaking, you know, he monetized the haters better than anyone I know. Yeah, right? well, we're equal I'm opportunity haters off, around off here. here. <laughs> he's a fucking great guy and like has a good moral compass to me. I don't think talking shit about people. I got you, Mitchell Bay. We're on the same wavelength. Who you are right as, as your moral compass i mean you dropped you said moral compass it's like come on dude like can i ask phil a question me. yeah go ahead. absolutely uh, hey, phil listen all right if if me running drama alert is like who did dsb step on misery, right because it was rambo it was it, howard it was how panda it is, uh, um what was that team uh, you worked a YouTuber with? will get canceled and then i cover the story oh, uh, on my platform uh, or you know you had the fapping i want to say right? protect the, the pack that's platform, not that yeah that i'm protect, making money wait. respect no, the pack respect the pack that's what right? it was yeah, yeah. yeah. yes uh There's kind of cat in a way because he like tried to um the pimp her out still is trying to pimp her out what do you mean by that they're making money they're making money on a newsworthy story the FGC, pr I mean, pretty much. Factual reporting of things that are happening, like a news network. Like, what do you mean? Of oh, course, hey, I have I'm one of those. My opinion on on these stories as well, but there are YouTubers, right? They're they're commentators, and then there's commentators Whoa. that do like documentary style like stuff. Like me, that cover a commentator on the internet. You're He's saying that talking every, about both of us. Of them, uh, is accepting blood money because they're 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 voicing yes, their opinions. Yes, I'm a contracted killer. Well. <laughs> That's why I tell people that I'm a, uh, a I'm a waste management consultant. Where you've actually staged I'm a, uh, an extrapolated drama in situations. I'm an unbiased news guy. Explain that. 
Explain yeah, that. Yeah, tell me, tell me more. Sorry, Inc. Journalism is the worst year, kind of blood uh, money. June the King made this one. Uh, and I guess there was a situation good. The I'd rather you actually <laughs> murder somebody. Ack, ack, ack. Rest you in know, peace, T. Appeared, well, T's already front, dead. Honest mess. Guess, <laughs> on Team Star show covering this drama, I think it was allegations that he had been with underage girls or something like that. Okay. Come to find out the, later on, the whole, or at least part of it, was orchestrated between the two behind the scenes. Like, I guess he wanted to get back at someone, his ex or, or his current girlfriend, okay. and Keem participated in that, that I, setup situation. I, I no oh my God. About. That doesn't even sound legit whatsoever. I have no okay. idea what you're you talking about. You have the right about. to deny it. That's fine. But, you know what? It's out there. Just so you know, that's well, it's out there, man. But What's I just want to say, I just want to say, like, no, nah, Jerry, no union for me. Just uh, just the right? waste management that business. Covered a story you know? on my misery, Pants, right? I'm oh. a service oh. technician. I lean heavily into the service. Another YouTuber <laughs> doing exactly what Dromler does. It's a good point. Well, like, and, and on top of that, mm -hmm. just to kind of reiterate this, like, once again, Phil, your level one podcast is just his version of drama alert. It didn't happen. Even though you're saying there's a mountain of proof of yeah, piss poor imitation. The same thing is being said to you right now about mm -hmm. your WWE legends and everything like that, and you have the right to but deny it too. How can he not keep the name consistent? Online. Correct. That is a thing that comes up a lot. People flubbing the name of the mobile game he plays. Yeah, because he, 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 they always say Supercard instead of Champions. Yeah, and he's like, uh, it wasn't Supercard, stupid. Yeah, that's where he always gets them. That's where he thinks, like, uh, he's telling he got the truth. The w. Yeah. yeah. And all this because they're happened. conflating the two know, mobile games that he wailed out on viciously. Just curious. It's on the internet. A real yeah. WDSP. <laughs> yeah, you wailed twice at there. least. <laughs> DSP, but you on the show said half of the stuff's not even true. So right. I'm confused. Is the internet 100% trustworthy or not? Because when it's about me, it's all facts. Right. When it's about you, yep. it's all lies. I'm I'm confused. It's not all facts. And it's not all lies. It's it, it, It's always somewhere in between, right? We all know that. We're not, just, we're not born yesterday. When you watch that documentary, you got to kind of suspend your disbelief. Say, okay, believe it or don't, right? Make your own judgments. based. So on you chose you to believe, believe this one when it came to Akeem? Uh, in, in, in a couple of particular cases. I'm not saying that that one documentary is the only thing I've ever heard about Akeem. There's been lots of people who've... That's what you're referencing videos. a lot so far. So that's what I'm going on. Can we come to the conclusion that me and you both have a bad reputation? We're controversial figures, but one of us is wildly more successful <laughs> I'm not, subtle I flex say I'm successful at all yeah so I, no yeah, keen yeah. that's kind of sorry, that's kind of what you're not saying. even a yeah, subtle yeah, flex yeah, literally just flex on him what you were talking about dark side phil says the, i don't think i'm successful at all and then uh, goes on to say we'll start the podcast i i am successful so i run a successful stream how to help all three of them all right and then also creating a business opportunity for myself right you know it is all these things combined um and not only just helping TSP, Wings, and Boogie, and myself, because this is a brilliant idea, but it's also helping every single person that's in this chat right now. Man, I like his it's bar. It's also helping every single one of your haters, every single one of your guys' actual supporters. Everybody wants this content. This is a win. This is a golden opportunity. So knowing this and, and wanting to reach out to help you, I found you to be so incredibly difficult to work with. Boogie already contacted you and told you that this was about Yo, same vegan. Yo, yeah, same vegan after this stream. Me, fifty thousand. I have a, one. Then I have a bar, but it's nowhere near that nice. And your response is, I don't have well, a bar. I barely it. drink. Because I want to set up a call. Well, We're already you're talking. Always welcome over to mine, DMs dude. On Twitter, why can't we just jump on a call and talk right away? We're already communicating. You tell me to go email you. That's I. I that is so weird from my perspective. If I reach out to the biggest YouTuber on the platform, um, uh, Mr. Mr. Beast, Beast, and I hey. text him, hey, we got to get on the phone. I got to talk to you about something. I'm yeah, talk absolutely, V. It's on the list. And this is a wildly more. I've been trying to bait him into going camping. You, All right. <laughs> and that's the biggest YouTuber on the platform. This that sounds like, a, like I'm going to get murdered. Each other. We don't nah, nah, nah. Oh, email each other. Like we have managers to do that camping stuff. We have lawyers like to do that stuff. Bottles. I have a team of people that will get in an email. I don't get in an email ever. I'm never in a Gmail <laughs> ever. You know, <laughs> this is what are you talking about? It was so disrespectful to me 
when I'm just communicating you in Twitter DMs, we're talking back and forth, and you're telling me I have to email you in order to get on a call. I was so confused Funny thing by is, that. Keem isn't even the along. first one right, that said I, this. One Almost one everyone that's, that's ever tried to get DSP to do like a collab number. or uh, a get on a podcast or something has to talk be absolutely insufferable. And I call you during the scheduled time, sick and then going on stream. Or ghosting them, or demanding saying, money. Oh, like, yeah, he's he's, he's impossible to work with. Well, no one would ever want to work with him, and that's like one of the biggest. That's he calls himself a bit important. Man. My phone call, my opportunity. Like that's the biggest contributing not. factor to so business. It's networking. That? Do you think that's accurate? You have a, you have an opportunity to put five figures in your pocket, and and you mm -hmm. kind of give us your mindset there, because I, I it's, don't. It's all semantics agree. because. Who cares how you're talking or semantics. whatever? First of all, Craig knows how to contact me. He contacted me to be honest. It's all semantics. Who cares how someone contacts you? Says the guy who only responds to emails. It goes both ways, dumbass. You can't be like, oh, why do I have to DM you on Twitter instead of sending you an email? Why do I have to fucking email you instead of DMing you on Twitter? Look at this guy. You're so stupid. Once upon a time, buddy. Once upon a time. This has nothing to do with size. This has to do with just being reasonable. If someone has a business, they're all laughing and DS. He's like, no, this is serious. <laughs> but instead, you go to your giant audience on Twitter and you just scream, I want DSP to contact yeah, me. Verbally scream, dude. Lost his goddamn it's mind. It's disrespectful. It's unprofessional. So you you got you got triggered and were on the defensive immediately when you saw that. Immediately, yeah. You, you did not got him. see that he was actually reaching out to help. You know, no, it, it, even not though. Not at all. I didn't even know. People had to tell oh, me oh, my oh, chat so, was happening. So according to like what I've just heard, you were talking shit about him retiring and he jokingly responded and and kind of slapped you a light a light-hearted slap with a glove but said you know what i'm gonna hook you up anyway that's the vibe i'm getting and you were stuck on that w what year was this by the way just because i kind of have a so this was recent Last yeah year. roughly a year ago wow okay yeah i'm i've been insufferable forever <laughs> but this one was recent back. even I mean, it, it feels like phil wait, i'm wait, still wait. insufferable this time of almost like, a year ago to find this stream was almost a year ago Spot. This stream was exactly a and year ago. I don't mean about a year ago. Like year ago. <laughs> but but man, we tweaking, like ho, tweaking, ho. Stuck on level one, right? We and got and, DSP and, and his streaky jammies, ho. Like, I mean, shout out to Kim for like actually reaching out <laughs> after you were talking shit. Like, and that's not that's that's not something that happens. And if he was right. truly trying to help you out, like that's that's kind of surprising. I, I would well, if it, someone was talking shit about me and I had a, and I was as successful as Kim, I'd been like, fuck this person. I wouldn't even acknowledge them. Especially as you say, it was just some small time. I don't remember what wording you chose that you weren't even successful in your own mind. Mm -hmm. But him talking shit to me isn't a personal. <laughs> I, I right? Fort it's Worth raised. I was I was doing the shmoney dance. Video. I was and I was sitting in my lazy my boy hitting it. When, don't you worry. No no shmoney dance right emo. Right but when I go on the internet, internet, I am not. I'm a I'm a boomer about, style. I was doing the stanky like leg. People hate me. I'm thinking, <laughs> let me make a piece of content that people will enjoy watching, whether they like me or hate me or whatever. Let me make some. Oh, dude, Plop, he is paranoid as a motherfucker. He perceives internet, everything as a threat. Viewers, all right. Um, Phil, well, let's, hold let's, on. Hold on real quick. Phil, are you, are you OK with this? You know, I, I don't what? want. Yeah, just with this conversation, you know, I mean, you came on to do an interview with me and Craig. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. it, it was a tough interview. You know, we've we dove deep into through throughout, you know, what was going on and you weren't prepared for I didn't know that Keemstar would be on the show today. I didn't know either. It, yeah, this, I. Is, yeah. this is all just just kind of happened naturally. This is the and Internet. I, as as the guest on my show, I just wanted to ask you if you're cool. Like, I, I would love for this to continue. I just want to make sure you're cool with it. I, I, I'm okay with this, but I mean, obviously, right, cool. we want to get back to the other topics too, right? I mean, we kind yeah, of yeah. Obviously, we want to talk about me again, right? We want to just sure, kick and start. I, I we want to talk about me. Something good is happening here, right? We're we're working Agreed. through things. We're understanding what what each perspective is. I understand your stuttering, Craig, Bill. playing the I therapist on me. Perspective. Um, so I, I got a question for you, Keem. Is this you don't mind if I call you Keem, do you? No, that's fine. Okay, Everyone calls me Sir Keem. Right. Do you think? Right. <laughs> yeah. Is the offer still there? You call me Lord Keem. I mean, if, if Phil is open to it, I would say potentially, but not really. Right. You know, I, I took Wings of Redemption, but I'm Dark Fortune 988, who were willing to work with me and understood this business. He's very unhappy. He's and having a big gnosis denial going, going on. Them, and I'm going to break the Internet with this. All right. Lord this Gnome. <laughs> awesome opportunity for Wings. An awesome opportunity. Yeah, for Master Betty. Betty. His um, name is Daniel. This is going to be broadcasted on Daniel May 13th. Cream. And. 
I haven't even announced this anywhere yet. This is an exclusive. Yeah, you can it's call me Sensei. Sensei Keem. Oh, shit. It's fine. <laughs> it's going to be free to watch. And can I, can I ask a question? My wife yeah, knows me as Master yeah, Keem. Yes, you can call me course. that. I oh, I love this. I love this. Keem, I love this. I, you know, again, I understand your reasoning here. You're saying I'm just making content people want to see, right? Um, is there any line that you won't cross? Totally misunderstood. Content that you think people want to see that you can make profit on. Do you have any kind of restraint? Do you ever feel that morally something is too far? Because I uh, yes, begging. Ak ak ak. Hear this about this boxing match coming up. Okay, now let me give you my perspective. <laughs> that's okay? Okay. that's a line everyone yeah, should have. Boogie, two desperate guys. We all know they're down on their luck. They could definitely use some money, right? We all know this. Yes. They publicly project that to the internet. They're both technically, from what we can see and understand. They're kind of unhealthy. Maybe not. Who knows? But you only know what they project, correct? Do you not feel correct. that having two people like this, overweight, possibly unhealthy, doing a boxing match against each other so that everyone on the internet can laugh at them could possibly, just possibly, be either putting them in harm's way or maybe be considered morally reprehensible? Homie, they sign waivers. That could happen during this match. Do you not think they're what? adults that they can make their own decisions, though, Phil? That's I'm fine. Just I mean, anyone can make their own decisions. <laughs> they're also I'm not going to do any uh, goddamn damage. damage. Let me respond. All right. Yeah, they've, they've got muscles boxer, like you, DSV. Whether they're healthy or not is putting themselves in harm's way for entertainment. Mm -hmm. They're, they're all warriors, and they all deserve respect. Wings of Redemption and Boogie haven't gotten any respect. In fact, it's disrespect. Very similar yeah, to you. Yeah, V is right? right. It was and really badly placed this, for Drew signaling. They will get respect. Yeah. Whether people laugh or not, they are going to get He was trying to get the Goral community on his side. You mentioned that they're unhealthy. Of course they're unhealthy. But I can tell you right now, behind the scenes, and nobody knows this, both of them have actively already lost weight training for this DJ fight. McFlinty this wings is, is undefeated and undisputed and hell yeah dude just and like I Uncle Chael undefeated undisputed ability to seriously absolute champion do you no one to do, do it better do you think they're in real danger by fighting each other I think these are equal opponents this is not a serious boxing match one just happens to be boxing. like 50 50 pounds heavier than the other these are two overweight it's, guys that are going to go uh, Yeah, okay, but does, did it matter, though? <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Yes, you are. No, yes, I'm not. I don't did. watch that crap. He did. I don't watch that crap. Phil, you, Phil, you, know, you, know who is, you know who is going to watch it, Phil? Everyone <laughs> else. Everyone. Great <laughs> answer. That's exactly DSP what I DSP did said. watch it on the react. It really comes yeah. down to what I think. That's why it's important that we watch this with hindsight being 50-50, because he said he wasn't going to watch it, and you know his ass saw it on YouTube. My question is, will this serve viewers? Yes, he did. And I know it will. I know so many people are going to tune in. I know so many people want to see this. And they both left that match just dunking on Phil. You're so mistaken. You have known nothing about me then, dude. Well, let's let's watch it, Phil. And this is just my morbid curiosity. If there was an opportunity for you, Phil, to do something physical, box, whatever, no. I don't know, you know, whatever it may be, that was a kind of a YouTuber versus YouTuber opportunity. Would you would you be open yeah, to that? You said you could beat to, Mike Tyson. Uh, you should get like in that. the ring. Wouldn't do it. No, that's, that's not what Dude, I'm about. Remember I'm when they internet. had that greatest gamer show back in the day and DSP refused to go on it because they were asking him to do physical challenges uh, instead of just playing oh, yeah. games. He was saying he could like, he would be the best one there anyway. He he was like sucking himself off the entire time he was turning it down. Yeah, yeah, he was like, I'm the best gamer and I'd probably win, but they want me to do like physical challenges and uh, that's stupid, dude, but why would I do that? And then like, I think they got Justin Wong instead. Yeah, that's fine, Phil. If I could... Um, and I bet that shit makes him see and, to and this day. Myself. Because like, look... This all started with me retiring and you having, you know, a bad opinion on me and then us having <laughs> a, a, a bad a, opinion. You know, He's always one. got bad but opinions. I, I really did thing. retire like a year ago. I pretty much did retire. Now I'm doing DLC, but I'm not paying for the DLC. The DLC is paying me, you know, and I'm doing more and more and more. I can't and believe more the guy that's stage, faster than Mike Tyson would turn and down a physical a challenge. You absolutely Kinda love crazy. what you do and uh, love these video games. I don't, you know who else likes video games? Wings and Boogie. You don't think the three of you on a podcast would, would be a good thing? You guys talking about games, giving your opinions, talking about current events. Uh, I don't know if don't, that was the think show, show that I'll teach you. I don't he might just sit right here on the show. I would love to do a show with those okay. guys. I, I, I'm friendly with them. Behind so, the scenes, I have conversations. So when I couldn't get a hold of you and I called you multiple times, it wasn't once and you ignored it. It was multiple, multiple times. I kept calling. I kept calling. I kept DMing you. And you said, oh, I'm streaming now. And da, da, da. A couple weeks went by. By the way, and, that's false what he's saying, but I'll let him keep going. It's fine. Whatever. Oh, what by the way, that? you're a goddamn no, no, liar, no, 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 but whatever, it's fine. Keep going. <laughs> did he, did he not Shut up. 
He called me at least once, maybe twice, but I think it was just once. How do you? Know? Yeah, the they call him after this. That you've said during this interview that you don't really remember is shocking. How are you going to call him a liar and then be like, I don't but, even but, really but remember though? But how can though? you say with such certainty that it wasn't you or that he didn't call? Yeah, or that yeah, got him. You know, constantly. I, I'm just, I'm just calling it out. You know, I'm not trying to come at you, but that, mm -hmm. I've just noticed that a lot. So now That's you fine. say, actually, he called maybe twice. Could it have been three times? Could it have well, been four? Oh, I promise you, Steve, it does. How do I know? Three or four. I'm just, you know. Well, we, we, yeah, we need to get DSP in a ring with Jake stream, Paul, man. Who's calling me? And then when I no, Jake break, Paul's actually fighting phone, Mike like, Tyson. This must be him. I know. I have his phone number. I'm assuming this must be him because, of, you know, you get locations tied to phone numbers or whatever. And I'm like, why is he calling me when I gave him these specific times to call me? He's calling me when I said I was busy. But Why even then, Phil, Phil, I'm busy, Keen. Be busy, Quit calling me. Potentially yeah, I'm busy doing, what, eight hours of streams and then getting and lit on gin and tweeting at people. Your true fans will understand. Look, I had to get on a phone call. This is a really important business call. I appreciate you guys. And you know what? They're going to stay there with you. They're going to stay there have his, uh, because they want to know what's happening. They want to tweeting know time about. interfered with. Like, the idea of not taking a call just because you're streaming, like, your fans will understand that, man. No, and again, I didn't even know that was him. I didn't have his number. You know, I'm checking after the fact during a break or whatever. Um, yeah, exactly, Blander. Busy doing a Q&A. Q&A. The true interaction here, I had to DM him. He wouldn't contact me. I had to DM him. He would not talk further in the DM about what this was until I demanded it. I'm like, dude, just tell me what you're talking about to see if I'm interested. I don't want to get on a call with you unless you just say, what if you said something I'm face, totally man. not interested in at all? I'm just like, no, <laughs> I'm not even bothering with it. I know you're I lying. Full strings to get him to even say. His beard is kind of impressive right here. He wouldn't even talk any further. He demanded a phone call. I give him my number. Yeah, well, yeah, especially time. in comparison to all of the other well, beards that are on screen according, right now. According to what I hear from from Ke oh, I just want to say this. <laughs> according to what I'm hearing from Keem, you know, I hadn't even thought of that. Fifty thousand dollars to do a show with with you know three guys like you that's got the risk. gout tea. That's him investing a, uh, graying a lot of, of, of his kind of a gout tea to up in the top to left, and then what are the yourself. fuck Adams and got going I mean, on? A phone call, uh, wanting to do it over a phone call is like uh, uh, just that's nothing in comparison to what he's trying to do. All right, I just need to say that. Kim. And, and, and Phil, listen. Do you now want to know why I don't like the phone call idea? Why I wanted it in your writing? Would you like to know? In just a why? second, keep start. Go ahead. Phil, now that we're talking about this and we're communicating for the first time back and forth, all right, I can tell just by how you're reacting and what you're saying back to me that you actually understand that this was a great opportunity. And that's why we needed to be on the phone is so we could actually communicate. We could hear each other's voice. We could talk this thing out. You can ask me questions. The, 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 the text conversation, the, the emails back and forth, all right? That's not like really how business gets done. That's how contracts get done. That's how managers communicate. Uh, no, anytime I want to be on a Netlist stream, like, I have to send him a formal email co-signed by a notary. We're it's true, it's true. What we're very going to official do over business, here. It has the, to be uh, like real communication back and forth in a phone call, like it is right now. Mm-hmm. So okay. that's why what, that's why it was so important for me to get on the phone with you. Okay. Do you under, well, do you do you agree or disagree? Okay. Does it make well, sense to you, Phil? Opportunity lost, what, I guess. What, what I Moving on. Sure. The reason I wanted Robustly. it right was very simple. All right. Again, you have to understand, Keen. You have a lot of stuff that's said about you on the internet. You know that. You've, we've agreed to that. Everything has to get filtered through Atlas is uh, secretary. Indrid. I'm going to deal with this guy. If I'm going to deal with this guy. If I'm going to has got a lot on her plate being the secretary for Detractor V man Atlas Productions. But she gets the job done. And the next thing I know, he completely lies. She's really good at ignoring emails. That's like me going to Craig. Like, hell no. I hear all this shit about Phil. I don't want him to come up here and start fucking wanking it on the show live. You know what I mean? That's like me believing what is on the internet. When I think this was actually pretty, it was a tough, but it was a good show, you know, and it was a chance for you to come clean and like really try to tackle some of the shit that's out there. Redbird with like the you're, two, you're I should have played on normal. Believe in yourself. People have been Next using time. Against you, but Next you're using time. against Keemstar. I started CE on normal. Doesn't make any sense. I don't listen. I mean, you, 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 do you do see I don't it, right? Trust him. I do but, not but, trust uh, him. No. But once again, you don't know me. We've never right. even talked. How, how do you? Oh, get, yo, we got injured sense in the chat. They got the internet. The internet is not a real place. I can tell you this. I do business with the biggest content creators on this entire planet. 
All right. I don't just run a flex, show flex. called Drama Alert. I develop video games. <laughs> he is YouTubers. flexing right now. I get them brand deals. I, you know, one one of my companies represents the, I think, the biggest. I think this was the whole thing the for Game Star. He came in here to prop up his new show and flex on like, how successful he is where, compared to Phil. Like you, don't he knew it was prime. It was prime real estate for an you, ad. You don't. Right? <laughs> yeah. But if we had a He's like, man, I could get a half an hour ad dump in this bitch. Let's go. What I've done and the business opportunities that I've created for this industry for the last 15 years, your opinion of me would be wildly different than you watching a drama documentary about me, something that you be, you're, you're against. Like, you know, this is blood money, it was but that's where you got your information from. It was, it was a, it talked a lot positively about you. Why do you think I watched a drama? Video what? When? Not, so it talked, it talked positively about me, but by watching it, you had a negative view of me. Uh, that doesn't, it's no, not I happening. Don't know. Uh, I respect you immensely, but I don't know after all. The, it's not just that. There's other things, too. Other people that have said things about you and their dealings with I just you. believe everything that everyone says about you, but not about me, obviously. Was there ever? I, yeah, yeah. Was there detractors, ever my detractors don't know nothing. A risk that Your detractors, be, they know everything, you know, dude. Hang, hung out to dry somehow. They've got your number, bro. I know that, I know that there's multiple, multiple things that I've done wrong in my career like a, th a thousand percent in my rise to glory and fame things, um <laughs> in the attempt of making entertainment and entertaining people um you know yeah, adam is my favorite one person one to watch in this just uh, because the descent into detractorism is so visible on his face yeah he's very of, much uh, not happy with uh, the guy identity. it wasn't even the same <laughs> guy all right i you know if you he's look like, at this guy's lying different the person that exposed Keemstar for that and brought that to the internet was Keemstar. I exposed myself for getting it wrong. I right away tried to make you know it right with that guy, offer him 20 grand. This is like back in 2015. If you actually look into any of this stuff about me, you're going to see Keemstar saying hey, wild, right effed up stuff. And he's Yo, got potato with the five. But you're going to see Keemstar making mistakes it, and trying brother. to make amends Appreciate for it. it. If you actually and then I, I just seen uh, now, Dark you're Fortune. On this show. I had the I exact same experience. Audience, I was at work while this was live, and I was on the edge of my forklift moving parts around. I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. I should have gotten the same respect from you, or at least a respect to get a phone call, just so we could better know each other. Yo, being, so that, being certified that, forklift driver, that's like... If I could finish, because I'm almost sure, done. Sir, with that makes girls moistier than an oyster, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, dude. I, called him I just pull up the functions to and pull out the him. forklift certification <laughs> it, it card. Me that's the wrong it. Way right from the beginning when he was trying to send me to an email. Whenever I get carded at a bar, I just pull um, that out. And I think two weeks roughly went by. You should see when they find out I that I know how to drive a bobcat, too. DSP stuff. Let me tell you some, bud. Search for the podcast. Um... The algorithm like sent his live stream in my feed so i tune into it mm. and i'm telling you the minute i tuned in i saw phil begging for money to pay rent and utilities and i just begging it's him. not yeah, begging I, it's I business i cannot believe that like you're doing this right now two weeks ago i was trying to get a hold of you offering you the the, the greatest opportunity you've ever been offered in your entire career phil if this podcast was a success all right Everyone Yo, girl, in the chat. I'm certified to work in confined you spaces. You know what I'm saying? Act, act, act. Hey, me too. <laughs> I just got that recently. This podcast Did you? Would yeah. Told millions. you about that shit. It would be a wild <laughs> success. It would be a brand. This is something that would be clipped on TikTok, uh, YouTube Shorts, Instagram. People would talk about this, just like you're being clipped on your little live stream now. Except for we would have an opportunity to monetize it. Your little live stream flexed on, flexed on. Phil, do you uh, uh, shout outs to kind of the, um, Atlas, the clip you know, keeper? <laughs> <laughs> I think what Keem is saying, he has he has this business business experience. I don't think right? I've ever actually shilled out clip, an clip keeper. You, you turn the other way, but there's a lot of things that that you're saying today. You're talking about um, you know Keem uh, making mistakes, uh, saying things, uh, doing business. I do the be wrong keeping way. the clips. That can also be keeping the clips from my own channel. And, and the things that you're I saying actually are, stole one of them very, for the next vid. Uh, I mean, it's, it's they're like to be they're there to be stolen, dude. I feel like. There's actually a lot of similarities between Keemstar making mistakes. You've made mistakes. Things that we touched on during this podcast, right? Mm -hmm. um, you, you do understand the similarities between between what your argument is for not wa wanting to work with him and the reason why you have so many detractors. Sure. What I what I would say is sure. the difference between me and he says sure. totally dismissing what he just said. Wild amount of popularity. I want to shake your hand. Is that? I want to shake your hand. In the Fifteen years I've done it. All right. You would say, has Phil ever really outright with anything he's done actually concretely hurt someone to the point where, like, 
you know. I wow. unplugged my keyboard what and lost person. audio. Very robust. People will yeah. say that about Keen. They will say that about Keen. Okay. I have no idea how that day, one happened. When I have to make business decisions about who I'm going to associate with and who I'm not going to, I, that's a factor. All right, I'm back. And it's a, it's a moral factor for me. Um, it's knee pads strapped on? Keen's business sense. Yeah. You are a great business. Manager. Everyone knows that. I think you would actually run the podcast very, very well. I do. Uh, here we go. Uh, I would love to do this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I do. And I'm going to let, let him respond. Let him respond to that. Listen, you just said that you've never hurt anyone, right? And you talking trash doesn't hurt me. That's just an opportunity, right? But when you <laughs> treat him the way you did behind the scenes. Yeah, Kim starts really like flexing on him today. Me, but you hurt me. I was <laughs> I guess, yeah, just today like, one uh, year ago. Keep, why uh, why are you treating me like this? Why, wh why can't you treat me like a man and we, why can't we have a conversation? If you came to the conclusion that, no, I don't want to do this. This isn't right for He's me. That's fine. Bust. But you really showed me no respect at all. It was so disrespectful how you were treating me, making me email. I have to call at a certain time. Uh, I'm calling and you're not answering the phone. And then when people Sounds were like asking, a breakup your, song. Your fans asking online, why didn't you do this podcast with Keem? During this whole time, I, I forgot to mention this, he was still talking bad about me publicly. Yeah, on stream. He was, I remember. Like, just what you just described is probably the main reason I have a problem with you. You are someone... Because you talk shit? And you think that you're the most important thing. You, Man, yeah, no dude. Keemstar is the main character, didn't you know? You about a business opportunity. No one does that. They contact the person about the business opportunity directly. We all do it. He did. He did we make all, all of it into it's, content. It's internet, he made though. hella internet, shorts man. on this. You said you've been doing this for 15 years, but like, do, do you not understand the way algorithms work? The way anger is addictive and how people are hooked on crazy shit? Go ahead. I want no part of that. Genre. I've seen the 10 year plan come up a lot today, and I want to remind everybody we're about to the halfway point of the 10 year plan. I don't even know what the podcast is going to be about. He's being egomaniacal. I have to just listen Phil, to what I'm not. Keen, Phil. you just said my whole life should have stopped because you wanted to contact me. Really? I did not my whole say that. Life. You no, just he said, didn't say that. Answer the call at any that. time. Even though He's I got that. three people oh, saying that's not what he else. said. Yeah. Can I give you some context? From the time I, I wake up to the time it's I go to bed, people, every single day, just, I just talk to Just yell straight through him. When's the last time Craig said something? And this this is He looks tapped out, to be honest. You know, I run an influence. He probably regrets this whole thing. Happy Punch, we represent fighters. That, that do boxing. Uh, I have all my staff. Um, I have uh, YouTubers and content creators that we represent business-wise with brand deals and stuff like that. And then I run Tromler, right? So I have to get on the phone with different content creators to validate stories or get people's takes so I can you know, inject that into the story to make sure that like, what I'm reporting and what I'm talking about is accurate and have a, a full perspective, right? How all this business operates, right, between content creator and content creator is like Twitter DMs. It's like yeah, they made a decent like, chunk of like change off the stream. DM me. Yo, let's oh, hop on quite a, a, a phone call. When we're talking about contracts and stuff, then you have lawyers, you have managers. But if you ask me, emails, I would rather throw money at like forth. known detractors. Content creators, which we are both content creators. Tough, we dark, yeah. some cash. When, when I when I heard uh, than you, you are not higher than me. All of we the super chats that came in, I was like, wow, they really showed up and showed up for this. Be in Twitter DMs, and then yeah. it's like, I guess, yeah, biggest and moment of the year for sure. You treating me like dirt. This is not about me thinking I'm God. This is about how you treated me. They were just those trying Twitter to monetize DMs. the haters, dude. Team, you, you, I gave you the times to call. You called at different times, and we never had another interaction ever again. How was I disrespectful to you? So, when I say, I say, because no. you ghosted his ass over a business opportunity. You are retard. very, very difficult. To I just work skipped, with, and I don't know how far I skipped. I bought uh, my keyboard. Oh. Um, because I didn't drop. Man, this is what you get for wobbling. Okay, wait. Even though I have, well, what are you dropping? Publicly listed ways to contact what? me. Please explain to me what you're dropping. Like, wh yeah, what is uh, so one important I can actually find the solution that you to this. can't get on a phone call with me? My work, my job. Here's I feel like I only skipped like five seconds but or something. this like job that I'm about same. to offer you would pay wildly more and solve all these problems that you have going on. First of all, you don't know what it's going to solve. That's a huge assumption. Second of all, I didn't know what the thing was because you never told me. You didn't call at the time you were supposed to. Didn't, didn't we're going give you. Loop. We yeah, are going you. in a loop. Yeah. Right. It, it's happened a lot on this episode so far. Uh, right. Yeah, so, DSP's look, on the same feedback loop. It's not my fault. Here, right? I'm uh, the best. I don't take blood money. Been, I don't like you know, drama. We, we brought a bridge together, right? I don't know but if I thrive it's come off from of this drama, with, and I make my most money Bill, off of there's begging. There's obviously still friction there, and that's fine. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's good I'm much. glad you guys had an opportunity to talk. And, uh, and I think, more than anything, 
Phil, you, you know, you're learning more about, you know, business in 2022, 2023, and how, how interactions, you know, and the importance of being quick and nimble and, uh, and things like that along here. Cause that's in reality, that's how business works now. So let but me put it before, this way. If it, if it weren't, if it weren't keen, cause again, no, that's wrong. Begging is business. Begging is big business, dude. hundred thousand dollars a year. Big business. Apparently <laughs> moral issue working with the guy. So it wasn't a big deal to me that he was reaching out to me. Before I leave, because I'm pretty much done, I, I've expressed everything that I want. I appreciate can I, it, Kim. Can I give you some criticism? No. no. Is that okay? Yeah, because I came in. Uh, no. And I Put it in the suggestion there, box so I can I dog on it. I desperately want to express to you. Send it to me an email, <laughs> Kim. See you later. Because it's respectful. It's not, you know. <laughs> I'm going to do this in the most respectful uh, send it way, to Andrew. And, and then I'll go. And, of course, you can respond. But um, I don't condone people harassing you, people doxing you, people going into <clears> your... Dude, he talks himself. Private, you know, life and, and doing all this horrible stuff that they've done. But I believe the reason why this has happened is because people don't trust you. You're you don't come across it as trust the guy. So when you're on stream and you're asking to pay utilities and rent and all that stuff, the audience is getting frustrated and they look at you like you're a scammer and they want to know where this money is going. Well, how is he always in this situation? What is he spending his money on? <clears throat> and, and that is the motivation to dive into your personal life. Yeah. You had an opportunity yeah. on this show and I watched it to just pull up the screenshot and show the WWE account. And you didn't do it. Your internet cut off. At that point when your internet cut off and you were DDoS and you were gone off stream, the opportunity is now gone. It's gone. Because while your internet was out, you could have made a fake screenshot. All right? You're never, ever going to be able to prove what your WWE account was or is ever again because people will say he just Photoshopped it. He just made it up. You're never going to be able to prove that. that. anyway. You had deal. one opportunity to do it right away with these guys. I like that. Team not even giving a shit. Just go of it because yeah, I just go just trample over watching it. And Shut sort of the Shut audience up, thought that you were lying. And if you hit him, hit him with the uh, Jaha and, and you're not being honest. I, if I were you, this is the best advice I could give you. Right. It's just be like, look, this was my account. This is that I would ask. He would never admit slate, to being wrong and, and lying things though. different because yeah. This can't, dude. restarting level one family. over and over and over again is the root of all your problems, if that makes any sense. I appreciate the input. It's not true. So I, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but I appreciate the input. Amazing. Fucking Thanks. Fess up to it. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much for having me on. Keep, hey, sir, thanks. Appreciate it, man. I'll, yep. I'll uh, appreciate you hopping on. Really appreciate it. Definitely. You all think right, Dave uh, would just Dave, lie like that on the well, internet? You've been throwing curveballs today, which I did not see coming. Uh, no. I did not see them coming at all. But story I, of my I, life, Craig. Story of my life. Hey, yeah. I, I appreciate you. I'm a victim. Here. Story of my uh, life. I, I've got till yep. 4 p.m. We could keep going. I, if you have more questions, I'm down for it. So, well, um, hold on. Let me, let me Adam's dying I, for I, lunch if I, I, I reach out. It's 10 p.m. for me, and I haven't yeah. had dinner. And yeah, I can't go much longer. I'm give, give us 15 starving. minutes. Let's go 15 more minutes. Okay. okay. And if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Once again, we uh, we stream Monday through Friday at uh, 11 a.m. Central Time. Uh, we have some great interviews coming up. Once again, Mark Act out of the documentary during the planning phase, no less. Uh, so make sure you guys are here yeah. for those. We really appreciate it. Uh, once again, you can follow us over on Twitter. It was going to be too much work, dude. How is he going to play all the, these uh, RPGs and, and do a well. documentary? And obviously, uh, Dark Side Phil as well. That's um, a okay. so, good excuse, so ain't it? Out, we only have like 15 more minutes. And once again, I appreciate everybody hopping in, being a part of the day, being a part of the stream, and, and all your super chats have been amazing. Uh, I want to let you know that that uh, we will we will definitely take a look at them. I don't think we're going to read them on stream, uh, but during our post show over at patreoncom sidescrolls, we'll bring uh, Blabs and uh, Travis in, and we'll continue Blabs. on while uh, so Adam can go get some uh, food. But um, am I, I going to play that play bison hat video? Uh, uh, no, this is already five track. hours long. So, mm -hmm. And uh, I thought it would be fair to have allow them Just the interview. to ask questions. So I wanted to play this for you. We have to you let you guys and, get uh, over to the restreamers. And we'll just kind of go from there, okay? Does that sound good? Sure. Fire away. Are, are, maybe I mean, the tractor okay beam's on today. I don't know who they are. I don't know oh, who they're saying, obviously. I don't know. I, I no. said maybe. Sometimes they're on Saturday. Last week, are we you, sent them back to Ibiza. I'm familiar with the name, and I'm definitely familiar with the voice. And Ivega's okay, here. Well, you're going you're gonna to know the voice. So here you <clears> go. This is Gundam. a question from him. Hey, hey, Billy Cheesesteak. Guess who it is? Your favorite YouTuber. We're best friends. Remember that time you thought it'd be funny to put a restraining order on me, Philbert? Well, Philly, my question is, what the hell I have did you no spend $500,000 on? You didn't pay off your house? 
You didn't pay off the well, car. Well, we already know. You didn't pay off any car you own. You're in debt. What did, where did the money go? Why did you take business loans? What did you use the business loan money for? You never improved your content. You've been using the same camera for nigh on 5,000 years. If it wasn't for, like, the Dutch brothers sending you a new web camera or, like, LEDs in the background, you'd have no ideas. Where'd the money go? You're like a politician in San Francisco. If I went to the mayor and I said, Mayor of San Francisco, where did all that money go, that $120 million you defunded the police with and put it to black communities? Where did it go? You know, Phil, you screwed up. You never should have been a YouTuber. You should have been a politician in San Francisco. You would have gotten away with it, baby. If it wasn't for those uh, meddling detractors. Is it going to end at some point? No, it's, it's, it's actually not too late. I mean, politicians tend to be older. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, is it ever going to end? He's he's absolutely tearing me apart, guys. I got to respond at some point. Come on. We talked about that shit. Well, well, but the the, the five hundred thousand—that's the first I've heard of that figure. Where where is that? No, I, from, I mentioned it earlier. We talked about it. And Could it, be the bankruptcy. And, I'm not sure. And I asked yeah. him, and if it was the if it was the bankruptcy, and I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you taken out any business loans? And if so, what were they used for? Business loans? No. Everything that I, you know, all that debt that got written off was credit cards and stuff. You know, now I'm thinking I'm Yeah, thinking, yeah. Oh, I had a he went bankrupt. His business go they go bankrupt. Officially in the name of the business or anything like that. No. He he really wanted to make that distinction yeah, known, else, like, known during you know, the bankruptcy. Very rarely do you have an opportunity to kind of interact with Did he uh, have, did he used to be on the Howard Stern show? His voice is so familiar. Oh my god. He used to be the, you guys remember Howard Stern? I've based I did, my entire uh like, history off of Howard like, Stern. No, he was I don't know. I didn't even too, catch this act. last time. I literally never watched a video of his. So I okay. really don't have anything to say. Do you think that uh, by not watching his videos, you're like, do you think that if you were to spend time watching their videos, you'd be able to uh, he does. react? And, uh, he does. You know, you have, you have we all know he does. Do you think there's an entire niche market of, of you reacting to uh, negative content about yourself? Perhaps in the future, yes. Now that I'm doing that, it's only been on, in operation for a uh, month. There is a, 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 there's the a space for that. Has, when he has, has reacted a, to the Ludacris video or that GTA video, that like that was actually yeah. some interesting yeah. style yeah. react so content. Ooh, people ooh, are not new. I wish you would do that more. I want to see more detractors obviously get debunked. I don't want to inundate them with that stuff, so I don't address it. You yeah, know, okay. he say, he just idea. gave it to uh, Ludacris. Yeah, it's even it's funny. He's just making fun of my I health got, conditions, I, I, I Drew. Two good show names so far. I did this react is... to the original. This is how you don't play last year. So just want to talk about talking two sides of the fence of how it's completely unfair how I'm treated. The guy tried to take it off the internet, so I couldn't react to it. Everyone else had done it, but when I went to do it myself, oh uh, no, you can't. Yeah, that whole thing with Evil AJ at the time because I, I was there at the time was weird. Someone gave it to me. So can we talk about that though, real quick? Have you ever have you ever uh, tried? To... Evil AJ initially said uh, yeah, he wasn't going to take it down for your business that if people have reacted from reacted the... content. So you're saying someone actually watching my content and reacting, and then he or, did, or and then then had to go it. mirror it. The only. They literally reacted to stolen detractor content. Was straight up ripping the raw content and illegally reposting it with absolutely no transformative work whatsoever added to it. Uh, no, no, he debunked himself on that when he showed off his uh, there's a his history. The only way that really legally you should be able to take anything down is if they just right right now if they rip this raw podcast from you know side scrolls and put it on their channel no context no commentary that's illegal everything else is fine so yeah, no, it, never tried to do that look transformative um, is a very very uh, broad big term. and broad so term, yeah. I, I understand that right and technically legally you are correct right but this goes back to like this is the internet and the internet i know yeah. that that people are going to take take this episode and like if i'm sure gundam and keem and and all sorts of people are going to go and they're going to make they're going to make content based off of this content. Yeah, but they're going to clip it. And, they're going to cut it up. We about that because legally, yeah, right? But ultimately, that's going to help the show. That will benefit side scrollers uh, because more people know about side scrollers, right? So, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I just feel like I, I feel like I've, I've kind of zeroed in on, on what's what's happening. Like, Phil, the, the Internet has has changed and you haven't necessarily changed with the Internet or, you know, whether it's the things that's that we've talked about today and so there's a big opportunity for you to adapt and change with the internet. You, you've changed some formats, you've changed some, you know, changed your, your, your content and such, but the internet Format. still is adapting and it's adapting literally exponentially fast. Yeah, he did strike super that, crazy. You're uh, right. You know, it needs to be done if you're going to be, you know, uh, a, a relevant, relevant content producer uh, online. And I don't know. I, I mean, I would just love to hear your thoughts on that. That's just a, a reoccurring theme that I've, that I've heard today.
Well, his I, format's I, always I, been the same. He just I, changes the I name changed. of shit. And I'm much different. He said that a million times already on the show, right? I mean, I really am trying to be different and more receptive to criticism and being open. Like the React stuff I'm doing right now that I just started doing last month, that's something I was so against for so many years. And that's a running pattern with me. I'm stupid. I'm ignorant. I say dumb stuff. Then someone finally says, hey, Phil, wake up, stupid. Oh, Strider. Up. Yeah, I remember well, what you're actually, talking about. To doing that. You can add content. That was you pretty fucked. Add, you know, your own perspective. You can make a React that's not just being dumb stuff but instead i hate content. this i hate no, the way I he tries to retcon that. his whole like react better. content uh, and, I, it's a work uh, in progress just like everything in yeah life. especially knowing that it's just a goat laugh it's the, the it's goat laugh the show the last react we did there was one video where through almost 90 percent of the watch time he just went duh four times Four uh, times, and that was so his I, I input. Say, and then um, added some shit at the end. That was it. That was transformative. It was amazing. Handle the questions. If anything, uh, so. that's the one actual positive thing I hear. Hey, he Trip Mix himself. and Maddie, nice to see you guys. Rock that the waves crash against, and he's still gonna be Yo, here. Trips here, Maddie's here. Yeah. Big ups, y'all. Put up with all of it. It's the guys. I'm not going anywhere, man. I'm gonna keep making content. I'm not gonna give up on it. I love it. You know, it's my passion. I love. I love making content. And I'm, I'm I love grifting. Be here with you, guys. Yeah, you can tell how much he loves making content uh, every day on the stream. You know, thank you. You guys. Yeah. Where he tells you he's going to quit now, playing you know, RPGs if you guys don't give him money. My perspective out there. <laughs> Actually <laughs> threatens to wage quit an entire genre. The wage quit is a myth. It's a stupid detractor meme. If you guys don't show up in support, I'm I'm not playing these games anymore. so much. I mean, we could go on for hours and hours. The things people have said about... Me grooming no, by support, he just means show up and talk in the chat, dude. Yeah. You specifically, is there well, anything that obviously. you want to bring up? Okay, well, let's let's do this. Phil, would you be open? But we're to still going to play like a guy, though. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, like cool. a guy we, we, never we gets like sent to the world. world dude. And, uh, Which means you get to suffer to like a guy. <laughs> yeah, tonight on WPIG right, at 8 p.m. We'll schedule a part two. Well, like a guy will be later than 8 p.m. And after we do the Ask the Kang. on for a part two. But uh, in the meantime, what what is Mitchell, the one you thing might that have you, could you might be onto something there. Today. It could be oh, a record. Wow. You know, well, but it wasn't a wage quit group, though. He did like, hit the second tip skull. I, I don't of like it. It's, it's blatantly false. It's my ex. I met. The game was me. just looked awful. She contacted me via YouTube DMs when they were a thing. That's how long ago this was. Over a decade ago, she was an adult, a legal adult. We spoke for months before we ever Yeah, started. he he quit uh Star Wars Battlefront one and two uh yesterday. During the first stream. It's a during the day stream, yeah. Okay. I told you guys that game was gonna come out like dog shit, and I was right. I wanna get this out in the open. People say that I'm some kind of a horrible woman abuser Oh here we go, here we go. These women and I bring them into my you know, it's my personal life. Oh my wife no. and I met online casually talking for a few months before we ever started dating or anything like that. Okay. Um Basically, she was in a really bad place in her life, an abusive relationship. She got out of that relationship, and once she did, then we started talking a little bit more romantically, and then things pursued. They were still together People when she started talking to DSP. And said that I basically yeah. stole her from her ex and that he's a victim. It's funny, because when you look on the internet, they will find all this public information about me and my personal yeah, life. Yeah, he's, he's using the wife's skirt. Did you ever find the restraining order that she had against her ex because he was hitting her? He was right? hitting her. But, you know, make him look like a good guy on the internet, right? Which is what they've done. What a piece of shit, dude. Big yeah, horse shield dude. out in full force on this one. Yeah, he's talking about Subaru, man. This, this shit, this shit is disgusting. Drag your wife's dirty laundry out into the open with no substantiating evidence. Also, accuse a guy of basically being an abusive piece of shit. And, like everything he did here was disgusting. Like in no. I mean, I'm sure there's no level does this, this we'll work to, to his advantage. Those are two things that have always been hor for example, horrible to women. If anything, you will never ever. Try baby voice. Here we go. You will never find someone on the internet saying that Phil was in a sex scandal. Phil was abusive to women in the past. I have never done that in my life. One million percent. I, you know, and it, but they and honestly, no one's it, called it him abusive the in the sense of like attacking Panda or Cat right. because they well, all think, I, I think he's too pathetic to, to uh, accomplish like anything. Place. Definitely, Cat would body him. his ass. Not, I won't oh yeah, she'd problem. ball him up and, <laughs> I'll, I'll and, and, and put him through the basketball hoop. He'd never come out of it. There's still a lot to cover. He'd just be crinkled up inside the hoop indefinitely. We appreciate your time. We appreciate your patience. We nah, this shit was fucked up. Taking the time to like some kind of last ditch effort. I know you. You know, I had. And I don't know what he thinks. 
was going to get out of that. Interview. Hopefully, he didn't feel like it was an interrogation. Oh interview. yeah, like because uh, this is the end. Fair, because I feel like, uh, like I said, I tried there's, to yeah. like there's pretty much nothing uh, left on this. He threw, uh, that was his hail mary at the end. That was his hail mary super. He was like, the pignosis didn't work. Time to be a victim. That once you know, we've had all these episodes of the my wife used to get hit, but I love you guys, man. I used to be a huge Screw Attack fan back in the day. You were playing a video two days ago. Now let me suck your dicks. I'm the victim. Let me suck you off. Show to be the dark side Phil show. Well, hope hopefully we'll be able to get to that point. <laughs> I love it for sure. Um, well, once again, if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. We're going to end the, the stream here. Once again, make sure you guys subscribe for part two. Uh, that would look so miserable. Hold on. I just want to say to everyone who supported yes. today, uh, thank you so much. I don't know how we're gonna handle it. We've been going for five hours. This mm -hmm. is we, I didn't I had no idea what to expect. Uh, it's pretty crazy, but I really do want to say thank you to everyone out there. And then he leaves uh, this interview, you know our goes show to his not. chat, and says, "I like think that went really well." Not what, what our show is. You guys are saying that <laughs> Adam and Craig were really unfair to me. I thought it went pretty well. Fun. They were fair um, and I um, completely they disagree. listened. Phil, we're talking, and Craig wanted to give Phil a, a platform to basically, you know, make your make your piece. Uh, so I don't know when uh, number two will be, but uh, normally we, we read all our super chats to, throughout it, and it didn't feel appropriate to do that today because I, I'm sure there's a lot of them that are are probably really good super chats, reflex was really, tested that day. Uh, <laughs> throw things to the side. Uh, we know that's the most knobs I've seen slobbed in one stream like in a Craig long time. A fantastic job of putting questions. Yeah, together. that is that three all, knobs. That was his journalism degree, by And there way. wasn't even a hot tub involved. Wow. In Congratulations, <laughs> by the way, Craig. All right, nice. Uh, so thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate you all. All right, please continue, Craig. You yeah, can see and, him counting uh, their bag the right now. He's like, what the fuck? Where's my, where's my cut? Yeah, I get a cut of that, right? <laughs> uh, but, but we're gonna, uh... Stick around, man. Listen, support good people making good content. These are good people. Support. Your other hosts are good people. I would love to do a post show with you guys, too, if you want. I'm here. Okay, sounds good. Well, well, we'll continue Dude, the post show. He thought this would be his new thing. Uh, over at patreon.com. Yeah, slash he, he weaseled yeah, his way into the post show. And, uh, support the show. Trying to, like, <laughs> get in with the other ones, you know. guys come back tomorrow. Well, he thought he was going to be, like, a regular guest on their streams. And join this amazing little podcast positive community we have going on over here but this uh, is how he opened up no one's gonna want to work with you after this yeah this is pretty much the worst interview in history uh with all that said but like not like a bet like like, like as for like a job interview not a, like a, a normal style interview but if this were a job interview to try and like ingratiate yourself become a regular uh, hell no. all you all our friends over on youtube we'll see you guys over on patreon.com he thought this shit was fire he was like i pig that pig has the fuck out of there it was too early but i got a new new grip got a new audience so, bye bye there we go lots of fatalities good <laughs> <laughs> all right my, we wife, be... my wife came in the room and all right that's it yeah we did that's it. it that's it nothing the whole thing no. on the one year anniversary so that's it folks we uh we watched all five hours in four and uh you know 447 so that's pretty good I appreciate everybody who uh, stopped by. It was very meaningful and robust to me. It was uh, meaningful to me. Uh, thank Inc. for uh, stopping by and co-hosting for the the five hours. I, there's no way I could do it by myself. It's too oh, it's long. Good time kicking it with you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate all the support. Obviously, Nugs with the three month membership. Big ups, brother. Tons of appreciate support. it. You guys are great. You guys are all fantastic. Uh, hopefully, I'll catch all of you guys tonight for WPIG at 8 p.m. where we watch Axe the King. And, and tomorrow uh, for the React. <laughs> exactly. Tomorrow, Inked will be back for the React. Uh, we're probably going to play another game at some point during the React. So I think we got one be, lined up. Yep. It'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully, I'll see all you guys there. Enjoy the pre stream. And Ivika, get some sleep. Yeah, I think it. Please get some sleep, brother. You gotta go to bed. <laughs> it's bedtime, you're work, brother. You're uh, working too hard. <laughs> I gotta get a redirect. Who are we going to? We got a uh... King John's uh, he... not live yet. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, uh, taking L's is though. So we'll, I'll send you to taking L's. Big ups. <laughs> Ivega being rebellious, dude. There's Jed Meerkat. Meerkat's live. Yo, big ups, Meerkat. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send you guys to Els. Els is the one that's live right now. I think the other ones were scheduled. I, I don't want to send you to a waiting room. You guys know where you want to go anyway. And if you didn't, you're getting sent to Els. Bye-bye. Later.